built like this. There's two screws on each arm, and generally what I do is tip it up like that, put the arms on like that. Okay. And then it's ready to. Go. And all, all the, the I use all of these the tools to put it together with. Yes, yeah. exactly. Brilliant. I've got another question. Can you please tell me what is the biggest distance? <laughs> Sorry, it's just shouting. Is it? Can you tell me which is the biggest distance around a hem yeah, that can sure. be held by? Oh, brilliant question, Christine. So let's just take this out, and what I'll do is I'll open it right up and yeah. measure around. Let me just move that. Up. There you go. Uh, we got oh, the, you want the uh, tape measure? Oh. Tape measure, yes, please. Here it is. So this can go out to there. Oh yes, because that's a good question. Because if you're making um, a curvaceous lady's uh, dress, a, a skirt, you want to put a waistline band on it. Oh, wow, it slides right the way out. Oh, yes. And then you've got that on there. And you've actually got a little bit more by moving oh, yeah, 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 out yeah, yeah, as yeah. well. Oh, can you reach? You want me to go? Oh, no, there you go. So. The tape measure's not going to be long enough. <laughs> 54 inches. But, but as you or say, you, you can add another six. two inches or three inches total so, to that. Yeah, easy. So, yeah. yeah. Do, do you want me to do that? No, 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 no. So that was how many? 54. So, say 57. 57 inches finish, finish stretch, which yeah. is a lot. Thank yeah. you very much indeed. Right, OK, so we've, we'll go back to the wayliner, but we need to talk about the other machines that we use today. So the sewing machine itself, now that was so beautifully and quiet when yeah. we just used it. What is the DX range then? So the DX3, and this does include the extension table as well today. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, which is the lovely large te table you might have seen with the DX7. Yeah. Um, this one, we, it's called the dressmaker's machine. So it comes with the dressmaker's uh, feet, buttonhole foot, um, it comes with five feet, zip foot, um, blind uh, hem. Can you see that? Do you want me to take it out, Charlie? There you go. So, so what feet have I got there? Uh, the zip foot, the blind hem foot, the overlocking foot, and the um, uh, pattern stitching foot as well, the decorative foot. And then the accessories, seam ripper, um, tool in there, and the... Um, Spool cap. Thread spool cap, yep. thread stopper. Yep, and, the, and then in here... Just so you know, Rachel's producer today and she's got a mouthful of pan of chocolate, which, that's her laughing there. Uh, she um, uh, shouldn't even eat it, it's hot. Oh! Well, what happened there? Did that happen at home or just happen in here? Oh, wonder what that was. Went all focused, fuzzy. So just so you know, Rachel is Haley's best friend from school. She used to be a producer on Rocks & Co. Then she was a producer on Gems. And now she's manager of what? No, you. Senior buyer for Gems TV, who still puts... So how come you're allowed to come here today then? Because they were desperate, nobody else available. Anyway, shall we do... Now, I've got two early birds today. Shall we do the first... Oh, hang on. Something's happened with the... It's one of those mornings today. What's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, OK, that, well, just started. Don't, don't do a graphic. Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Early bird special. Right, this is the first one of two. Now, the reason I'm wearing this and the reason I've got my cookery book in is because, do you remember, my lovely ladies, uh, Sarah and Denise. Now, it's, it's, uh, it's spelled Sarah, but her name's Sarah. She's a fabric designer. Uh, and this is the book that, um, she, this isn't for sale. This isn't my early bird. But do you remember I launched this book? Debbie Cavill asked me to go and launch the book and then she went on holiday and left me to it, right? And then when I was there, I said, oh, I love the pictures in here. And Sarah said, yeah, they're my fabric. She's a fabric designer. So we brought you this gorgeous cotton, um, cotton canvas. Oh, did it again. Oh, graphics aren't working now. Oh, uh, now I'll keep talking because there's no graphics or anything. Nothing's working today. So anyway, uh, she made, uh, she designed this fabric 
And then I said, well, I'm sure we could sell that on Zane Street. Anyway, we sold it. And uh, absolutely, uh, completely and utterly sold out. We've managed to get some more. Uh, oh, morning, John says Sue. Carol says good morning. Claire says good morning. New shirt. Yeah, all went fuzzy, all green. Catherine. <coughs> what, the green fuzzy? She's only here. She's only hearing half the story. Isn't she? Morning, Rick. Recovering from my painful dental extractions. Uh, that's Catherine. Morning, John. Love you from Blackpool. And says morning, lovely John. Julie Vaughan says morning, John and team. Anyway, this is the fabric. This is Sarah's fabric. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I can't bring any graphics in. I can't because they're not working at the moment. But it's all. If you look here in the book, right? All are different fabrics. And here's why I've said we need to do all of the fabrics. But I think she's in Portugal at the moment. I think she's in a house in Portugal. That lady who designed this, Sarah, who designed this. Uh, anyway, it's a gorgeous cotton canvas. Jackie says, morning. You sound a little better today. Yeah, I am a bit better today, Jackie. A little bit better, thank you. We're just trying to work out the graphics. Anyway, shall I show you what you can make out of it? Look, because you can, oh, you can make this. Or you can make this. We haven't got patterns for these. These are just things that have been made out of them. Hayley's had these on her desk for ages. Awesome, lovely. Uh, I need some new one of those. I wonder if I could nick these. Uh, I'd borrow them, I mean, borrow. Uh, now, we think this is a pot holder. We're not 100% sure, but we think that's a pot holder. Uh oh. Oh, do you put your, like a trivet? Apparently, it's like a trivet. And then this is a tea towel. Gorgeous, you use it for so many things. Or you could use it for anything you want to, really. Absolutely anything you want to. So, uh, we're selling the fabric by the half metre. I'll show you how wide it is. Uh, now, how much should it be? Right, it should be 11 99 for half a metre. This is what you get for your half a metre. Let, we'll just say, we're going to do it now. Like, how much is it meant to be? 4 99 It sold out to 4 99 last time I had it. Four ninety nine for half a metre. Because it done it on the web, because we can show you on the web, can't we? There you go, four ninety nine, four pounds and ninety nine pence for your half a metre. I've got it now. That piece was the wrong piece of fabric. I don't know where that one's come from. There you go. There's your half a metre. Four ninety nine. It's beautiful, isn't it? I'll pop it down the table so you can have a little sit from upstairs. Uh, flying out. People multi buying. Gorgeous. Hello, Cheryl. Good morning, she says. The other Jan's just tuned in as well. Uh, keep going through, keep going through. Uh, morning, John. You look lovely this morning. Oh, Josephine. Th oh, it, how did I read that when it didn't come up on there? I, well, it came on the big telly there, but it didn't come up there. Do another one. I can still read them out loud, though, can't I? Uh, good morning, John. Raining here in Chard in Somerset, says Julie. No, chard, isn't that lettuce, chard? Or chard as in burnt, yeah? But spelt differently. Morning, John, from Liz. How are you, Liz? Shouldn't you be in your desk by now? Oh, no, it's only five past eight. Uh, she works from home in the upstairs office, but she works for a very, very big telephone company. No. And I said, <coughs> I said, oh, they'll never know if you're not there. And should you do, you have to log in and then they watch you. And I said, well, what happens if you need to go for a... You're only allowed two tinkle breaks a day. I know. Well, you'd have to earn a bucket underneath, wouldn't you? <laughs> Delia says, good morning, John. Nikki says, morning, John. You sound a little better today. It's dry on Portland today for a change, says uh, Jan. Keep going through. Now, now these, these, even with no graphics, right? Even with no graphics, look on the website, 4 99 4 .99. Everybody's multi-buying. No, don't show me that. We're not allowed to look at that. No, no. Because we don't do that. People don't like that here. So, that's all right. Uh, can I just tell you, put it back up for me, though. I won't do anything. We're not allowed to do this, right? Um, there's loads of people. I'm just thinking if any, any of my regulars are in. Yeah, Brilliant. It's a fan well, it's fantastic deal, I suppose, because it sells at eleven ninety nine elsewhere, this one. Well, when it's sold, uh, we've, we've got it, I think, now. We've got exclusivity, I think, now. Butterfly Angie's watching. Margaret says, good morning, John and everyone. Beautiful. Wild wine on cream, it's called. Wild wine. Half the stock's gone already. No graphics, and we can still sell it. 
Just tell the management. Just tell the management. Uh, morning, John. I've got the same tree pollen throat. Yeah, so's Becky. Becky's got it as well. Roxana says, good morning. I do like that early bird fabric. Good, buy it, Roxana. Oh, I can see, I can see if you're on the list, Roxana. No, no Roxana yet on the list, as far as I can see. We're not allowed to see that normally. Laurie, uh, Laurie, Laurie says, good morning, great shirt. See, it feels a bit big, though, like, when I say, oh, I'll take this off now, actually. It feels a bit big. There we go. Right, keep going through. There's loads of you there. Loads of you there. You've got to check out, though. It's not yours till you check out. And remember, once you paid your P&P for the day, that's, no, well, no, I'll start that again. Once you paid your P&P on this, that's your P&P for the day, whether you come in and buy a pattern or anything like that. Right. Uh, now I've got some magic pins here next. That's my second early bird. Right, so that goes there, that goes there. Here we go. Now, I don't know why Haley's put these in. I think she's just giving Hay a tr Rachel a treat because these should not be reduced. These sell out on their own. Right, OK, these should be 19 99 That's brilliant, 100 pins, because if you buy 50, it's 12 99 And... <coughs> Excuse me, you get the plastic case. Look, that, let's see the little case there. They come in that little designer case as well. Judy says, Good morning, John. Good morning. Sally Ann Harrison's watching. Good morning. Lou says, Morning, John. Right, go on then, crash. I've got, my, I've got a Lemsip here. Oh, you, you, you think I'm bad today, Kate? You should have heard me say. Uh, 14 99 be quick, be quick, be quick. Can I have that screen again? I'm not allowed it. I'm not allowed it, but I'm getting addicted to it. Yeah, you will get told off for showing that. Uh, I, no, because I, I won't tell everyone that um, Alison from South Asia has come in. <laughs> or Jennifer from Berkshire. They don't like... No, no, and I won't do it until stop now, because I know you don't like... Uh, take it away, take it away, take it away. Take it away, take it away. Here we go. Well, show the web, show the web, show the web. Uh, morning, John, you handsome devil. Oh, dear me. Uh, gorgeous fabric as always. Thank you. That's from uh, Tara, or is it Tara in Norfolk? Tara in Norfolk. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's, me. that's me having a slip of my a limp sit there. Morning, handsome, overcast in Guernsey, says Kate. How are you, Kate? I'm sorry you can't see the price. I'll just show you the web again. 14 99 This should be 19 99 Should be 19 99 100 pins you get in there. These are going to start. Susie loves these. Morning, John and team. Off to a craft show tomorrow. Heather, which one are you going to? Oh, Heather. You're going to the NEC tomorrow. Is that the craft show you're going to? I'll be there tomorrow. If you go to the one. I haven't got a stand. We've got a stand. Yeah, it's a Gemporia. Uh, now. Oh, now. I was meant to memorise from the email what our stand number is. I think it's. It's written on my pad next to my computer at home. No, it's 01. It's 01. No, that's it. Number 01. That's it. Stall. No. Is it number one? It's right by the door in Hall 19. Oh, I wish I'd, I wrote it down specially. No, they won't. We, you haven't seen our stand. That We get cues. We get cues galore. People queuing up for a hug. And a photo. I'm not selling anything. There's a tombola. We have to share it with hobby maker and um, jewellery maker, though, you see. Uh, oh, message. Uh, Juliana, morning, John. I would love to rummage through your amazing shirts. My husband. Yeah, Juliana. Uh, what size is he? This is big. You can have this one. This one's quite new, but it's like how big that one is now. Rachel doesn't know that I've got a personal trainer. Yeah. Uh, Lowe says, morning, John. After being in London last week, I realise how much I miss it. Yeah, that's why I want to move back. I looked at the house this weekend, actually. I waves at a man carrying a box and he just looked weird, looked weird at me. June says, good morning. Paul Padamore. Oh, that's a nice name. Morning, John. Hobby maker, use it every day. What did I say? What did I say? He said, hobby maker, use it every day. What did I say? Morning, John. Did I just spot George? Yeah, George yeah, he was here yesterday. Yeah, George was on yesterday. Yeah. Oh, uh, do they? Do they with all the names? Oh, we're not allowed to. Met, well, no, after my days at Roxco, I used to have my phone on the desk. Remember those days? 
Uh, no, no, I tell you what it is, is little Paul used to put the names running across the bottom there and everyone complained because they said, I don't want everyone knowing that I've bought it, which I, I agree with. I sort of agree. Lynn to it, just ordered my own to make some oven gloves for my new kitchen. Oh, is it working? Go on then. Bring them in. There they are. Oh, hang on. Wrong price. No, that's, no, hang on. That's the first one. That's the fabric. She's brought the fabric one then. There's the fabric, $4.99. Uh, nine metres left. Nine metres left. 18 units. Nine metres left of this. Sold out last time at four ninety nine. Oh, Catherine writes, watching. Pauline says, I'm coming tomorrow. Can I have... Oh, that's Auntie Pauline. Yeah, they're a pound, Auntie Pauline. Michaela Michaela says, morning, Mr. Gorgeous John. Uh, from a rather wet forest of Dean. Jill says, morning, John. I sat... I sound like you hit mine. I sound like you, but mine is a virus. Oh, dear. Uh, June says, your voice sounds much better today. It is, thank you. Morning, gorgeous, says Jan. Uh, right, this is going to sell out. This is going to sell out. Let's go back to the pins now. Oh, dear. Let's go back to the pins. Right, let me give these to Kat. So then, oh, no, I don't need to worry about this desk, do I? There you go. Now, there's the pins. Let's just check. The, they should be 19 99 a worth every penny, you sweet thing. Catherine says, wait to pick up a van to set off for sewing for pleasure. See you tomorrow. Julie Vaughan says, magic pins, my favourite pins. Samantha says, morning, gorgeous. Give Anne Grimes a shout out. She's not well. Oh, Anne. Anne in Rubery. She's not very well. What's the matter, Anne? Do a bit of hand stitching. You'll feel better. These are 14 99 How many of these have we got left? Only 18 left. 18 left, Hina says, good morning. Good morning, Hina. Oh, the cat's re rearranging the set over there. Yeah. Make sure the lock wheels are locked. Yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 14 99 keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Right, now, yesterday, oh, hang on. Yesterday, we launched the brand new Aliso Iron. Here we go. Sorry, let me move that. Sold out. Yes, Kat, can I give those to you? Sold out yesterday. Sold. Oh, sold out yesterday. I'm just looking for a pressing mat, that's all. There you go. Sold out yesterday. I've got some more. I've got more, but I haven't got anywhere near as many as I had yesterday. What is it you're saying? Well, it's the new... Now, they call it a mini iron, right? It's not mini. Hang on, where's my mini iron gone? Oh, have you got it over there? Right, I'm going to show you, right? This is what I call a mini iron. Different, different... Look, just so you know, that's what I call a mini iron. So you can see that this is bigger. <clears throat> I use this to iron shirts with. Uh, I did my jeans... Oh, very, very durable, the mini iron. Um, right, so when it arrives in your box, it will look like this. Oh, actually, do it like this. It will look like this. When it arrives in your box, right? Oh, actually, should we do the price first? Let's do the price first before I do the sell, because... Oh, and put it back in picture. Because I want you to see the price, because it's on three-way split pay. Right? No, it's brilliant. Now, it should... Oh, hang on, where's the original price? Oh, no, we need the original price. Oh, you've ruined it. Rachel, you've ruined the surprise. The recommended retail price is 99.99, right? This is the most affordable we can find it anywhere, right? But can I just explain? I know some of you got it slightly cheaper elsewhere because you're a member of their club, right? But you have to pay to be a member of the club, don't you? So that's the most affordable price we can find anywhere. Three-way split pay. <coughs> and they're in stock. They're ready to be sent out to you now. Anyway, so let me carry on then. So when you get yours, it'll come with this on the bottom. You take this off. So this is the storage side. And this is called your soulmate, this. And then you put it down like that, and it becomes your resting plate. Right? You put the water... If you want to make it a steam iron, you can do. You put your water in there. I can't tip it up because it's full of water. There you go, there you go. So you put your water in there. You do not get a jug with it. I'm not being negative, I'm just telling you, you don't get a jug with it, right? 
So you put your water in there. Hey, what? No, 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 no. I like to tell you the truth. That's all. I like to tell you the truth. Right. So you've got 1.9 metres of cable. It's got a two-year warranty on it as well. Right, I'm just going to plug it in. Is this desk plugged in or not? We'll soon see. Did the light come on? Yep, there you go. There's the light. Right, so what you do <clears throat> is you've got like any other iron here. You see, you've got your one dot. I'm going to do it from upstairs. One dot, two dot, three dots. And then you switch it on by pressing the button. The green light comes on, right? Um, so now if you look at the base of this, can you see that from the front? <coughs> you've got steam holes here and you've got steam holes here, right? So if you want, you can just have steam at the front. If you want, you can have just steam at the back. Oh, it's getting hot. Or you can have mega steam. I'll show you that when it warms up in a second, right? Um, but the most exciting thing is, right? Can we have the lights down, please? Lights down. Lights down. Are you ready? Are you, are you looking from above? Yep, ready? Look! Now, if your electricity... No, you can't, because it's plugged into the electricity, Rachel. Rachel just said, if, you, if your electricity goes, you can keep eyeing me. You can't, because it's plugged into the electric. Right, let me just turn it back up, because when you turn it back up, the light goes off, right? Now, if you... Say you've been ironing, and Rachel's busy working, and then, and then her friend, the personal trainer, comes around, the one with the horse. Come, what's she called? Nikki. She goes off for a gossip, right? She forgets she's left her iron on. In half an hour, it'll switch itself off, right? Also, if she's been ironing like this and she walks off, in 10 minutes, it switches off. Yeah, but if you do this, look, the light flashes and it switches off after 10 seconds. Switches off after 10 seconds. Now, the steam should be ready now. Are you ready so you can have top steam? Can you see? Right. Then, or you can have bottom steam. <laughs> That's how I get bottom steam. <laughs> Here's your bottom steam. Ready? Right. Or, oh, is it dribbling? That's, that's, no, it's because I, I did press too many times. Right, but look, you can have all over steam. Super jet steam if you want to. Now, the other... No, you can have top or bottom, you can't have middle. Right, Rachel, be, be good. Now, the other thing is, you see, see this cable here? If you're right-handed, this is how yours will arrive. If you're right-handed, the cable's on that side. If you're left-handed, you think, oh, it's in the way. Doesn't matter. What you can do is make sure it's switched off. You can then undo these two little uh, nodules on there. You need a uh, Phillips screwdriver. I'll show you here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phillips screwdriver, look. And you just unscrew it, and you can make it like this one so that the cable comes out on the left-hand side. Right-hand side, left-hand side. Really, really helpful, isn't it? Really, really helpful. Uh, and where do you find... Now, the instructions don't have that in it, but if what you need to do is go to your details of when you've bought it. Go to the details. You see the top line, it says download content. You click on there and all the instructions are there of how you swap it around. Isn't that brilliant? So, is there anything else I need to tell you? Uh, we sold out of these yesterday. We sold hundreds of these yesterday. Um, right, hang on, let's have a look at the user manual. Oh, I, 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 really? No, Rachel, we don't do that here. 85.99, 85.99. Adam's going to be using it later in his hour. It's a brilliant little iron. I did my shirt with it. I did my jeans with it. Okay, uh, um, you've got a vacuum. Not a, you haven't got a Hoover. You've got a vacuum. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, but you're not going to tell on telly, Rachel. You should know these things. No, because it's not a Hoover. It's a vacuum. It's a shark, isn't it, the one you've got? Anyway. Eighty-five, ninety-nine. You don't hoover when it's light, let alone when there's a power cut. I've seen your house. Uh, anyway, let's see. Uh, 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 who's got Crazy Lane says hello. My Facebook keeps freezing, watching the TV, so I'm still listening. Uh, Anne says, John, Barnyans are offering the... Oh, are they indeed? 
Are they indeed? I don't know how they're doing that, but thank you, Anne. We'll look that up because we were supposed to be the best one. Yeah, 85.99. Suzanne says, morning, John. From an overcast 10 degrees Beeston, at least it's not raining. Ah. Oh. Um, no, it didn't rain. I was, able to get, I was able to get in today. Morning, John. Love your shirt, says Michelle in Lincolnshire. Thank you, Michelle. Just going to take a slurp on my lemon slip. How many lemon sips are you allowed in a day? I shouldn't really, I shouldn't really drink lemon sip, though, because it's not cold. It's hay fever. Uh, keep going through. Keep going through for this. Oh, no, no. That's what George told me yesterday. I took honey last year and nearly choked. Okay, apparently I need vinegar from the mothership. What is it? White wine vinegar in hot water. Don't you mean apple cider vinegar? Morning, John. Got my mini iron yesterday. We'll be getting the cases in too. There's cases. There are cases. Are there? We'll have to find out. Is Paul in today? Is Paul de Paul in today? Yeah, yeah, I'll ask later. What, what? That. Oh, apple cider vinegar. Why, what does that mean? I've got apple cider vinegar and it gave me the really bad gastric reflux. I'll have to check. I've got the original one. Uh, Lynn Twitt said, that's brilliant. You can change it to a left-handed cord feed. I've lost count of the amount of iron cords I've whacked over the ironing board. Uh, apple cider vinegar is foul, it is indeed. Auntie Sally says, good morning, John and team. Suzanne, I wasn't going to buy the iron, but split pay was just too tempting. Thank you. It's brilliant. It shouldn't be three... No, 99.99 is normally two-way split pay because it started off at 99.99, but Rachel forgot to show you that bit. That was you, Rachel. Anyway, 28.66 on split pay. Oh, now, 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 now. We do not... Well, I wasn't going to buy the iron I've got on my screen. Oh, the pins have sold out. The, oh, so the two, the two early birds have sold out. The pins and the fabric are both sold out. That's fine. Can I just say something to you? Our split pay, we don't charge any interest because we don't send it to an outsource. We do it indoors. But also, there are places that charge you for the pleasure of using split pay. So it's not interest, but they charge you a fee for using split pay. We don't do that. We don't do that. And our P&P, right, okay. So, so if you've just bought the early bird fabric, the early bird pins and this iron, you still only pay three ninety five pounds post of packaging because it's not £12, not £7.99, not nothing. You just pay one P&P for the whole day. It goes from midnight last night to midnight tonight. Uh, is she Virgin? Is she... Uh, oh, yeah, 754 on Virgin. Oh, yeah, we weren't allowed to shout about it the other day, but I didn't got into trouble. We're on Virgin now. We're on Virgin now. Look. There's a VT. Who's done the VT? Oh, who's in it? Oh, that's what didn't move. That didn't move, though. Oh, OK, so what does it do if you move it? Let's watch it. Let's watch it. You and me are going to watch this together. OK, yeah, yeah. Sewing Street is now available on Virgin Media, channel number 754. Was that Alan? Who was that voiceover? Yeah, Alan. It was a bit blurry, wasn't it? It was through here. Anyway, we're on Virgin Media now. Well done, well done. Listen, I'm still on Early Birds and it's 26 minutes past. One slip, one lem slip every four to six hours. It contains paracetamol. Okay, thank you. So June, oh, that means I can't have one till the end of the show now then. Uh, should we do the menu? Let's do the menu. There's the menu. Our favourite Liberty Fabrics is eight o'clock. Nine o'clock. Now, no, we've not even mentioned Becky Swan's name. Crafter's Companion, that's all it says. Rachel. Rachel. Uh, Becky Swan's in. Crafter's Companion, Becky Swan. Uh, then what have we got the next hour? Hadley Top 
Oh, you've not mentioned Adam. What are you doing? So, so it means that you don't care about our um, guests, then. Is that what it is? And she loves Adam, but she's got to put his name on. So let's see the Hadley Top, then. Hadley Top by Grainline Studio. There it is. It's very close. <laughs> it's very close. We got one where we can see the hem. 11 o'clock. Crafter's Companion. and the, Oh, no, not 12.30. What's going on? At 12 o'clock. I don't know why you put 12.30, Rach. Yeah, no, no, no. So 12 o'clock. I'm so sorry. Uniform Tunic by Grainline Studio with Adam Brooks. And there it is. Yeah, yesterday we had George from 11 till 12.30. That's why. Oh, this is what happens when you get the part-timers in, isn't it? Right. Shall we start? It's real, everything's going horribly wrong today, but we don't care. We don't care. The thing is, right, it's going... No, we've done that. We've done, oh, no, because we can do how you get in touch. Not what's coming up. We can do how we get in touch. First way to get in touch is by email. Sign street. Uh, no, no, that's not it. There it is. Studio at sign street .com. Studios. Oh, and we're not meant to be using those um, new graphics, those new thingies. <laughs> Oh, uh, there you go. There you go. Thank you. No, that's not it. That's Facebook Live, that one. That one's Facebook Live, which is the ones I've been shouting out. Uh, you'll have to do sign language. I will do in a minute, won't I? There's the email. There's the email. And then the last way is the website, www.signstreet.com. And then you go to the website. That's you, Rachel. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> You're supposed to show the box that they leave the message in first. We're talking about messages, aren't we? There it is, there it is. There it is, there it is. There's a white box there where it says send message to studio. You can write your message there and they're the ones that come up on the bottom later. Now you can scroll down the page. As you can see, the two early birds have sold out. <coughs> and here's everything that's coming up over the next five hours. Liberty Fabric. There's a bolt. There's only one bolt. There's only one bolt of Liberty Fabric today. <coughs> You'd be what? Yeah. Oh, it's because it's normally jumpy, is it with you? Oh, I need to tell you. I need to tell you something, right? Liberty Fabrics are eight ninety nine now, so I don't know why those are £8.49. Anyway, look. Then we got the Becky Swans hour there. From crafters, then Adam's first hour. Lovely fabrics, gorgeous fabrics there. Then we go on to we're still on Adam's first hour. Then we got Becky's one second hour. Now they kind of jumped around a little bit, so have a look at both of them because they either could appear in more or either of all the things. You won't pay, oh, 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 you won't pay three hundred thirty-eight pounds. You won't pay one hundred sixty-six pounds for mystery box. Then Adam's back. Blimey, talk about scrolling through. There you go. I've got what? Now I've got, I've taken my hay fever tablets, taken my hay fever spray and everything. Thank you. Who was that? Why are you in so early, cat? Oh, our cat. Our cat. I thought you meant producer cat. Right. Let's do this Liberty Bundle now. See that one there? We're not meant to be using that. Okay, so I'll tell you. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. There you go. It's only because they're not all ready yet. They're not all ready yet. Yeah, they're not. Well, no, because we were told to use it, but then they realised that Alan hadn't had time to update all the videos. This is the mega, mega, mega Liberty Bundle. It's what? There's only eight of these left. Actually, okay. Right. Uh, you're getting... Two metres of fabric for free. 33.96. So how much do I get in here? No, we've already taken £33 off. Oh. Go on then, if you're going to take another £33 off, that's yours. No, Rachel, I've been serious. Okay. Right, so just divide... Have you got your calculator? Yeah, no, no. Calculate. Get your calculator out. What's 253.72 divided by 32? 
Say you've gone too low. Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. She's done it now. She's not here very often. She won't be here again at this rate. I've said that. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. Because how much does it work out? Half a metre now. Yeah, no, no. But how much per half metre? What was that number you just worked out? The 253. So it now works out at £7.90 a half metre. They're, they're 8 99 a half metre on their own. I think that the 33.96 was all... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be quick, be quick. Shall we look at all these fabrics? They're quilting weight fabrics. They're gorgeous. Look at these, though. Brand new. These are... They've been on once. They've been on once before, I think, haven't they, Rach? Yeah. They've been on once before. I'll do it that way around so you can see. Aren't they beautiful? Quilting weight. Liberty Garden Party. Gorgeous colours, aren't they? <coughs> Look at these, aren't they lovely? <laughs> Rachel's chunnering away in the gallery there. <laughs> Oh, look, that's gorgeous, look. So, you get 32 Liberty Fabrics here. We have got them all individually, so if you need more than half a metre of one of them. Oh, look at the peacocks. Peacock. Oh, peacocks in three different colours there. Beautiful, like watermelon tourmaline, that, isn't it? Then you've got your urns. Oh, now I've seen that one already somewhere. That's meant to be... Oh, maybe I didn't... Think, uh, have I not seen that already? No. There you go. There's your cake in pink, cake in green, cake in blue. Your lovely trees with your prancing deers. Look at this. All of this. You get all of this, right? There you go. That's a lot, isn't it? For £253.72, pence, works out at £7.90 a half metre. And they're meant to be eight ninety nine for half a metre. I've taken antihistamines, thank you, Elaine, and an antihistamine spray. Hilary says, good morning. The Paisley Fabry says it's red, but it's showing as blue. Oh, what, are you looking individuals? We'll have a look when we go through them individually. Donna. Morning, John. Can you say hello to my husband, Mark, who's watching at home in bed while recovering with surgery? Oh, Mark, what have you had done? Get better soon. Watch, why she, if you're ill, why is she making you watch me? There's plenty more other things on the other channels. Pat, Pat what? Tell John to try bee propolis. Yeah, I can't have bee propolis. now nah, because I'm vegetarian. And uh, when I went... No, 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 no. When Poppy, when Poppy sold it, you know Poppy, who does the pills, right? She, I, I, she was on air with me one day and she said, you can't take this because you're vegetarian. No. Anything with a face, a mum or a bum, that's what you can't eat. 253.72, you're saving. Uh, morning, lovely John. You sound very sexy today with your husky voice. I hope it doesn't turn into now. Trisha, tri is that Trisha in France? Or oh, don't know which Trisha that is. Um, it's better today. It's uh, tree pollen. <coughs> it's tree pollen. I know, it's dreadful for you. It doesn't hurt. I don't know how I'll get through all five hours again, though. Try Sanderson's throat specific to gargle with. It's absolutely vile, but it works. Don't swallow it, Sue in Beeston. Um, it's not sore. It's not sore. It doesn't hurt at all. It's just a, I know. For years, they thought it was laryngitis. Then they thought it was gastric reflux. Morning, John. You really must try raspberry vinegar. Oh, no. All the doctors are online today. Anyway, buy this. Buy this. That'll make me feel better. <clears throat> On the two buy lists, it's, uh, yeah, it's the same person. On the, uh, which Paisley Poplin? Where's, which is, pa I haven't got any Paisley Poplin. Kim, which hour are you in? I haven't got any Paisley Poplin in this one. Oh, OK, I haven't looked at that yet, Kim. Yeah. Buy this, not that. Buy 
Beautiful three-way split pay as well. We talked about that look. Three-way split pay, no interest charge whatsoever. Right. Okay, then we're going to show all the fabrics individually. This will be fun. I've only got 20 minutes left. Less than 20 minutes. Right. Okay. Are you, do you need numbers or are you all right? Garden Follies. Um, oh, got it. She's good, isn't she? She's good. Go on, then put it in. Oh, hang on. Do you want the number? I have this hasn't got a number on it. Oh, it says this is XZYV68. She's not that good, is she? XZYV68. Okay, let's just hold out. Then we've got it in the blue, which is UHYV75. Don't tell me I haven't got that one either. John, I should be worried. Hubby's cure for hay fever was don't breathe so much. Oh, dear. You haven't got that one either. You should... Okay, let's have a look then. Well, if it's only 12 to 25, that's not enough fabric. She'd have 32, shouldn't you? Right, do this one then. PCYV89. I've just opened... She said to me, are you sure it's in the bundle? I've just taken it off the pile. Look, look, eight ninety nine. That's how much Liberty Fabrics are now, eight ninety nine. Rachel took the bundle down so far, it was £7.90. Yeah, don't be going woo-hoo until you see Hayley afterwards. This is Dancing Deer's Picnic Trifle. <coughs> Can we do what? I've only got Dancing Deer's in two colours, pink and blue. Do the blue one. Do you want the number or have you found it? I'll keep those, I'll keep those other two to one side. You'll find those eventually. Yeah. 8 99 Dancing Deer. Like you like this one. Blue China, this one. Gorgeous. Yeah, no, they, 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 Susie had this one last week and she absolutely, there's so much has already gone. Very little left now. Remember, you're buying it off the bolt now, so you can have it by the half metre. Right, this one's like cakes and trifles and it's called afternoon tea and it's in blue and the code is ATYV81. Put my hand in so you can see the size of the print. 8 99 for half a metre. Uh, Crazy Lady says they're pretty, aren't they? They are really pretty. Beautiful. Then I've got the same thing in green. Ladies and Beacon members, screen printed in a factory on the shores of Lake Como in Italy. <coughs> Do you want the number? RCYV07. No, oh, that one's just sold out then. You haven't got enough spaces. If you said it's number 11 to what, there should be... Yeah, that's only 10 fabrics, and I've got 32 fabrics here. Well, no, no, but that but Hayley said... Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's sold Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's sold out as well. I'm ever so sorry about this. The garden party is the name of the whole range. Okay, you tell us what you've got and then I'll try and find it. Okay, do you want to show me a picture of it? Okay, that one, I've got that one. Jardinier, this one's called. I could have got to guess that. <coughs> In Picnic Trifle, that's the colour. Beautiful. You tell me the next one then. Yeah, green. Ha! 
High Summer, this one's called. The fabric, the colour is called High Summer. Yeah, I've got one in blue. Oh, we're cooking on gas now. <laughs> there you go, uh, Jardinia. This is called Spot Blue, this one. Oh, now it's a friend. The others didn't mention spots, did they? Anyway, gorgeous. Oh, hang on. As much as I hate to contradict, it wasn't Ruth, it was um, Poppy. Poppy. B. Propopolis is technically vegan as bees simply collect it. If, it. if it's ethically sourced, I can't see a reason why a vegetarian shouldn't have it. Oh, usually contains tree pollen. Well, I don't want that then, do I? Yeah. No, no, no. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Right, next. Oh, I can get that. That'll be this one. Musical Meadow in blue. Okay, so where's that one? Where did it say that? Where, where have you just read that? Beautiful. Then I've also... Oh, I won't say... That in green, yep. Oh, oh, now I've got two greens. This one, are you sure? I can't, I can't see a picture. Oh, there you go, I can now. There you go. Beautiful. No, no, it'll be Hayley. Oh, so I've not got musical in the pink and green then. Okay. Meadow Hay. What does that one look like? I'll just have a look now. In blue. Got it. Oh, I like this one. Oh, only a meter of that one left. Two units left, one meter of that one left. Gorgeous. In pink. <coughs> Excuse me. Can, can I ask you a favour? Can you make sure the kettle's full so when I run in at the break I can make some uh, ginger tea? I've got, I've got my tea bags here. But I just wanted to make sure the water was hot. Eight ninety nine. Meadow Hayes picnic trifle. It's my last day with Kinga today before she goes off on a maternity leave. Oh no, we love Kinga. Right next. Oh, not in that cut. In that cut. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so all these are sold out. I think somebody hasn't clicked on the whole thing, have they? Right, okay, now you've seen that those fabrics are 8 99 Liberty fabrics are 8 99 Why then are these not 8 99 here? So it was these, was uh, Does what? Yeah. This one here. One, this one with 10 in it, yeah? But the picture's only got nine in it. Is that the one? Oh, no, not that one. Yeah, this was what we were supposed to be doing next. So have you gone to this one over here? Yeah, this one, you jumped to this one. That's all right. <laughs> God, this is going to be a long five hours. <laughs> Just while I'm no Rach, isn't it? Love her. Anyway, you get a half metre of each of those fabrics. 
Thirty-five ninety-six. Yeah, yeah, the order that you said we were going in, you mean? Yeah, that one. Right, so this one. Get a half metre for free in this one. Liberty August Meadow Fabric Collection. Um, so which one's missing off the picture, do we think? Anyway, 76.41. Right, OK, that works out at £7.64 a half metre. That's not right, is it? Because this is what I was supposed to say, it's £8.49 for half a metre, wasn't it? Anyway, don't worry, don't worry. Gorgeous, aren't they? Okay, I just have to talk to Kat about that. Gorgeous. £76.41. Uh, Sorry, is that again? Oh, we've got these individually. Okay. Okay, so now, if you buy them in the bundle, they're £7.64. But in real life, if you buy them, they're £8.49. But still, compared to that, they're £8.99, which is where we're going to be from... You have to give me a number. Oh, that one. <coughs> £8.49, thistle green. It's lovely, that colour, isn't it? Gorgeous. Um, I imagine that's that. What's the number? How do you know? Okay. No, it's not that one. It's not that one. It's not that one. It's this one. <coughs> Ignore that one there. There you go. They're beautiful, aren't they? Uh-oh. <coughs> Says your magnolia. £8.49. I'm in all week, but I'm at the NEC tomorrow. Yeah. Beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. Buttercup yellow. What do you want this time? Lovely. Slate grey. Oh, that'll be that one, I imagine. There you go. <coughs> oh, gooseberry. No, I think it's green. Yeah, gooseberry. Rockpool will be that one I thought was uh, the blue there, wouldn't it? There you go, Rockpool. Rose Hip, the N23. The number 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Beautiful, gorgeous colour. Oh, thanks for that, Rach. No, we don't, we don't want music on this channel. 
Next. I haven't got pink, I've got a lavender and a blue. What's the number? No, that's not it. Oh, this one. Oh, I haven't got it. I haven't got it, unless it's in that bundle over there. Right. No, 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 that's Wiltshire Shadow. Oh, yeah, what are you doing? Why are you showing Wiltshire Shadow? That's a different, that's a different pattern. That's Wiltshire Shadow there. That was Wiltshire Shadow. Oh, you take the graphics out. I've got two left of the original ones here. I've got TMYV72 and I've got KQYV76. Okay. Oh, they don't go there. They go there. Right. Uh, so then I've got the Wiltshire Shadows, which I've got in three different colours. That's opal, that's that one, £8.49. Got clouds, at 12. Then I've got, right, okay. Uh, Alan says, good morning, John. I've been very poorly. Oh, no. Uh, Bozina says, well, found you on Virgin TV. Brilliant. There's your cloud. <coughs> and then we've got, I presume it must be indigo. Oh, navy. Okay, now I'm going to finish with an Alice Caroline, uh, which we're going to crash the price. Never been this low before. It's the colour wheel cushion. When was this on then? Because I'm normally on with uh, Anna. First of what? I've never done this. No, I've never done this one. No, wasn't me. Oh, oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been when there was a guest on. Yeah, no, it would have just been put through the graphics. I've never seen this one before. When was it done with Anna then? The first time. When was it on the first time? 11th of November last year. Crash the price, not 44.99. Never been this low here before 39.99, five pounds off. The 16 by 16, the cushion is. All your beautiful Liberty Tarna lawns there. $39.99. Right, before I go, before I go, I'm just going to remind. Oh, yeah, Delphine Books. I didn't realise that was there, yeah. I've also got to... Oh, no, I haven't done the bolt of fabric either, Rachel. Yeah, exactly. Right, here's Delphine's Quilted Liberty tote bag pattern. What day did she do this on, please? Blimey, 10th of August. I thought this was a recent one. Oh, it's not been on this year at all. Nine ninety nine. And before I go, I've got a bolt of fabric here. Five metre bolt of fabric, traditional liberty. Oh, is it sold? Oh, hang on. Got an issue with graphics. Right, we're going to go for a break. The graphics are broken again. We're going for a break. Oh, hang on. Oh! Are you oh, you took those out. Okay. I'm going for a break. I'll see you back. Uh, Becky Swan's up after the break, Crafter's Companion. I'll see you. St I might do this bolt first of all. She won't mind, will you? Do that straight away. All right, I'll see you in four minutes. <laughs> Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. 
You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one p and throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Sewing Street is now available on Virgin Media, channel number 754. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together and we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one p and with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.SewingStreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street.
Becky Swan's here. Hello. Oh, good to see you. Andrew, right, before we start Craft Companion, the graphics broke down, so we didn't have time to do this bolt of fabric before we came for a break. So, Becky doesn't mind. We're just going to do it very, very quickly in this hour. Liberty, bolt of Liberty fabric. Oh, it doesn't, it's not Crafter's Companion, obviously, we just started. Liberty Riviera Vintage uh, Summer Seaside Blossom Fabric, £84.90. Crash in! The only bolt I've got. It's the only bolt we've got. £64.90. £64.90. Lovely, isn't it? I love it. Quilting weight, Liberty Fabric. Only bolt I've got. And how many have I got? I've got four of these. That's it. That's it. Four of them. That's it. So you've got five metres in there. Right, OK, five metres. That means it's working out at £6.49 a half metre for Liberty Fabric. I've just told you it's eight ninety nine a half metre now. Five metre bolt. Five metre bolt. Go. Going to move on. Going to move on. Going to move on. Just need you to see it. Right, so, Becky Swan, yes. what are we doing today, then? We're talking about needle turn applique. Perfect, which is these, is these it? These new templates that we've got here for you. Now, you can, they are specifically designed to do needle turn applique, but if you don't like needle turn applique, you find it too difficult, you can easily do these as ordinary raw edge applique. Good. So, it's a bundle of all three, is mm -hmm. it? It is, yep. Yeah. And have we got them here? We've got samples. We've got samples all dotted around. So this one here is the meadow flowers. This one here. Look how amazing that looks just in the black and the white. Yeah. A um, really effective design, that one, with that kind of echinacea flower that yep. you've got. Yep. Um, the next one we've got is your spring blooms, which is this one down here. Um, I don't know if you can quite see that. Can you can see that? Yeah, you can. And um, that was um, a little sewing machine cover that we've done there. Um, so you obviously can mix and match with yeah. all these different different designs and then the fly flynel the final one is the floral tile um, which is this one that you can see just behind me here um, with all those really bright colours. So really um, <coughs> very usable kind of designs. And we've done each of our samples individually with each one of these um, particular patterns. Right. But there's nothing to stop you from mixing and matching with all of these here. So I get all three of these. Now, what are these? Are these dyes? No, these are templates. Right. Um, so they are, I'm going to open up mine rather than opening okay. up yours because I've already rummaged around in mine. Um, so in here, you're going to be getting your templates um, in various different formats here. Um, so what we've done here, I've quite got them all out. Um, we've got these ones and we've got these ones um, to show you. Um, this would be the, what you cut out with your fabric and this would be what you cut out with your interfacing in order for you to create these designs. And then you've also got a set of templates if you want to draw around them rather than inside them yeah. as well. So you've got those options. And then you've got this little placement guide as well to show you where you're going to pop everything and when you actually... Only if you want to do them the same place. Oh, yeah, if you want to do it in the same place. And we've given you, as always, a little leaflet with your step-by-step -step instructions. Um, we've given you some information about the type of needle and the type of thread we suggest that you use if you're doing needle turn applique. But if you find that you don't want to do needle turn applique throughout and you want to do raw edge applique, it also talks to the Absolutely. about that as well. So needle turn means it's got a tiny bit of a seam allowance on it because you turn the edge That's over. That's absolutely right. So if you do them um, raw edge applique, they're going to be the size of the templates. Yes. But if you do needle turn, it's they're going to be so slightly smaller, smaller, aren't they? Yeah. Right, uh, I think the graph is going to be playing up again because that's not the right price. So all three for twenty-seven ninety-nine, twenty-seven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Uh, so you get all, all three of these for your twenty-seven ninety-nine. Now, if you don't want all three, give one as a gift. Thanks, Cap. There you go. So they've all got like that one's got twenty-seven pieces in it. That one's got sixteen pieces in. That one's got twenty-one pieces in it. Really, really, really good value for money. And they've all got projects inside them, so you can set, show how to make a cushion, um, you know, that, that sewing machine cover. Um, like we did with those dies that we did with Karen Lewis and Joe Avery, yeah. where we gave you the, the designs to make um, a pattern. We also gave you three projects in there as well. So there's three projects in each one of those. Um, so again, you could then you know, mix and match all those kind of designs as well. Um, but great for um, anyone who wants to do some summer decor. I mean, doing this cushion, I think this one is one of the most lovely designs of cushions but this one here I can really see in a huge quilt so that would look fantastic oh yeah there. oh what are you doing 
There's a lot of noise in the gallery. But there? we don't know what's <laughs> occurring today because nobody pressed a button. Nobody pressed a button then and they went down. <laughs> we knew, didn't we, when we came in this we morning? We did. It was going to be one, one of those days. days we? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that Adam's got my cup of tea. Thank you, Adam. Just pop that there. Thank you. Right. OK, then. So, look, what we... Uh, uh, before we do a demonstration, yeah. I just want to point out this, right? I use this all the time. That's nothing to do with this demo whatsoever, but I need to tell you about it because I think it might be the best, best deal we've ever, ever, ever done on your low-tack tape. I'll put up here. Let me just put them there. Right. Come on then. Right, let's see what the computer does. Let's get, get rid of those graphics. I'm a bit worried now because anything <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen? Now. Right, you're getting two for free. Wow. You're getting two for free, but is that the price? How much are these normally? Go, 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 go. I'm, I'm acting, Rachel. I'm acting. Rachel's going, no, John, we discussed this earlier. They're going to... <laughs> £9.98. You get all four of those. You get six, 12 reels of low tack tape. Now, if you use your Gemini machine all the time, you need this. I use this to wrap gifts with. I use it. It's like my sellotape it's in like my your, house. It's like your I use it for tape. everything. And it's £9.98. £9.98. So you're buying two, you're getting two for free. I think. Think it's the best deal we've ever had on the low tack tape. You'll see it being used later when we do the jet or in a minute when we do the Gemini. You don't need this for these, but I just wanted to tell you about them because they're such good value for money. So make sure you check out, make sure you check out, make sure you check out on these. And very useful if you're doing your eyeliner. Pardon? If you're doing your makeup and you want, you know, a nice line, you put a little bit of tape there because it's low tack tape, it doesn't pull off all your, all your, skin. your skin afterwards. You know, when you do your eyes, you yeah. know. Well, you know. I've never done that, yeah. no, with my wrinkles. <laughs> Is it like, oh, no, 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 you, no, no, it's not the same as booby tape because booby tape's double sided. And very And sticky. we don't call it booby tape, we call it something else in the business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> £9.98, £9.98 £9 for all four of those. I know. Right, let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. So, are we going to do a demo, a demo on, on this? On this one, yeah. yeah. So this is the one that I'm going so to... So back to these, please, Rachel. So this one was my favourite, which is why I decided I was going to do it. So Who's she talking to? We're going to get a couple Rachel! of fabric. Rachel! Change the graphics back to the... Um, turn dead to pleak it. Oh, it's King is in there, right? My last day with Kinga today before she goes off on her maternity leave. Are you going to come and wave, Kinga? Do you know Kinga? I do, yeah. yeah, yeah Kinga, come in quickly. Everything's going so horribly wrong today, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the turn, look, here's Kinga. Don't trip on anything. Kinga's having a baby, if you didn't know. Look. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> uh, so Kinga is the floor manager next door. Next door, yeah. on, Next door, on jewellery maker. She's going on a maternity leave. Next Tuesday is my Next birthday. Tuesday, but I won't see her after today. Oh, I'm so oh. sad, John. What? Well, today? I will miss you so much. But how long are you taking off? Oh, I don't know yet. Oh. I'm and what's, due, to what's to baby come. due date? Well, middle of May, I will not say appropriate. Middle of the, Well, no, because they never come on the day, do they? They come around the <laughs> middle never of May. The no. Never. Oh, well, listen, all the. Ba <laughs> Every morning we come in, we have two kisses one for King and yeah, one for baby. Where's the other kiss? Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll see you later. Go, go, go. Right, let's do a, a, a turn to plique. Um, so put this in, gra these graphics in now, ha uh, Hannah, Rachel. OK, so um, as I said before, we've given you some little instructions on the front. And one of the things that we talk about is um, how, you, um, how you stitch it. So basically, as John said, needle turn to plique is slightly different to raw edge plique, which is what I tend to use because I find it easier. Yeah. This gives you a different finish and it's a different, a different technique. Um, so we suggest that you use a really fine thread. Um, we suggest an orophil um, thread. Um, all the information is in here. And we also suggest that you use um, um, one of the milliners um, 
uh, needles, um, a, a, a size 10 um, yeah. needle on there. Um, but all of that information is in the front piece of this here. Now, what we want to do is we want to cut out pieces of interfacing that are going to be adhered to the back of the fabric. And we also want to cut pieces out of the fabric as well. Um, so to show you what I mean, um, I'm just going to take here. So we've got this interfacing template down here. And then we have the fabric template. Oh, are these so, cheaters? Is this a cheater's way of is it, doing it? Is it a cheater's way of doing it? I don't know if it's a cheater's way of doing it. Do yeah. You know? um, so the, easy, the easiest way. Now, my, my mum said, oh, no, I just cut mine out of card. So she'll cut, cut a piece of paper, cut a piece of card out of this and she'll put it underneath the fabric and she stitches around it. Yeah. And that's how she would do it. But what we've done on here, what we've explained to do is you cut your interfacing. So you can see your interfacing is slightly smaller than your piece of fabric um, you're going to be using on your template. So we're just going to cut out, um, we'll cut out one of these D sides at the moment out of some fabric. So I'm using my fabric template and I'm going to just use my... Um, a heat raisable pen mm -hmm. and use that template. Shape, shape, I've got the one that works. Oh, yeah. No, I have it. Uh, what did you say, Rachel? One of these looks like your um, eyebrow shaper. Which one? G. It's like your moustache, isn't it, that one? G. It'd be a, a, bit, a bit of a monobrow, I think, if you yeah. use G. Um, well, she has a mono bosom, <laughs> so she might as well have a mono brow. <laughs> So we're, cut, we're going around the inside of that template. Yeah. Now, if you prefer to use the outside of templates, you've, in the little bag, you've got all the templates, but you've got all the insides parts of right. it as well. So we've given you all bits, all the options. So basically, your factory have cut those out yes. and, and put that in there. In there. So there's so no wasting. Yeah, whatsoever. so you've got two different options depending on how you want to do it. So I want to cut out of my fabric template on here. Yeah. But then I want to use my interfacing. And is it just a regular... Uh, interfacing. It's just it's a fusible interfacing. Medium weight. Here. Me interfacing. Me medium weight. Yeah. Um, so we're going to cut that, and then we also want to cut. We've got that on the one website. Of got those there. as well. Um, so I'm going to make sure I cut on the papery side rather than the um, shiny side. Which is yeah. Blue. And so using the interfacing template, we're just going to cut around here. And then we're going to cut round here. Nearly half the stock of this is gone. Now, Jeanette said, morning, John Scott. I've just bagged the Liberty Bolt and I've used the birthday March discount code. Such a bargain. Ooh. Jeanette, isn't it your birthday today? I'm sure it's your birthday today. I don't know what, mate. I don't know what's clicked in my brain. Yeah, have I don't know. It's encyclopedic knowledge of other people's birthdays. I mean, I get that you know mine. Of course. Because you should. Yeah. Um, and I know yours because yeah. we should because they're basically more or less the same day. Yeah, exactly. Um, but Obviously, uh, I'm a few years older. Only a couple. Oh, what? What, Jeanette's birthday is the 4th of August? No, my birthday is not 4th of August. <laughs> Definitely not. And then we've got I'm June the 19th, my birthday. And I'm June the 20th. Mm -hmm. And I'm June the 20th. Yeah. That's why we can't forget each other's birthdays. There we go. So we're going to cut those two pieces here. Now we want to fuse this with the iron. Oh, so did you want the iron on? Yeah, I did want the iron on. But I'm just, uh, yeah, can I pop it on? Yeah. Um, I'm just going to pop that in the middle here. Um, oh, not trimmed that little piece properly, like that. So that's going to pop in here. And then the idea is that gives your fabric a little bit of a place to sort of fold over the top of when we come to stitch it. Um, actually, we don't, I don't, don't worry about it. I'm here, I'm here, but I don't know if I've got... Cat, have I got any electricity at this desk? Don't worry, I, I'm, I'm fine without it. Oh, so, I, 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 I could just... Like that, on, the, on my hairdryer. Um, now, um, I've already got one that I've started putting together. Um, so all we want to do is, once we've ironed this on top of each other, um, I like to press all the way around the edge, like this. Just like that, just to make sure everything um, sort of folds over. Because as we stitch um, on this onto a piece of fabric, we're going to be flipping over that little edge and hiding it. So with raw edge applique, you would have some kind of um, glue or bondage web on here, and then you would just glue it down and you would just stitch, blanket stitch around the edge. We're not going to do that. We're just going to do needle turned applique, so we're going to fold it over. So I've got one here that I started earlier on, which you can see. And this is how we've put these together. So we've worked with these petals like this, but when we fold them over, they end up being this kind of size. Now, this is another piece of the flower, 
which I'm just going to pin here. Now, what I would suggest you do is you get some shorter pins than you would normally use. So these are shorter than the pins that we have um, at Crafters Companion. These are our, our normal size pins. Those are our smaller pins. Yeah, that applique using. pins. Yeah, just so they hold everything in place and they don't get in the way when you're stitching. So See, I'm going to pin that there. Birthday yesterday. Oh, you're very good, John. That's really impressive. Now, here I've got um, a size 10 <coughs> needle and I've got some Aurifil 80 weight um, uh, thread. Right. So it's very, very fine. Um, it, I, did, I did try and order a different colour um, so you could truly see um, what I was stitching. But um, unfortunately, I could only get um, sort of greys and, and beiges. So um, it, you're going to have to Oh, we've got Jenny this. Jackson's box here somewhere. You oh, have you? Uh, colours, yeah. Well, she always does really brightly coloured stuff, doesn't she? Yeah. Okay, so a couple of little knots here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get started. And I'm going to put up my needle. And I'm just going to fold. So you can see here I've got my um, interfacing here. I'm just going to fold my piece of fabric over the top. And you're just tucking in that little edge um, of your raw edge applique. And you're going to go up. And you're just going to do a little bit of a ladder stitch. So just a small ladder stitch and you're going to be using your needle to flick away the edge so we're going round like this and it's it just not the cheats way i thought you were going to do it oh what was the cheats way you were i thought you were going to use the interfacing yeah. to bag it out uh, then you've got a finished edge uh, and then you can slip stitch that it really that on. really is a cheats way of doing it i know it's no. a good way of doing it though. yeah good way of doing it absolutely so we're just going to flick that over you can just see i'm just catching the edge with my needle and you don't want to use too long a piece of thread when you're doing this only a piece basically from your index finger down to your uh, your wrist basically yep. so it doesn't get tangled and it will get tangled if you take too much um, thread there so we're just making sure we're tucking everything in and then stitching through here the okay. low tack tape is great for marking lines when you are quilting. Comes off the fabric great. Can't be without it, so not just for the Gemini. Oh. Did you get the all four? Did you get the two, buy two, get two for free, Jeanette? In the easy side. So we're just stitching round like this. And you can see how that's beginning to look. So you're just tucking in a little bit at a time and then flicking it under, making sure you're getting it nice and taut. Do you know what this it? pattern reminds me of? You know your Chang's fabric? Yeah. You did a, like, um, was it a hand-turned applique, like a tree, like a family tree? I did, we did. It wasn't hand-turned applique because um, I'm too lazy to do that. Okay. <laughs> but it is. Um, it was raw edged applique. Oh, okay. And you can, uh, but it was a tree with um, all those little leaves, little on, leaves it. on it. Little leaves on it, yeah. yeah very that was one of the first times we ever met. Yeah. Sort, sort of, um, I think it, it's our most popular kit, actually, oh. of all of them. Yeah, I think it was. That would have been a long time ago, John. Yeah, well, sewing quarter. Yeah. Yeah. Five years ago? More than that. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Well, well, I've been here three years. So right, okay. at least five years ago. Yeah, at least ago, five yeah. years ago. Oh, my goodness me. It takes time, doesn't it? Uh. So you're just going to go around and stitch here. So you can see how that's coming along um, and how this looks. So it looks totally different to um, the way it would do if you were going to be doing um, raw edge applique. Um, so yeah, if I just show you. So if we were doing raw edge applique, we would be getting this piece, uh, we've got this one here, this um, shape here. We've got that interface which you haven't ironed on. We're not going to worry about that um, because what we're going to do is we're going to use some bonder web. She says looking for it. Where have I popped that? Not so organised. Do you need the iron? I will need the iron now. <laughs> Sorry, cat. Oh, sorry, did you get rid of it? I got oh, the iron. Oh, don't, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. No, I'll just talk it through. I'll talk okay. it through, don't no, no, worry. No, 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 we've got the iron because we're going to need to show you the iron because we need to find out how many we've sold. Where do I put my bond web? I can't find that bond web. You can't find your bond web. No, I've got a whole packet. No, it's there. <laughs> can't see for licking. It's no, one of those things. I blame Rachel, you see. <laughs> it's one of those days, yeah. <laughs> 
is for, when you're sort of looking at um, things, you can't see it for looking. So if you're going to be doing raw edge applique, which you absolutely can do with this as well, um, so it's one of those options. The whole idea, we've created it so it's needle toned applique, but if you didn't want to do that, you could um, do it as raw edge applique. So I'm just going to cut a little piece of bonder web out. So if you've not seen bonder web before, you've got like a greaseproof paper on one side and it feels slightly um, rough on the other. That's the side that's got the glue. Um, so we want to adhere that to the back of the fabric and we're just going to do that with um, an iron. And then we will cut out, um, not using the interfacing template, but we want to use the actual fabric template um, to um, cut out our little shape. And then you can stick that onto your fabric um, and then get it... Um, it's just warming up now. You can sit that onto your fabric and then just finish it off with some stitching. So you can do some, um, some decorative stitch, you can do some um, blanket stitch, it's up to you. Iron, Rach, iron. I'm oh, sorry, you did have it in. So we've got that here. Should be 99.99. And we don't want steam with Bond Web. You don't want to do steam, but if you are going to use steam. Oh, that made me chuckle. <laughs> I was nowhere near you, woman. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it feels like I'm in an 80s pop video now with all Oh, I thought you were going to say in a posh spa. <laughs> I was doing your, your blackheads for you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Shall I put the iron away now? Yeah, that's yeah. Sorry. Just uh, what we can. Thank... Right, so. Who can? Who's banging the door? Hayley. Oh, Hayley, our boss, Hayley. So you've got here, um, we've, we've got our bonder web on here and we're cu going to cut out our shape. Then we're cutting out the shape using the template, the fabric template, not the interfacing template. So we're going to cut it like this. Now, when my mum uses bonder web, whatever shape she's cutting, she cuts the bonder web in half. So she always has a join in the middle um, because she thinks it makes it easier to take the bonder web apart, um, which I haven't done here. So what I will do is I'll just use a pin um, to try and pick off the edge of that bonder web or fold it over and see if that comes away. Because um, what you want to do is you want to peel that paper backing off the bonder web um, and then you can stick everything down. Got a question from Lisa. Morning, both. Uh, when you are cutting fabric on the Gemini, do you need to square off fabric or just make sure it's straight from the selvage? Um, you need to you need to look at the dies that you've got you've got and work out how they are asking you to cut the fabric. So generally speaking, they're wanting the grain line to run vertically, um, but you need to make sure. So if you're using something. Um, for example, with a curve on it, it might suggest that you have a, a, a right angle and then a curve like that. And um, you just need to see what you want to do. So depending on which um, build block you're using, um, you, you just need to make sure yeah. it goes in the right place. So now I've put my, um, taken my paper off and then I can just place my uh, shape down here, iron it on, and then I can stitch around the outside just to finish it off. Yeah. And that would be my raw edge applique. So a different option to the needle turn applique, which is what I've done here. Um, you can see it gives you a different, different shape, different, a different idea, and you'll also get a larger shape um, from these ones because obviously it's not been turned under. But all of these will work in exactly the same way. You can mix and match each one of these um, to create beautiful designs. I mean, this one in itself is lovely. I would suggest that the first one you try is this one because you've got some smooth curves here. This one, you've got some quite intricate curves to do. Okay. Um, so I do, I do that one after you've sort of spent some time with this one and you feel completely au fait with it. But they are easy to do. They do take a little bit of time. They're not, mm -hmm. uh, not a quick, um, <coughs> but a really nice way of doing some hand stitching to create these beautiful designs. Gorgeous. It's Kat's birthday today. She said, good morning. It's a lovely day. I've got a day off and it's my birthday. Let the overindulgent shopping begin. Oh. Aww. Right, so these are twenty six ninety seven. They're not meant to be twenty six ninety seven. You get all three of them for your twenty six pounds and ninety seven pence. So they are good deal, brilliant deal. Oh, there's the stuff. Uh, how much are they each, Rachel? Well, no, how much are they each, Rachel? She's trying to work out now with these for calculation. We're under ten pounds each. Well, they are under ten pounds each. Eight ninety nine each. No, exactly. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Right, OK. Now, let me go through everything that I've got for sale before we do another demo, right? So while you've got these out, are the boards in this one or the next out? They're in this one, aren't they? 
Right, we've got a deal where you can buy two cutting boards. Uh, this one and this one. Now, if you bought them together, uh, no, if you bought them individually today, they'd cost you £79.98. We are going to a special price. Yeah, both for... Forty nine ninety nine. Now they both fold up, so if you haven't got anywhere to store them, you can fold them up and put them away like that. But or you could use that as a small. If you're just doing a small, nothing stop you using just that side on its own. They are um, self healing mats. Am I right? Yes, that's right. Uh, yeah. Self healing mats. Yeah, because obviously you're going to cut into them with your rotary cutter. Don't iron on them. Don't use them as ironing boards. Um, and keep flat. But you can fold it in half and keep it flat like that. Both of those A one and A two for forty nine. 99. That's how many? 23 left in today's stock. Right. Now I'm going to do a mystery bundle. Ooh. So, um, how much is my mystery bundle worth, please? No one knows. It's a mystery. Yeah, no. But it's, you're going to get what's in this box, but I can't show you all of it. I'm going to face it round this way. Oh, look at that. There's all sorts. Oh, yeah. So... 166.84. If you bought, you won't get the crate. If you bought everything in here on its own, it would cost you 166 pounds and 84 pence. Right. How much are we going to? Three-way split pay. Remember, because three-way split pay stays. 83.42. Oh, we're going half price. Half price. Half price. Now, oh, I'm going to tell you. Do you know what's a mystery bundle? I'm going to tell you. What, everything? Look away for 30 seconds if you don't know, want to know what's in it. Right? Well, no, no, because you want to know what you... OK, Rachel, so you're going to pay 83.42. OK, so she... Right, I'm not going to tell you then. Rachel, producer, said no. I like that. I like, I like, I that. like that. I'm not going to tell you. I love that. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. Mm. That's lovely. Ooh. Oh, that's nice as well. Where's the, where's the one you're doing then? That one. You can do a Christmas decoration. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what? I've just said that and you went, no, don't say anything, don't say anything. <laughs> I said, look away. No, because you said don't. All right, look away if you don't want to know what's in it. This is in it. Everyone will get this, right? So what's that there, then? Um, am I allowed to say it? But yeah, people yeah. might be looking away. Oh. So, so we won't say what's in it. Oh, I don't... Yeah. <laughs> don't listen, either. <laughs> don't listen, either. We'll show you, right, for yeah. very quickly. We'll show you what's in it. Won't say a word. Won't say a word. Right. That. Ooh. Ooh, that. Yeah. Ooh, those. Ooh. That's gorgeous. Oh, lovely. Oh, look. Oh, that's handy. That's lovely. Don't know what that is. <laughs> you get this one, and you get this one, and you get this one. Which you... Right, that's it, that's it. Don't look... Oh, and more, Kat hasn't got it all out. Kat hasn't got it all out, and more, and more. I've got to keep that one out, because I'm going to do a demo on that one. Beautiful. Oh. Oh. Too much well, to put Well, yeah, the thing it. is, don't keep it all for yourself. Give, gift it to your friends. Right, half price, half price. Message what? <laughs> Good morning, Stu. Do you have thread and zip on a roll? Do you have sliders to fit these, please? Not today. Uh, we have... No, that we, we do sell sliders. We do sell cup crafter sliders. Are they not for the zips on a roll? There's a little box of ten, and you get two sewing machines, two what's it's two what's Oh, no, it? they're just charms. They just, mm -hmm. They're just charms. They're not, they're, I haven't got actually... Oh, they're not zip pulls? No. Not zip no, pulls. Do we sell zip pulls? We then? don't. Oh, sorry, we Kat, you're right, Kat, 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 sorry, you're right, you're right, right. I always thought they were zip pulls. No. So they're only charms. They're just charms. Oh, yeah. they So, no, we don't. I always think of that um, James Bond film, you know, where she's the belly dancer, and she says, I've lost my charm. Do you not remember that? What no. film's that? James Bond. I can't remember which one wasn't it is. Wasn't one of mine. Man with a golden gun. It definitely wasn't <laughs> one. Right. It's a what? What's the matter? Oh, no. <laughs> right. So if you, got, don't, if you buy the mystery bundle, don't go and look at the, at the more details because everything's listed. 
So it's a nun mystery bundle. I'm going to go back to this for a second because these are fantastic. You know, your low tack tape. Half price, half price. Look, you buy two, you get two for free. Are they about to sell out? <laughs> £9.98, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Now, I've got this lovely bundle here. Nice, isn't it? So what, what do we get in here? We get this lovely organiser. Is it all in there, Kat? Yeah. Yep. And I can show this, can't I? <laughs> Mark away spray. Scissors. Uh, oh, some more uh, Dotec tape. Clips. And embroidery thread. And then this folds... Oh, is there something else in no, there? No, this folds flat. Oh! So really good for storage. Because um, it just pops up down there. Well, we'd want to store it, I'd want it out uh, on the desk the whole time, so yeah. It's nice and... Where nice are we going in price? price. <coughs> the, <coughs> excuse me, 39.97 for all of that. All of that, 39.97. And it's got those beautiful scissors, those kind of Aurora Borealis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things. I've got a scissor bundle coming up in a middle, minute, a middle, a middle, middle. minute. Oh, dear me. <laughs> I think we ought to go home and start again today. Beautiful. There it all is, 39.97. You get lots in that one. Now, we've also got some vinyl fabric, a bundle of vinyls. You get glittery vinyl and you get plain vinyl here. Why is the plain one so much shorter than the glittery one? I think when we brought them out, the glitter one came um, in a bundle with some particular bags. Oh, and we were okay. using it quite right. a lot. And this vinyl fabric was the vinyl fabric we brought out when we had the little Christmas decorations with the holes in their tummies. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 1598. Go on then. Oh, look at that funny picture. 9.99. Nine pounds and 99 pence. You get the glittery one and the plain one. I need to tell you the plain one is... Where's the measurement to the plain one? 12 by 12. And the glittery one is... 19.7 by 23.6. Gorgeous. Now I've got a scissor bundle that I just told you about. All three of those scissors you get in this bundle. $33.97 if you bought them all separately. $24.99 Aurora Aurora Borealis. And then you've got your little snippers and your um, crafting scissors there. Now. Yeah, thank you, Rachel. Um... Aren't these the ones that Leanne says... You can cut paper with as well? Yes. Yes, yes, she does. Remember we always um, say, don't use uh, your best scissors on paper. You can use because it blunts them, right? But these, she says, you can use on both fabric yeah, and paper. and I have been at home. Have um, you? Yeah, and it seems to be OK. OK. Yeah, I, I didn't, I have to say, I didn't really believe Leanne. No. I know I, know I should, should yeah, have yeah, believed yeah, yeah, Leanne, yeah, yeah. but I was like, no, a bit suspicious. But yeah, they seem to work absolutely fine. For uh, the proportions of that picture are completely wrong. Well, no, no, have a look at the show the picture, right? So the shears on that one are smaller than the snippers. <laughs> and then your curved scissors are even bigger than everything. $24.99. That's a good deal, that. Mm. Now, we also got to deal a faux leather if you're going to make some bags. Rachel this likes this. She saw this this yeah. morning. She likes this one. Lovely stuff, this, um, in those three different colours. Really, really pretty. They've got a lovely, lovely feel to them. Yes, completely. So what, how much do I get there? I get, uh, uh, 25 centimetres by 130 centimetres there. OK, how much coming off those? Oh, just a couple of pounds. 
27 pounds and 99 pence. Beautiful. Right. You're all waiting to see the Gemini machine, I know. I know, I know, I know. So let's just talk about this Gemini machine then. Yep. Because um, when Sarah brought this out, well, I'll let you, let you talk about it. Because she always said, when the first one was designed, you won't need a stronger pressure. Yeah. There's no stronger pressure on this, is there? No, there's not. It, 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 you can't get any more pressure yeah. in it. But the whole idea of the machine has been, um, it's been modified to be sleeker and to be faster and to be quieter. Um, so great for anybody who crafts late at night or who, you know, wants to do you know, secret crafting and no one, you know, don't want anyone to know about it. Um, but it's also got some refinements. So it's got a media stand and it's also got USB ports at the back of it. And um, the whole idea you know, that using this is just totally different to using the, the original. Yeah, I've got the original. Um, you know, it, 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 it's a really lovely machine. Uh, it, it's such a workhorse. They... As we said, there's not going to be any more power in it than before. But this one's got actually an optical sensor that runs the whole width across the throat, which is why you've got those white plates in there in order for you to um, sort of be able to um, see that. You've also got little storage places down here. So that's the front of the machine. And this is your throat where you've got that optical sensor. And then at the back, you've got the same thing. You've got a little um, shelf at the back. So it means that you, when you push, put your plates through, you don't have to rush to try and get them. They will sit on this plate here. And then you've got this little storage pot for, for food um, yeah. or, or goodies and then you've got a media stand up here so if you're crafting with this and you are running your plates through the machine here you've got your um, tablet up here or your phone because you're watching um, a, a show or you're watching um, a, demonstration. a demonstration and then on the back you've got three usb ports here now i thought three was really excessive i thought one would be fine yeah but if you think you know your tablets you might have your um we've got a little um vacuum cleaner um that used to be sell on hobby maker and um, you charge that in there you might be charging your lights there's all sorts of different things that you can be doing in there so you've got all three of those now when you get the machine it's got this whisper and not whisper these like um what's what trying to call them are we putting whisper? i don't know what i'm trying to call them they got like glide feet, yeah, whisper feet. I don't know, whisper feet. They glide feet, so it moves around. Really whisper easy. feet. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong, what's wrong with me. Whisper feet, glide feet. You know what I mean. Look, they don't make any noise. And they move, it moves around. moves around. So it moves around like that. Now there is a refinement you can get. You can get um, a. Um, a little uh, lazy Susan that goes on the bottom of it. It'll uh, coming up in a minute. Uh, well, it actually comes in the bundle for this, right? Yeah, uh, right, before you do anything, right, before you do anything, what plates do I get as standard? As standard. As standard, you oh, will get... Hang on, I've lost them. You carry on talking. As, as standard, you get two white plates. Now, the white plates um, look like this. You, if you've got the original Gemini um, and you still have the plates from that, you can absolutely use those plates um, for this, but you will need to use a white piece of paper in there because you've got that optical sensor and it needs to be able to see the white in order for it to work. You're going to be getting a metal shim, which is a flexible metal shim. You're going to be getting a frosted shim. You'll be getting a red embossing mat, which you will only use for paper craft, and you will be getting a magnetic shim, which you're going to be using for paper craft. Okay, so, <coughs> so that comes as get. basic with the machine, but we've done a bundle for you today, which includes the rotary uh, turner that you just talked about. <coughs> Excuse me, and this screws really easily onto the bottom of your machine there, and it means I've I've only got I would only use this. But that one means you can spin it round and round. Yeah. So. And really good if you're short of space on your craft table. I have mine right to the edge of, you know, against my wall. And being able to spin it round makes a massive difference. Brilliant. You also get an owl uh, dies. You also get an elongated hexy die. But most... I, <coughs> I do apologise. Most importantly, you get this which is your, that thing that you get, little bag you can keep your plates in. You get two more of the white ones that you get in there anyway. But this is really important if you're doing fabric cutting. You get two fabric plates, which are heavier weight plates, which we'll talk about in a second. If you bought all of that today, it will cost you £338. We've done a deal. Two hundred forty nine ninety seven, two hundred forty nine ninety seven for all of that. Uh, question. 
Uh, can Becky clarify which plates to use in which order? Yeah, we'll do that now, Jill, for you. We'll do that now. So we'll go with what comes with it, you know, the basics, before we show you what the extras are for. OK. Right. Let me grab my, my box of tricks I've got down here. Um, so in your... So these are the plates you're going to be getting. Now, I... Um, when I cut fabric and I'm cutting fabric, um, no, I, I said it before, if I cut felt, I don't use the fabric plates. I find that using the plates that come with your machine cut felt much more efficiently. Um, so that's what we're going to use here. So I'm going to pretend we've not got any fabric plates. We're just using what you're going to be getting in the box. So the two white plates, the metal shim and the frosted shim. Now what we want to do is I'm going to choose a little die. Let's go for this little flower one so um, when you get dies um, if you've got paper craft dies um, you can use some of those for cutting fabric um, don't use anything intricate use something that is um, like a, 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 a a smooth shape is what I would say, something like this, where you've got just um, an outline kind of shape here, rather than something that's more intricate. If you had something that was really intricate, like a paper craft die with like a name or a word or something like that, it just won't work through the, the fabric. Um, now, the difference is when you we talk about using these die or dies from paper craft, they put the die paper down here and then they put that straight on that. We don't do that with paper or fabric. We're going to take some felt. So I've got two pieces of felt here. I'm going to take my first white plate. So think of the white plates as being your bread in your sandwich. So they're always on the outside of your, your sandwich. And then I'm going to take my fabric and I'm going to take my die and I'm going to have my die. So hang on, you put down. the white one, then you put the metal shim. Yeah. Then you put the fabric. Yeah. Then you put the die with... Uh, not sharp side, but pointy side down. Pointy side down. Yeah. I'm just looking for my low tack tape. Um, if I have, I've got loads. Got a deal on the low tack we've tape. Got a deal. I should have. I should have put some more low tack tape if I'd known there was such a good deal on it. Just looking there. It's right at the bottom of my bag. Um, so I am heavy handed on my low tack tape because I don't want things to move. So you can see this thigh here has got a little bit of a lip on it. If I press my fingers against it, it's not going to hurt me. It's the pressure of the machine that is going to cut the fabric. So we want the flat side facing upwards. And I put quite a lot of tape on my die. I, put, I take my die to my fabric to my plate. Um, that is what I feel is best because it keeps everything in place. Then I'm going to put my frosted shim over the top of that and then my white plate on the top. So you can see here, I've got my sandwich, my bread. Yeah. Two white plates as a bread. And then you've got that metal shim, fabric with a die, and then the frosted shim on the top of that. And then we're going to pop that through the machine. So we'll open up the front and the back. And then as it goes through, you can definitely hear it's much quieter. As it goes through the felt, you can hear that kind of crackling noise. That's entirely normal. It's just all of those fibres in the felt making that noise. Now, if I was cutting multiple layers of fabric, you wouldn't get the same kind of noise. Thank you. So now, when I pull this apart, you see you've got that quite different, uh, uh, deep indentation. And that is because the dyes are thicker than you would get with paper craft um, because they've got to cut through all those layers of fabric. Um, and you will find that over time, it becomes quite busy with shapes yeah. it doesn't matter you can still absolutely use it but if you're going to be using um, these dies for cutting lots and lots of shapes out of fabric i would suggest you invest in the fabric plates well they're in the bundle yeah absolutely yeah and then you can see you've got those two perfectly cut shapes so really easy to do and it's going to you can imagine if you had to cut that by hand it would take a really really long time and yeah. um, so really easy to do i tend to reuse my tape but at that price, you don't need to worry. No, about exactly, it. Really exactly. It. Really now, if I've got the fabric plates, which I have got if yep. I've bought this bundle, I don't need so many layers, do I? Um, no, well, you still, you still end up with the same amount of um, uh, plates that you're using in your configuration. All that we do is we take away the frosted shim and that, yeah. that metal, uh, metal shim, but we still use the white plates and we just replace them with those fabric plates. Now, the fabric plates, really really thick much much thicker than the others and um, one says a one says b one is slightly thicker than the other it does not matter which way round you use them um, but you use them in exactly the same way so we're going to take that and i'll grab some fabric have we got the the fabric plates on their own today yeah fabric every time we're on with the fabric plates they sell out don't they yeah They're yeah, yeah so maybe we've got enough to go around maybe yeah 
So uh, ideally, you'd want to give this a bit of an eye, but we're not going to worry too much about yeah. that at the moment. I'm going to fold that over like that. So, <coughs> and then I'm going to place that down here. Again, low tack tape and plenty of it. You don't want it shifting around when it goes through the machine, so it's always best to tape it down. Um, so I've got my white plate, I've got my metal fabric plate, I've got my fabric with my die facing downwards. I'm going to sandwich that between the other fabric plate and then my white bread plate yep. over there. So same, same kind of configuration, but this is much better when you're using um, fabric plates because you've got, um, will, you're, because you're cutting it through all those multiple layers of fabric, because the fabric plates are that, that much thicker, you won't get the markings that you do with the others. Now you hear that as it goes through the machine, you don't get any crackling now because it's not got any felt, it's only got fabric, so you don't get that kind of crackling noise. If you were using a square die and it was going square on, you would get like a thud as the rollers go over it, but that won't make any difference now. So now, if I lift that up, you can see we've got how many layers did we do there? We did one, two, three, four, five, six layers of fabric cut with the fabric plates. Now, you can see here slight indentation, yeah. very, very slight. Um, and that is the difference between the fabric plates versus those metal plates you get with the, the machine as, as a standard. Absolutely out of the box, you can still continue to cut fabric, but you will notice that this gets more indented over time. Definitely worth investing in those. And also, when you, if you've got this one, yep. uh, what you do is you do it that way, that way, that way, and that way. So you keep, each time you use it, you turn it round a different way so it just doesn't get used quite as much. Yeah, and you should be doing that with all of the plates. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, now, um, some, the mess lady that messaged earlier about the straight of grain, have you got a straight uh, a die there at all? I've got <coughs> a straight die. If not, we can do it in the next. We can do it in the next cell because I've got the builder blocks. In oh, yeah, yeah. We'll so do I can it show you in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and I can actually open up the builder block and show you in the builder block in the instructions how to do that there. Question What is the flower die you're using, please? Oh, this is an old one. This is an old one. It was a. Um, gosh, I can't think what it was called. I you think it was. Called, packet still. No, I think it was called something like Bloom. Um, and it had a number of um, shapes, flowers like this, in different sizes with some circles. And I think it even has some leaves in it um, as well. Um, if, I can, if I can find it, I'll pop it on my Facebook page um, when I get home later on. Oh, you can tell us when you come back in an hour. Yeah, but I'd have to have, look, have, to have a look through it. If I can find it out. Oh, I was thinking you'd have to have too Yeah, I'm not entirely sure it's uh, around. Light bulb moment, struggled with felt for ages. Thank you for so much for the securing the tape trick from Stephanie Norfolk. Well, Stephanie, it's, uh, buy two, get two for free. And felt, I have to say, I don't use my, my fabric plates. I always use the plates that come with the machine. It cuts felt better. Uh, I'm always happy to see a big dent in the metal shim when there is a demo. First time I used my shim, I thought I wrecked it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think oh, everyone does, don't yeah. they? Because it looks so, it looks so severe. But um, you know, you you said you still use them. I so I've so I haven't got them. They keep I keep saying to me, oh, when do I get the fabric plates? When am I get the fabric plates? I still got this one, and I'll bring it in one day. It's like a piece of tin foil. <laughs> can I use fabric plates to cut felt? You can, you can absolutely. But I find. If I'm cutting a shape like that one, a simple shape, um, it cuts it cuts fine. Now um, I've got with me the um, where did I put it? The little um, this one here, um, this this die, set of dies, which has got the little reindeer, and it's got tiny little perforations in it. I find it cuts better. Better. I cut two layers of felt at a time, and I use the plates that you get with this, and I run it through twice. Right. And um, because you want to get all those tiny little perforations cut out, and um, so that, that's my personal preference. I find they work better with um, these uh, plates personally. Brilliant. Oh, that's the one. Oh, cat. Ah, well done, cat. This is the die. Um, it's got the flowers. So yeah, two, two flowers and two circles. And I think it comes with a, there's a separate die which has um, the stalk and the leaves. We haven't got it on today's show. There's a separate die with the stalk and the yeah. leaves. We haven't got it on the show today, though, unfortunately. But at least you know for next time. Yeah, let's recap. Recap. We've got four minutes now to recap everything. So let's do this bundle, the, the, the Gemini bundle. Uh, with the Gemini bundle, you get all the plates you need anyway. Plus, you get the tourney table, you get the neoprene um, bag, you get two fabric plates, you get two extra white plates, you get the owl uh, die, you get the elongated hexi die. 
All of that for 249.97. It's on three-way split pay. How much should it be, Rachel? Three what? Three, three, eight, nine, two. And it's on split pay as well, look. £83.32. That's all of that, plus your Gemini, plus your plates. All of that, brilliant. Right. Then what you'll need, to, if you're doing that, you'll need your low-tech tape, which it's a, the best deal I think I've ever seen. Buy two, get two for free. I don't know if they're in shot over there. There you go. Buy two, get two for free. So that was that. Uh, it's just useful to have, isn't it? Then at the beginning of the show, we had the uh, Turn Edge Applique uh, templates. These are not a die. You don't need a Gemini machine for these. Yeah, all three of those. For £26.97, £26.97. £26 so you get all the templates. So 27 in there, 16 in there, 21 in there. Brilliant. Then we went to the scissor deal. We get three pairs of scissors. $24.99. Really good deal, because you never have too many scissors, can you? So you've got snipped, you've got main scissors, and then you've got curved scissors, but they're the metallic-y ones. Then we went to the faux leather. Three lots of faux leather there. They're gorgeous, these colours, aren't they? Gorgeous, really, really lovely vegan leather. Twenty-seven ninety-nine. Then we went to your vinyl. Thank you. This glitter one, I think, is lovely. Really nice. Do you want to get it out yeah. so we see what it looks like? I can't fully appreciate the colour. Here. And what do you use that for? Um, <coughs> little um, pockets on bags. Um, so we have some little pouches that have that on the on the side to have a little um, or, or even like a um, pencil case, something like that. Yeah. I really like this. I, I'm shame they don't do it by the meterage because I'd like a, a raincoat out of that. Would you? Glittery raincoat, yeah. I would say, I would say, no, no, you put your back so you can see through into the pocket, see what's inside the pocket. Then we've got this, which Rachel's going to get for her mum. Love a little... Craft, no, no, they don't belong to us, Rachel. Rachel thinks I, she can just take this one home. Well, I it. bought one of these for my mum, and she took it to her craft class, and all the women bought one. Oh, there you go, yeah, Rachel. They all had them, because they were so useful. I bet they didn't get this deal, though. No. Uh, clips, tool, scissors, thread, uh, mark away spray, and some low-tech tape. I oh, know, lovely, isn't it? And it folds away if you're storing it. I think you'd keep that out all the time, wouldn't you? Then, last but not least, we had our mystery bundle. But so much of a mystery bundle, they've listed everything on the <laughs> website that you're getting. I'll turn it around. Half price, half price at £83.42. And pence. Yeah, half price, that's what I said, yeah. Three-way split pay. Right, Becky's back in an hour. I am. And we're going to be doing builder blocks, aren't yes, we? Yes, we are. We've got a builder great blocks deal and all on sorts of other things. Yep. Brilliant. I uh, don't go anywhere, though. Adam is up next with the first of two brand new uh, dressmaking patterns. We'll see you back here in four minutes from now. <laughs> Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages.
Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Sewing Street is now available on Virgin Media, channel number 754. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one P&P with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Dressmaking now. Adam's... Oh, I don't know what he's doing. Adam? I'm having a rummage in my box. Hang on. I'm here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Morning. Morning. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, I'm finally on with you. I've... I've not been avoiding you, I promise. I, I heard you had. No, I've I not. I heard you gone to the office and said I don't want to work with him anymore. No, I'd never say that ever in a million years. You Good. <laughs> uh, now, I might not be able to do too much talking today. What? Tree pollen. I've got... Oh, it's tree pollen. I get oh, it every year. Are I'm you... not in any pain. It just sounds awful. But you've had your tea. You, is that I've open? got my tea and I've got my water and everything like that, so I'm all right. All oh, right, there you go. Right. Are. We're going to make a Hadley top from the Grain Line Studios here. Uh, now, now, you've got to remember these are American sizes, sizes 0 to 18, advanced beginner. What's advanced about it then? Um, I suppose um, there's a lot of things in it that are standard with a top darts and things like that. Yeah. Nothing that we've not covered on here before. I suppose there's some more facings oh, okay. involved okay. Um, on the hem and the sleeve. And um, also setting in a sleeve, it is a setting sleeve. Oh, OK, right. Oh, you're going to cover that today, then? Yeah, hopefully. We can Brilliant. do that bit. Right, now what you need to do is don't go via a shop 
size. Go via the sizes on the packet here. So their size zero is a 32 bust, 25 waist, 35 hip. And their size 18 is a 44 bust, a 37 waist and a 47 hip. Do not go by um, shop sizes. <coughs> Excuse me. Go by the sizes on here. You've got here straight seams, curved seams, setting sleeve, darts, pleating and applying faces. Yes. Facings. Where's the pleats? Um, there's a slight pleat in the back. Oh, OK. OK. A very slight one. Right. So here's the pattern. Uh, $19.99. You can either have it sleeveless or with sleeves. Uh, you can have V-neck or you can have round neck. Uh, the hem, I think, is... Now, to me, the back of that one looks different to the back of that one. Did you have a look at the one with the... Um, Look, if you look here, Adam, that looks yeah. like the back has got no fullness in it. But whereas that one looks like it's got um, fullness in it, doesn't it? Yeah, so I'm not sure actually whether the pleat exists. Mind you, both pieces, I'm pretty sure, are the same. Let I'm me just going to have a look now. No, no, look, 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 look. No. So uh, I can show you here on the pattern. Yeah. This one here has the pleat in the back. That one there has no pleat in the back. Yeah. So you've put the right. pleat in the back of yours, have you? Yeah, for yep. view A, yes. Yeah. So all in the, the really good instructions manual, it goes on for pages, look. Keeps it very, very simple. Uh, and then all your pick Now, what are we saying about these? They're what? Recyclable, are Yeah, they? I'm sure it said on the pattern that it's printed on eco paper. Yeah, printed in the United States on recycled paper with soy-based inks. Oh. So I, I like a soya it. vanilla latte. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. So that's your pattern. That's your pattern. Now, just a one size pattern from a, U, uh, a USA size 0 to 18, which I'm presuming means 22 in the UK size. Uh, so that's your pattern. Now I've got fabric bundles here, which I can take you through now. So the one that Adam's made his out of, two and a half metres. Just check in now. Yep. Two and a half metres will make all of them, all the sizes in all the, in, in all the designs. Uh, you might recognise this. We launched this this week with uh, Catherine Wright. Beautiful, isn't it? Twenty six ninety nine. This is your digital print cotton lawn in rows. Oh, sorry, my finger's right. Let me, there you go. Very pretty, isn't it? Lovely. Beautiful. Is it? Oh, five left. Five left already. Five left already of those. Then, the one that... Are you making out of this one? Uh, yes. Yep. Yep. This is nice. I like this one. More subtle, this one, isn't it? What colour would you call that? You see, they've called it green. It's definitely not fawn. <laughs> Putty. What would Putty. you call it? Yeah, it's more along those lines, isn't it? It's giving me more olivey type. Olivey, khaki, cat. Khaki. Lovely. If we were in America, it'd be khaki, wouldn't it? <laughs> With the lovely pinks and creams there. Two and a half metre bundle, 26 99 Cotton lawn. Lovely to work with, cotton lawn. Beautiful. Now, I haven't seen that one before. That one must be brand new today, that one. Then we've got a, like a rose one. Oh, it's got, has it got berries on it, like grapes on it and things. I don't think they are grapes. I think they're just berries. Uh, 21 99 that one. 21 99 Beautiful. Hmm? Gorgeous. Don't know why that one's twenty one ninety nine because it's the same cotton lawn as the others. Oh, which of those two is that? No, you've gone onto the linens now. You've gone onto a completely different fabric now. Hang on, then. She's gone to the linens now. This is linen. This is a linen mix. I'm thinking. Have you got the? Have you got the? Um, Break down there, the composition there. I don't think, I'm not sure if they're not 100% linen. 
Oh, no, linen and cotton. Linen and cotton. 28.99 for your two and a half metres. Now, that one is slightly heavier than your cotton lawn. That will give you a different look, that one. And it's got like a slub on it. 28.99, you're loving this one. Uh, <coughs> Good morning, lovely Adam. I always love your demo, says Julie Vaughan. Morning, Julie. Uh, morning, gorgeous Adam Brooks, says Christine. Morning. Uh, morning, John and Adam. What's the difference between shop sizes and those sizes? If I end, it's always the same. You never, ever, ever make a commercial pattern to the shop size. Because you can go into Marks and Spencer's, Wallace, a top shop, try a 16 on, and they're all different. They're all different. So when you're making your own, you don't just go, oh, I buy a 16 in Marks and Spencer's. You go by the measurements. Right, so that's that one linen, cotton there. Now I've got linen and cotton in like this gorgeous blue. They look like honesty leaves, don't they? That's nice. 28 99 They called it Blue Vines, that one. Blue Vines Digital Linen and Cotton Mix. 28 99 Two and a half metres, that's five units, isn't it? Well, it's less than six pounds a half metre, because six pounds would be 30, wouldn't it? Beautiful. These are lovely. The thing is, even if you're not making these tops, these bundles of um, uh, your two and a half metres are gorgeous, aren't they? Then we've got like a spring colourway, like a wedding colourway on the linen. It's called what? Pastel floral, that one's called. 28 99 um, Teresa says, morning, you gorgeous pair. So lovely to see Adam James Brooks. They'll call you by your full name, don't they? Yeah. Haven't seen him for ages yet, because we tried to keep him out of the building, that's why. You rotten man, no, you haven't. <laughs> Alison, Marion, Marion, Alison, Granny Alison says, the lemon is fabulous. You're a bit behind. You're a bit behind. We did the lemon, three, three fabulous. Is Alison Marion out of bed yet? Why, is she normally in bed? She messaged on my thing saying she was still in bed. No. <laughs> She's been on, uh, no, is she still in Cornwall? She's been on baby duty, hasn't she? Oh, bless her. Oh, she's forgiven then. Oh, question from Hillary. With a 38 bust, how can you stop the front of the blouse being shorter than at the back? Oh, hang on, it's either from Jean or Hillary. Hang on. Jean in Lincoln and Hillary Jean underneath. Um, how can you stop it? Right. Well, in, in, if the pattern's good, it shouldn't be higher at the front than it is at the back. But... Uh, you, there's always a short and, and lengthened pat, uh, line yes. the pattern, isn't there? And there is on this one. Yeah, so you can make it longer by using the shorter and uh, longer line. Um, which one next? Uh, was that that one? That one? They're the only two I've got left. This one? On the, on the internet, this looks very... Yeah, oh, I like that. Oh, and it has... Hang on, has it got a direction? There you go. There you go. Beautiful. So watch, watch some of these fabrics, because some of them have definitely got a direction. So make sure you cut all your pieces going the same way. <coughs> um, Alison said she's up now, Adam. Oh, lovely. Christine says, Gary, her toy boy's just come in and said, hello, boys. Hello, boy. Are you, who's going to sing for pleasure? Are you going to sing for pleasure? Yeah, Saturday. Are oh, you? I'm there only, only tomorrow. Maybe All right. Tomorrow. Can you remember the stand number? Oh, oh I, you're not I, on our stand, are you? No, I flat with the jukey lads. <laughs> You'll be so, hungover. No, I won't. Jenny's not going this time, so I'll be... No, right. but all the boys are there. Well, right, and here's the last one. Oh, 21 99 this one. Oh, hang on. I'm confused now. 21 99 Red floral digital lawn. Again, it's got a direction, so make sure you cut them out in the right order. Right, uh, we all, you'll also need some interfacing on this one, lightweight interfacing. Beautiful. Two ninety nine. 
And then last but not least, something we don't normally have, we've got the small hooks and eyes. It's uh, IGZW74. Oh, they've flown out. They've flown out. Actually, we've got large as well. How many of the large have we got? I thought the large might be a bit too big for the project, but they've all done some. Oh, that means they haven't been scheduled. If you've only got one, if you've got one left of each, there must be more. Just check message Haley and ask her where they are. Right, uh, let's get on with... Oh, uh, no. OK. And we'll carry on. We're doing some sewing. Please. Here we go. Right. Um, so we were talking about the uh, front this morning, weren't we? Yeah. Now, this is the front pattern. So I don't know if you can see, but there's your lengthen shortened line there for the um, lady that had asked. So you could lengthen it or shorten it if you feel you need to. Yeah. Obviously, it's ideal to make a toile first out of some muslin or calico or something. Yeah. Um, to get the fit nice and right. Now, this pattern has got a centre front seam. Right. Now, with some of these fabrics, that could involve some pattern matching. Mm, but most of them. Well, yeah. So, that could be a bit of a tricky bit for a beginner. An advanced beginner, yeah, maybe okay. I'm going to give you a little bit of a tip. Right. Oh. I okay. feel that that centre front seam is a design choice rather than a functional you can't choice. See it. It's not like it's a... It's no. A, they haven't made a feature of it, have they? Look, no. You wouldn't know that that had the centre front seam in it, would you? No. So I've cut it today as the pattern is to yeah. show you what you're getting. But here's a little tip from me. Um, you said the same, didn't you, John? We could just remove the seam allowance yeah. from the centre front because it's a straight line um, and cut it on the fold. Yes. So you're just removing, in this case, half an inch from the centre the front. On this. That's what yeah. the seam allowance is. Um, and then cut that on the fold. You could even just fold your pattern paper. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't cut it, just fold it. Over yeah. by half an inch yeah. on the fold, and then that removes that front seam. There is a hem facing on it, but that, ironically, is cut on the fold. Oh. So you don't even have to alter any <coughs> other pieces. Excellent. The only thing that you might have to take into account doing that, just thinking about it, is maybe the facing. Oh, the neckline. But actually, I think you'd be all right because you put your seam in and then you've got the facing. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. So that would be fine. all right. We'll be I'm overthinking fine, yeah. it. As long as there's no seam in the facing. No, there's not. No, in that case, you'd be fine. You'd be fine. fine. Yeah. You'd be fine. So there you are. There's a little tip. Lovely. Right, let's put the darts in first and foremost. These tops um, tend to have uh, the darts in to give the bush shape in. Uh -huh. Not a real big dart on this one, I have to say. It's only a little tiny one. Uh huh. Um, so... As always, I'm back tacking at the beginning. I've pinned these already, so we can get on with it. <laughs> and um, I just come off at the um, apex or the point of the dart. I lift my needle and then I'm just going to lift my foot and I'm going to tie them off. And that's just to avoid getting um, any lumps and bumps. Yeah. We don't want to back tack at that point. Well, also, I, I think that's where it's a giveaway, where it's homemade, isn't it? Yeah. Dart puckers or, or dimples. That's it. Three for good luck, and then do the same the next side. All right, I've already got these pinned in place. Jean's tuned in, said, morning. Great to tune in for Smutter Dress Making, my favourite. Yay, mine too. Although I love my quilting, you know, as a now and again thing. You started it, quilting? Yeah, well, I've already done a little bit, dabbled. Oh, and yeah. I kind of do it when I've had enough of, not had enough of dressmaking, but yeah. doing dressmaking for a job all the time. It's nice just to still do some sewing, but not worry about fit and just do something a bit different. I've been round to Adam's workroom. Yeah, you... Top of the house, in the garret of the house. Yeah, you have, not you? Nice. We had a great time. Do you know what? You do you know what? This is how posh he is, right? I'm not posh. <laughs> you know I'm not posh. And I'm going to tell you now. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm here. Um, he's got a grand piano in the kitchen. <laughs> got a grand piano, a baby grand in his kitchen. Do you yeah. know, that's my pride and joy. My granddad bought me that when I was 14. Oh. And I've still got the receipt for it. You and I still play. What, are you going to take it back? No, it's just as a little momentum. So my granddad was a, a big person on, like, you save your money, you work hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had yeah. me doing a paper round. I used to do three paper rounds as a kid. This is a fancy eye, isn't it's it? Isn't it gorgeous? We'll put the graphics in for that. I love this. Yeah. I like this one. Do you know what? It's just the right size for dressmaking. <laughs> it's perfect. It's really, really good. And I'm just going to do one other thing. 
I'm just putting it over the ham to keep get that shape for the dart for the ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. As we always do. Go on. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I'll use your one. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I didn't know where it was. Thanks. There we go. And again, the reason we tied the dart off at the end was um, the dart should fade into nothing, really. Yeah. And you can get that using the ham. Lovely. OK, so there the dart's in. Nice one. Yeah, so my piano, and I wanted one for a Christmas, but I just expected a, a keyboard. Yeah. Either. And he, uh, he knew how much I wanted it, and he, he took me down to the shop and, yeah, and bought it. But I, he knew how much I'd appreciated it because yeah. I'd saved some money towards it as well. And uh, how often do you play it? Um, not as much as I used to at, at college, but I do play it quite a bit. Yeah. Oh. And Jason doesn't mind it, actually. He's never there, that's why. <laughs> also, the house is big enough for him to go to another room and yeah. not have to listen to it. That, that's the secret. <laughs> Right, so I have got the seam down the centre front, so I'm going to obviously sew it right. at half an inch. It does flip between half an inch and a quarter of an inch. What? On the seam allowances. Why? So on the neckline, it'll, re it'll reduce to a quarter of an inch. Yep. And I suppose that's just to already reduce the bulk. So you've not got to do as much grading or whatever. So just pay attention to the pattern. Yeah. Uh, and what it's telling you. So here we go then. Half an inch all the way down here. I've pinned it as well. I'll give us a little bit of a tip how to finish this. Oh yeah, brilliant. Um, what the pattern does say is if you intend on zigzagging it or overlocking it to do that first and then do this part. Oh, okay. I'm going to do something, uh, I'm going to go off piste. Um, You're going to go off piste? Yeah, why not? I'll just put my uh, automatic back tap back on there. Yeah. Right, so then obviously just press it open. It's a straight, well, it's a straight seam, isn't it? It's a straight one? seam, yeah. 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 It's a straight seam. There we go. Just watch, obviously, fingers when you're doing this. But again, this iron's going to be perfect for this. Yeah. OK, I'm probably coming at this the wrong way because I'm not... There we go, press it open. Yep. And then all I'm going to do is press that under yeah. and top stitch it. You knew what I was going to yeah. do, didn't you? Well, no, no, but not everyone at home does. So we've got the half inch seam allowance there and then all I'm going to do and you can do this for the back as well. I just think it gives a more attractive <coughs> finish on the inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, than just an overlocked edge, but nothing wrong with just overlocking it. Um, I'm just going So you're just turning the edge under? Yeah, so then it's actually a quarter of an inch. Yeah, and then you're going to top stitch it down? Yeah, but I'll do it from the reverse yeah, to yeah. be more accurate. You could always do a, uh, you could I'll also do, a, hang on a bit. you could also do a French seam, couldn't you? Yeah, you could, yeah. Right, you could what do you say, mate? That. There we go. Um, Helen's asked, what machine are you using, Adam? I'm using the Juki UX8. And have we got the Juki UX8 in stock, Rach? Is it in stock? Yeah, we're just checking now. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have got a couple. We've got a couple oh. in stock. There it is. Why did you choose to buy this machine? And I did choose to buy it, although I am um, an ambassador for duty. Yeah, yeah, now. yeah, but you bought it. I bought it. Um, <laughs> George <laughs> Franklin, uh, who was on the other day, I was chatting yesterday. with him. Yeah, it was yesterday, wasn't yeah. it? Um, I was interested in getting an industrial machine at first. Right. Um, but the fact that this machine borrows some of the industrial technology. Yeah. Um, and the fact that Franklin's are always trying to come up with new things that are borrowed from industry to yeah, give yeah, a more we had professional a wayliner thing. yesterday. Yeah, I was really intrigued by that. I'm hopefully going to see it at the weekend. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with the feed system, the buttonholes, I was really impressed with. Um, 
I, I never have a fear with buttonholes and doing them with this machine. And it, it just, it honestly feels like magic. You just put the fabric underneath it and I trust it that much that yeah. I just watch it and have a cup of tea. Oh. Um, I mean, obviously it's a continued purchase. It's, You've been yeah. thinking about it. Uh, Adam uses it every single day, don't you? Yeah, I do. Um, the fact, I mean, other machines do this, but you've got the straight stitch plate, which I've got on now, which yeah. is perfect for dressmaking and piecing. Um, but you can switch it out for the zigzag plate. The automatic um, built-in walking foot was another feature. Oh, yeah, yeah. That I loved on it. Right, because it's a top stitch, I'm just going to um, put my stitch up to about a three millimeter stitch and then where i've just pressed although i'm doing this very quickly because i'd like to get onto the sleeve yeah to show you that and get it all constructed back stitch at the top and then it's a lot easier to get it right on the edge in a nice neat line if you're doing it this side i know sometimes a bobbin thread isn't doesn't look the most attractive yeah um but actually on this machine it's pretty good yeah, you always say, don't you, if you top stitch, you top stitch from the other side. Yeah. Um, Jenny, you always press your seams open. On just making, always press your seams open. Yeah, and press as you go. <coughs> yeah, exactly. Although, on the um, shoulder seams, on this, yeah. it says to um, sew them together, then finish them off together. Oh. And then press them towards the back. Okay. Um, that's the instruction. However, there's nothing to stop you no. overlocking it first, sewing it together, then pressing, pressing it open. open yeah. um, put my automatic snips. Question on. from Ruth. Hello, both. If you want to do an unplanned French seam, do you need to add extra seam allowance when cutting it out? No, Ruth, no. you don't. You've just got to answer that, or should I answer it? You can answer it. Okay. Yeah. So what you do is when you, because with a with a French on normal seam, you put right sides together and just sew down. On a French seam, you put wrong sides together. But then instead of doing your half inch, you do a quarter of an inch seam. Yeah. Then you fold it back round, press that seam, and then you do your other seam at quarter of an inch. Then so you've only actually used half an inch seam allowance, um, but you've just done them as two quarter inch ones. Yeah, you'd be fine on this pattern. You might struggle if you're using a pattern that's only three eighths. Of oh the yeah, no, no. Yeah, if it's, uh, I've, do, do but, patterns only have three eighths seam allowance. The what? The patterns only have three eighths seam allowance. Some I have used. Oh wow. Some and some, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, if it's that small, then but definitely you, I'll add some more. Yeah. But you'd be fine with this. Yeah. One. A message from Sheila. Hi, John and Adam. I really enjoy Adam's demonstrations because he explains everything so well without sounding like a know-it-all. Oh, she's <laughs> a right old know-it-all. I'm not a know-it-all. Do you know what? It, genuinely, the thing I love about sewing is that you're always learning something new. Yeah. There's, you can never stop learning. Right, so you do the same with the back. Right. Um, but is there an opening at the there back? There is an opening at okay, the back. Perfect. So there's a notch on the back piece. Um, where you um, stop, or, or sorry, where you start at. So I've been a good boy and put my notches in. Okay. Uh, hi, John London. When I make adjustments on a toile, how do I then transfer it back onto the pattern pieces, please? Right, Leanne, what you do is you get, you get your toile and you mark the lines where your pins are where, or where you've altered it. And then you unpick it all, so you then have your pattern pieces again. You then redraw in on your toile the new... So what you might need to do is if you've taken some in... Or say you've taken something in on the side seam. When you've pinned it, you measure how much it is in total. And then with your, with your pattern pieces, uh, with your toile pieces flat, you then think, well, that needs to come in an inch. So you make it half an inch on both sides. You even it out. Um, and then what you do is you put your toile... On top of your paper pattern, you get a tracing reel and you run through your new lines and then you mark those new lines onto your original pattern. And that then becomes your pattern piece. It's not complicated at all. It's not complicated at all. What's the dressmaking pattern we're using? Go oh, Jean, it's this. Jean, it's this pattern here. Just show the pattern, please. 1999, 1999, Hadley Top Pattern by Grainline Studios. Those sizes are American sizes, 0 to 18. Uh, 
1999. So that's a UK 4 to 22. Brilliant, thank you. Uh, another question. Uh, good morning, Jenny Jackson says. Morning, oh, here comes trouble. Yeah, loving the demo, pattern and fabrics. I've got Paulie Dillon at home today. Oh, Aww. Jenny Jackson. Bless. I hope he gets better soon, Jenny. I'm going to miss her at fest um, not Festival of Quilts. No, you're not going to Festival of Quilts. Yeah. It's um, Same for pleasure. pleasure, isn't it? It's that one, yeah. Yeah, she can't make it. Too busy, that's why. Yeah. So I'm just sewing the shoulder seams now. OK. Um, I remember now, um, as oh, I was sewing oh. the back seam. Yeah. The reason I didn't go for a French... I, I could have gone for a French seam along the front. Yeah. But the back, and doing it that way, I've just showed you, if you repeat that for the back, you get a nicer finish as well yeah. on that opening bit at the back. I mean, again, you can just overlock it and turn it over, no problem. Yeah. So again, half an inch seam allowance at the shoulder seams. And then I'm going to sew the side seams as well. Uh huh. See how this comes together quite quickly. Yeah. I know I'm ploughing through it. Yeah. Um, if you've got the option, yeah, you can have it sleeveless as well, can't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, well, the thing is, they've got it um, sleeveless with, with sleeves. They've got it... Um, oh, hang on. Can you switch the microphone off in there, please? Thank you. Uh, you can have it with, with sleeves or without sleeves. You can have it with a round neck or you can have it with a V-neck. So there's a few different wait for the options. To come around. There you go. Round neck, V neck, with or without sleeves, and then the back as well has got a different. You've got a different back in there as well. You've got a pleated back, and you've got the straight black back. So you've got all those different choices that you can use. Brilliant. Thank you. I'd say that's a bit of a theme with their patterns because the top we've got coming up later. Yeah. Um, is similar. There's options in that as well that. So they are giving you quite a few options with the pattern. Yeah. Now, Julie Vaughan says a lot of patterns these days say overlock the seams together and press the back. I've yeah. n I would never do that. Never, no. ever do that. The only time I tend to overlock together is if I'm sewing jersey. Yeah. That's, no, that's the, the only time. Jersey yeah. or dance costumes or something like yeah. that. Yeah. But, no, I'm, I'm, it's ingrained in me, really, to press open. Maybe that's a, like a factory technique, a modern-day factory technique, maybe. Probably is. I mean, I suppose if you're going for speed and, you know, want to mm. do it quickly, then great, but... I'd finish them off first. Same with your side seams. Now, uh, when we press the darts, we press them down over the ham. Yeah. So just make sure when you're sewing these side seams that that um, dart still stays down. Um, a little tip I tend to do is just stick a pin in it yeah. in the dart part. There's actually <coughs> notches on it as well that match up to that dart, which is quite nice. Good. Oh, did, oh OK. Yeah, there's a notch where the dart is. Mm. So if that's not matching up, then something's gone wrong. Luckily, mine's matching up, so we're all right. OK. Using um, pins. This fabric's really lovely to sew. Um, as I say, I've got my straight stitch plate on, the G. Yeah. Now, the pins that have come in aren't the pins that Adam's using. No. The pins that we've, we've got today are the plain pins with no tops on them. I'll just show you them. Well, you see that Adam's got glass-headed pins and we've just got the straightforward pins there. Uh, the the um, glass-headed pins, you can iron over them. It's not, it don't ever iron over plastic-headed pins. No. Okay, as always, taking your pins out as you go, don't mm -hmm. leave them in. Yeah, I just um, made sure I got a nice sharp new needle in my machine sewing this and the straight stitch plate yeah. um, helps in terms of the fabric not getting sucked and caught into the feed dogs. Uh, Julie wants to know how you mark your darts, Adam. Um, I've marked mine, um, usually I'll put a basting stitch at the apex, the point, so I've got that, and then I usually just make a little mark on the pattern. I use a tracing reel sometimes. Yeah. Um, that really helps. And then I do um, tend to use a bit of chalk or a, um, what, a friction pen. Yeah. But with friction pens, just always make sure that that mark's not going to come back. Do a test first. 
Okay. I'll just um, finish that bit off there. And then again, as I say, the pattern says to overlock those together and then press them towards right, the okay. back. Um, but you could overlock them prior and then press, press them, them open, open yeah. which would be nice or nicer. All right, so you've got your bodice there already. Perfect. I've tried to match that panel. It's gone off. A, it's gone a bit skew with because I'm rushing it for telly. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. But it's there. It's just shadowed itself. Do you know what? You wouldn't know unless you were you wouldn't really know. closely. You wouldn't know, no. I'm just going to put that then to one side. If I was at home, I'd be putting it on the mannequin because it would all be nice and pressed. Yeah. Um, right, here we go then. So the sleeves, really important to mark your notches on the sleeves because they're going to tell you what the front and the back is. Yeah. Um, that's just having said that, make sure. Yeah, so that's my front. I've snipped in uh, and I do for telly because it's more permanent. Right. I know that the chalk of the real life. Um, no, I do tend <coughs> to chalk them on usually. Mm -hmm. I know that the old, the um, more traditional way is to snip them out. I know that's, and again, that's probably a good thing. Mm -hmm. Right, so. Old uh, fashioned ways, when I first started, we used to tailor tack them in. Really, they yeah. They look like your two notches and your one notch on the front. Yeah. Sometimes I think, you know, it's better to go the old-fashioned traditional route. The thing is, it's, it's all about speed, isn't it? It is now. You know, people because... want to churn out a top quickly for when they're going out that night or whatever. I know, but I, I take real pleasure if I'm making something. I enjoy the process. When I first started, you were excited to see the results, so you mm. rush everything. Well, it's when I, um, um, uh, Amanda Wyatt used to have a shop in Tamworth, and I went to her open, I opened her uh, extension when she it. And there was one lady came in, and uh, she was, it was four o'clock on a Saturday afternoon, and she bought this really lovely red linen. And I said, What are you going to make with it? And she showed me the pattern, she's going to make these trousers. And so we got a special occasion, she went, Yeah, I've got a date tonight. And so she was making yeah. ready for that. And then I, at college, <clears throat> uh, there was a girl called Lynn who every Friday afternoon we'd finish our lessons on a Friday afternoon and then she'd run up a dress to then go out on a date with her boyfriend John later on that night. Do you know what? There's something really romantic about that. And I love that. You know, now we just go, oh yeah, I'll go and pick something up quickly. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't really like fast fashion. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah. Having said that, like, I do tend to produce my best work under pressure. Oh, yeah, no, no, totally, totally. But, you know, um, it's, the thing is we do it to, uh, to enjoy it. We're yeah. not in a factory. We're not no. being paid by piecemeal or whatever it's called. Do you know what I mean? And it's learning that new skill, isn't it? Yeah. If you were to buy this pattern today and you've never done a French seam before, but give it a go, have mm -hmm. a practice first off, and you accomplish a French seam down that centre front, great. That's another skill another feather in your cap isn't it uh you'd be able to make this top someone just asked how long it would take to make this top i think you go to do this in a, in a definitely in a day yeah definitely in an afternoon yeah for sure i think yeah. you know whizzing through it it'd probably take me a couple of hours yeah but it's a very simple you top it's very yeah to top this yeah so i've done one sleeve and again it says to overlock that and press it towards what the back of the sleeve will be again you can overlock it prior yeah. and press it open now, there's a little tip in the book. I never tend to do it. Um, oh. I don't know why. I think I don't really struggle with setting in sleeves all that much. Although, having said that, <coughs> now you watch me fall disastrously. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can put some um, gathering threads. Do we need it with this, though? How much ease is there on There it? is some ease in there. Okay. Not a huge, huge amount. You tend to expect more ease in a suit jacket. Yeah. Or, you know, where the sleeve head is really high cut or an overcoat or yeah. something like that. So there's not a huge amount. I don't think you need it. And what I think it sometimes do is, does is it confuses people to think that it's supposed to then be gathered. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's And not... then if you've got lots of fab... It depends how much, like you say, it depends yeah. how much ease you've got, doesn't it? Exactly. Uh, Jean says she loves doing the tacking best because she likes all the preparation bits beforehand before putting the garment together. Yeah, and I can see that, to be honest. There's something quite um, meditative about, mm -hmm. you know, getting all the prep. And do you know what I love doing, actually, when I'm not sewing for work, is to do a bit at a time. Get your pattern cut out, have a cup of tea, and yeah. then cut your fabric. And do you know what? Once you've cut your fabric, leave it. Sew it and the next yeah. day. 
because then you're coming in with a fresh mind. And I'm thinking this, I've been in, you know, times where I've like started to get a bit agitated and I'm trying to go, oh, it's not going right. And, and that's the time you should just leave. Yeah, when I was in theatre, if I was making like, if I was doing like Seven Brides, Seven Brothers or Oklahoma, I'd cut, yeah. I'd do all my pattern drafting first for yes. all the different actresses. <coughs> then I'd cut them all out. Yeah. Then I'd sew them all together. Then I'd do the first fitting. And that, that would always work like that. And then, of course, yeah. you then got to do it individually then. Yeah. Oh, I bet that was Fab doing all that. Um, uh, Wendy says, I love to see Adam always has his tape measure with him. So professional. <laughs> it's all an illusion. <laughs> I've not done anything with it yet, but yeah. No, exactly. And do you know what? I can never find a tape measure. Even when it's round my neck. <laughs> you know, at work, I'll be like, where are all the tape measures gone? We had loads. And then nine out of ten ones around my neck. But yeah, they just go missing. I have loads of tape measures in my studio at home. Because you just want to pick it up and go, don't you? Yeah. Now, I think something's gone wrong with my um, talk back because I can hear them miles away. Oh, no. I'm just matching these notches. Yeah. Your double ones for the back. And then your single one for the front. Uh, good morning, John and Adam. Off to work due to oh, off work due to conjunctivitis. Oh Doesn't no! Stop me watching. Loving the demo. Oh bless. I hope you get well, better soon. On it. It's my earpiece. You haven't got any psh, psh, air, have you, please? No. Uh, Sandra says, "Hi, John and Adam. Quick question. Reference darts. We're making a quilted jacket. Make the dart before or after quilting the pieces. Ooh." Um, After. Yeah, because you need to quilt your pieces first and then you treat it as fabric. Yeah, and then you cut, you slip, slip, slip the dart. Yeah. Uh, Jackie's loving the demo, just added the pattern to her basket. Fab. Uh, 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 I've got another question, have we? Patricia, good morning, John and Adam. Love to see you both. Adam, could you please show how to put the sleeves in? He's doing that now. He's doing it now. Doing that now. So you could have put your gathering stitches in, which is basically two lines on about a five millimetre stitch, no back tack, you just pull them up, not to gather, gather it, but just to help ease it in. So, and it, it does show you how to do that in the instructions, actually. Yeah. What you've got to remember is you've got, let me get this right, a, a concave going into a convex. Is that right? Yeah. So you've got that shape going into that shape. So you've got to have that shape in mind I, I try and do that whilst I'm pinning it. Yeah. So I've got the shape of the arm there. Can you see? I'm curving it as I'm pinning it. I find that really helps. Um, again, everybody's different. Now you. I also would pin over my hand like this, so that you've got the curve going round. So yeah. The smaller curves on the bottom and the bigger curves on the top. Exactly that. Well, that's kind of what I'm doing there. But yeah, over your yeah. hand would yeah. be a good tip. Now, you will get what we've called ease. I don't know whether the camera will pick that up, but yeah, you yeah. see it's, it's um, flaring a little bit there. It looks like it doesn't fit. But you've got to remember that you're sewing at half an inch in as well. So as long as you're getting it eased in there and it's flat there under the machine and you're not getting any puckers, then you're all good. You, that's the intention. It won't fit exactly. And when people put a sleeve in first off, they go, well, this pattern piece is wrong. It doesn't fit. It's right. It's just got ease in it. And you tend to find, now let me get this right, there's a bit more ease along the back yes, than the front. There is, yeah. And that's why the notch at the shoulder point is really important. Now, if you forget to put the notch on and go, oh, you know, it's probably halfway in the shoulder head. No, it's not. It's really important to make sure you mark that shoulder point, which matches up with your shoulder seam. Yeah. Yeah. And as you can see here, I'm using, you know, quite a few pins for this. And this is probably an occasion where I, at certain points, I might keep the pins in, but I'm going to go slow. We, now, we were trained to always leave the pins in. It was really weird. Or oh, you had to are. tack it all in. Yeah, well, so I was just about to go on to and say, tack it, pin tack so. Yeah. Uh, Gillian says, morning, John and Adam. Watch from my bed. I've got a fever. Ooh, oh, no, dear. everybody's poorly. What's going on? It's the tree pollen. It is. No, you really suffer badly with that, John, don't you? Only last 
for a couple of weeks and be gone, but it's just annoying. Um, I start at the underarm mm -hmm. and I'd put a pin on that seam, I'd match that together. And then what I do is I just get it under my machine, put the needle down and then remove that first pin. But because the needle's down, it's anchoring it to the machine. So it's not going to go anywhere. It's in exactly the right place. Yeah. Right, OK. And then the, t the trick with this really is to go slowly. And keep moving it round, and I'm sewing inside the circle. Yeah. That's another important thing. It's one of those things, if people have, had have asked me, you know, give your best tips on doing it, and I wasn't actually doing it, I'd be like, oh, you just sew it in. But yeah, as yeah, you're yeah, doing yeah. it, you then think, this is something I do naturally, but it's actually something that maybe not everybody would think to do, no. especially if you're a bit <coughs> So, yeah, sewing inside <coughs> the circle. Because some people might be tempted to use the free arm, and honestly, it's, that's not the best way. Sewing inside the circle. And then I can see where that ease is, so I'm just using my fingers as pins as well. And because I've pinned it at quite regular intervals, I'm just going slowly, and then as I'm getting to the pin, Taking out. If you get a, a um, pucker that you think starting to form, just lift your foot and then replace it again. Uh -huh. There we go, and around we go. Because you're having to do a few things at this point. You're having to obviously watch that ease, watch the pins, um, and you're also having to pay attention to your seam allowance. Uh huh. Well. Uh, now Sarah's just tuned in. Sarah, we had your fabric on at eight o'clock and it sold out. Completely sold out. That was Sarah who did the bottle, you know, the wine bottle fabric. She just started watching. Oh, yeah. I saw that. It was lovely, that. Lovely, isn't it, yeah? She's it's, local, it's... she's local. Is was, she? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you had the apron. I oh. was wearing the apron. Yeah. yeah. I saw you pop out of it. I thought, what's he doing? Yeah. <laughs> OK, lovely. Yeah, we had all those issues, and yet that sold out, and the pins sold out and everything this morning. Fab. Question from Jennifer. Uh, you two can tell me, talking of sleeves, in a men's suit jacket, should there be gathers in the sleeve head? I often oh, see it. No. It looks wrong to me. No. Uh, what do you say? No. No, there, sh there should be visible gathers. No. So what you do is you do have to gather it up on a men's jacket and then you steam it so that yep. the wool, if you make it out of wool, cinches back. So you shouldn't see gathers but it, the, you steam it so that the wool then cinches back into shape. But you definitely always put a run of gathering stitches in the sleeve head of a men's coat, a men's jacket. And you'll notice as well, I don't know if you can see on this one, but it, yeah, it sits higher, it sits yeah. a bit proud. Well, when you, when you do proper tailoring, you actually put a little roll of something in the sleeve head so that that stays sitting proud as well. OK, I'm just coming now. Say this again. Here it is. You mean the, 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 the pattern? Oh, yeah, OK. There it is. There's the top, Susan. Oh, there you go. Please, can you give the mannequin a twirl? Oh, twirl! OK. <laughs> give the mannequin a twirl so you can see what you're making. That's right. Here you go. You ready? There's the front. There's the back with the pleat detail and the opening there. And the back slightly longer. But in, on the pattern, there's also, you can do the back without the pleat and you can do a V-neck or a round neck. OK. So that sleeve is, is in there now. Um, and as I say, you can, I've taken quite a bit of time on that, even, yeah. you know, tele sewing. But it's important that you do take your time. Have a go, get some calico, get a pattern, and even if you just mock up, you know, half a bodice. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and get the sleeve. You don't have to cut the whole sleeve, just the, do it as if it was short sleeve yeah, and just yeah. have a practice at putting them in. Try the gathering stitches if that works for you, but remember, it's not supposed to be gathered. The gathering stitches are just to help you ease, ease it, it in. in. yeah. There you go. Right, um, this pattern has quite a few facings. So there's the neck facing. Uh-huh. Um, obviously, it's open at the back. 
and then there's the sleeve facing and the hem facing. Oh, so it's all hemmed using facings then? Yes. Hemmed hem. Yeah, exactly. Exactly that. Um, I mean, I suppose if you were an absolute beginner and you don't want to tackle facings, then you could just, I suppose, there's our finch at the bottom here, you could just turn it up a quarter inch and quarter inch again. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and not bother with the facing. But they've obviously done it for a reason, haven't they? Yeah. Um, oh, I think they've done it as a feature, because did you top stitch it? It's been top stitched. Yeah, I yeah. think they've done it as a feature, haven't they? Yeah, I think so. Um, so you've got them here, that's it, pattern num piece number 10. Now, I'm just going to double check myself that it is half an inch seam allowance on this facing. I'm pretty sure it is, but it does, as I say, bounce between half inch and a quarter inch. Yeah. To assemble the sleeve facing, stitch the edges of each facing together to make two circular sleeve facings. Press the seam allowance to open and grade to a quarter inch. So it is half an inch seam allowance. Right. And then you grade it to a quarter. So this is nice and simple then. So you've got two pieces that are long. We're going to take those together, slightly angled, you'll be able to see it. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to sew them at a half Just bob inch. your head back so we can just see that. Yeah. That's it. Half Could inch. You, I think brilliant, yeah, lovely. So down the short side there. Now, um, in dressmaking, Unless we're sewing an American pattern, we're used to a centimetre or a centimetre and a half. And on my machine, I've got five apes marked out, which is like you were saying, I was common in dressmaking. Yeah. Um, half an inch is a bit of a funny one, really, yeah. I suppose, for dressmaking. So it might, I know exactly where it is on my machine, because obviously I've been making this, but just find on your stitch plate where half inch and a quarter inch is. And then if you need to mark it in some way or... You, just get, you, you can get your low-tack tape and just yeah. mark it down on your machine there. I'll do the same with the other one here. Uh, Julie Vaughan's just finished the Florence dress by Jules as a lovely darted sleeve with a facing. Never done Ooh. sleeve facing before. A darted sleeve? Yeah, here oh. there's darts in the... Um, oh, the nice. Puff, yeah. Is that one of Jules's? Yeah. Nice. I've not seen that one. Is it a new one? I don't think so. I have to have a look at that. CL does one like it as well. There we go. And then what we're going to do is obviously press open using your nice new Aliso iron. <laughs> <laughs> I want one of these. Do you know what? Uh, that fascinated me. You, so you, can you change where Yeah, that yeah, is? yeah. So what you do is you take the two grommets at the bottom, you unscrew it and take the whole unit and swap it round. So you can make it left-handed or right-handed, the iron is what I did. Look at its little light. It's like got little headlights. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. You might be one of those down <laughs> at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Although, is that one yours, though? One of them's yours? No, I, they gave me one, but they've made it maybe bring it back. Oh, that's mean. No. It's fine. I'm used to it now. Yeah. They gave it to me, and then they, and Paul went. It, he went like this. It's on loan, John. He went like this, Adam. So loan. I thought that means it's mine. And then Hayley oh, yeah. messaged the next day, going, "Make sure you bring the iron back in." <laughs> you should have said, "Oh, I will," but I'm still loaning it. <laughs> yeah, that's why we've got two samples in the studio. <laughs> two. So again, now this fits exactly. There's no ease here, like with the sleeve or anything. Oh, it's nice, Mr. Marie. Thank you. I've never had. I've never. Thank you. I've never had how to sew a sleeve in explained so clearly. Oh, I always had sure. problems with sleeves. Yeah, and I'm not going to lie to you. The first couple of times you ever do it, it won't go smooth, if I'm being honest, because yeah. the first couple of times I did it, I was like, I didn't understand these when I was sewing it at that point. I went straight into a men's jacket. Well, you were busy, you know, dancing on a cruise line. <laughs> yeah. But the more you do it, the better it gets. And <coughs> it's just yeah. like anything. You've got to persevere. Right, so again, like the sleeve, sewing inside the circle, always yep. easier. Um, half an inch again, back tack at the So beginning. you're sewing now, you haven't taken your gubbins box off to put the sleeve in. You're sewing as though it's a flat bed and you've got the, you're yeah. sewing the inside of the circle. Yes, I tend to always do that. I suppose you Oh, do you? you? Yeah, I suppose you could use the free arm. I don't know if- I don't know if it would fit, would it? No. Um, so round we go, half an inch, half an inch. 
Again, just making sure all your seam allowances are lying flat or pressed to one side if you've overlocked it and then done that as the instructions yeah. say. And then we are going to understitch it. So this, oh, okay. is a, this is a technique that's used on lots of um, neck facings. So it's understitched as well as top stitched. Yes. It's unusual. Yeah. And again, to do that, I want to sew inside the circle. So I'm going to... You could just press it up, to be honest. Yeah. Because then it's going to be top stitched. Yeah, it's exactly. not going to move anywhere, is it? But again, I'm doing what the instructions say. OK, the so what's under stitching then? So under stitching is to keep the seam allowance to one side. So you're going to then want to press that um, towards the facing part rather than the sleeve. All right. So I want the seam allowance towards that facing bit. Uh -huh. You'll press it all the way around. I've just done a little bit to give you the idea. And then I'm going to start from where the seam is, where we joined that loop. Pop my foot down. I'm going to increase my stitch a little bit again because I treat it a bit like a top stitch. Uh -huh. um, and then just make sure it's lying nice and flat and you're just going to sew about an eighth of an inch from the seam all the way through the sleeve facing and <coughs> the seam allowance. Another thing I like, I like an industrial foot. It helps, I like it to line things up. Right? Yeah. It's just one, and with the straight stitch plate on, and this machine, it comes with a straight stitch foot, which is, you know, more like an industrial foot. Okay, so I'm just under stitching that. Just always making sure that the seam allowance is towards the facing part. Now, there's nothing to stop you going out of order a little bit. And sometimes I'll do this for ease. Um, it's not too bad with this, but you could construct the sleeve, then put the facing on and then insert the sleeve. Yeah. If you want oh, yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. To not have the whole garment just hanging there. Yeah. There's something I like doing actually recently, which is to... It, as soon as I get the hem done, at any point, I'll get the hem done because it's always the last thing that you usually do on a project. Yeah, project. I suppose in my business, the hem's the last thing you do because you have your final fitting and then you yes. mark your hem at the final fitting. Yes. It's not like Because we've drawn the patterns up for the actress. So it's not like you know what length it's going to be True. until you finish the whole thing. True. Um, but if you know the finished length and you can get it done and out of the way, yeah. suddenly then, if you go in for speed and quickness, you kind of have a surprise then, oh, it's done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. But then if you're using a, a, a fabric that needs um, hanging overnight, yeah, then you can't, can't. until the end, can you? Right, I'm just pressing that up now half yeah. an inch. And then again, turning that inside out. Uh, inside out. Yeah. Up. Turning it up. Now I've pressed it over half an inch. And then you have this really ne neat little facing for yeah. the... And because it's understitched as well, it's just, I suppose, a nice little added extra into it. Yeah, exactly. Nice While you're doing that, I'll just recap. So the Grain Line Studio Hadley Top. Um, I don't think we've had this before. I don't recognise this one. I think it's new to us today. Nineteen ninety nine. Goes from a size 0 to 18, US sizes, <coughs> advanced beginner. Now, it says on the front here that it's subtly geometric as they have a centre seam in front and back. So it's a design feature. Right. I don't really get the geometry. No, I don't, because you hide it, don't you? Yeah, anyway, it's nice. 19.99, that's the pattern. Fabrics-wise, the one Adam's using is this one. This is your cotton lawn, $26.99. This is a bundle of two and a half metres. The one he made the sample out of is this one. I was going to say it was limited earlier. There's only one of those left. One left of those, that'll go. Nice. That'll go. Where would you like to go next? So the linen, yep. So this is linen fabric, slightly heavier. Linen cotton mix. It will give a completely different look because it won't float like the cotton lawn. Won't drape like the cotton lawn. Twenty-eight ninety-nine. Beautiful fabric, though. Then we have the blue one. 
Beautiful blue vines, that one. Look at that. That's fresh, isn't it? Gorgeous. Then we had the pastel. It's a linen, it's got a definite linen feel to it. $28.99. Cream floral, which will be that one. Beautiful, two and a half meters. $21.99, that one. Then we've got the, uh, the other floral, red floral, I think this one's called. Yeah, we haven't used them then. Beautiful. $21.99. Then I've got the rose. With the berries. $21.99. So it doesn't it show how dressmaking and choosing of fabrics, right? Because Ollie loves this one. Rachel, not too keen. Because oh. Rachel's old and doddery now. <laughs> right, okay. Adam, you're back in an hour, aren't you? I am indeed, yeah. And we're making, oh, we can't see it over there, but we're making the other top. Yeah. Uh, which has got four different versions. Four different versions. The uniform top, there it is. Four different versions you can do of that. Um, so uh, we'll see Adam in an hour. You'll see me in four minutes when I'm back with Becky doing more Crafters Companion. <laughs> Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Sewing Street is now available on Virgin Media, channel number 754. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm, and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? 
Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we finish broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one p and with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Becky's back. I'm back. Uh, what are we doing this? Uh, oh, are we selling a, a laptop? Excuse me, I'll just get rid of that. <laughs> And it's, it's all about builder blocks, this it, one. We've got loads of builder block deals, haven't we? Got lots of what? Builder blocks. Builder blocks. Should we do those first, then? Builder block, builder block, builder block, builder block. Now, you need your Gemini machine to be able to use all of these. Uh, now, I've, this top one, I've got this one, the alphabet one. Really useful, that one, isn't it? I've got a sample of that one here because you can see all the different sizes of the uh, letters that you can make. Yep out of that so See, when I first got this one I thought the dies were the actual letters I didn't realize they were made of squares and half square triangles and things like that really clever and it, you can also there's other shapes in there as well but the great thing about this is if you've got some um, graph paper and you want to do some Greek lettering or something yeah. like that you can easily you would say Greek there. letters don't I do you? Well, is it because you're going on holiday to Greece or no, something I'm in, I don't know but I mean I, I think if I th think of um, Chinese lettering, that's a little bit harder because you've got changes of both yeah, cross strokes. Yeah. But, you know, Greek lettering or Arabic letters, you probably do. Just so you know, just so you know, you're Chinese, aren't I'm you? I'm Chinese. She's actually Chinese. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not many people know that, but you're actually, your My grandfather's Chinese. Is Chinese. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I don't look Chinese at all. Well, no. No, no, but when you, no, because when I first saw you, I said, don't believe it. But then now, I, the more I know you, I can see kind of lovely Chinese kind of uh, traditions. Do you there, reckon? Yeah, do you yeah, reckon? I, yeah. Think you'd die. Yeah. I don't think I look Chinese at all. No, well, it's because you dye your hair. That's well, why I know. You, you I had know. your black hair. I've had my dark hair, yeah, yeah, rather than my grey hair, which is now blonde. But, yes. Um, yes, it's a nice length at the moment as well. Thank you very much. Anyway, 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 sorry. So, yeah, if you've got graph paper, you can make your own letters as well. Uh, but look, you've also got in here uh, punctuations like question marks, exclamation marks, hashtags, inverted commas, and then there's also blocks in there as well. Uh, it should be 69.99. Rach? She's so easily distracted, isn't she? Oh! Forty-one ninety-nine. It's not what we said in prep. Uh, Forty-one ninety-nine. That's good. Beautiful. So you get all the letters. You get the hearts and the numbers as uh, well. Beautiful. Oh, uh, okay. Right. Okay. Let me show you because I love the way they're all designed. 
is you get them in a block like this, so they all stack up. You get your little map on the top of all your dies in there. And... Because... There you go. Oh. Oh. Step. There you go. So all your dies are in there. It's not spelt like dyeing fabric. It's dies, D-I-E-S. Yeah. Anyway, so everything's in there. And then this booklet with everything in it, of all how to, all the letters look. Hang on, let's do the English version. And really easy for you to work your way through, because basically all you do is you work in a strip and you stitch all your yeah. strips together um, to create it. And then we were talking about the grain yeah. line earlier on, weren't we, about how you um, put your pieces of fabric. So you get letters and numbers and a hashtag. And yeah, she's not been listening, has she? So there you go, that's how you make all the different letters. Brilliant. So that's that one. Right, let's move on then to... What's your demo one on this one? Um, the last one. On okay, good, the last one then. So here we've got bay leaf. Now I've got bay leaf. I've got this one. I've got bay leaf. I don't think I've got the other two. But anyway, so here we go. So, so bay leaf. So what's this so one? So again, then? you've got all these at the back. You can see the different types of designs you can be making. But you're only making them with two different shapes. You've just got that sort of big petal shape at the top here. And then you've got that little corner. Um, but you can see by doing <coughs> using different sizes, different <coughs> ways, you get different patterns like this. So it works in exactly the same way. And they really come into their own, these builder blocks, when you have curves. Because curves are so very difficult to cut that being able to cut those beautiful curves and get this kind of design is this which, this one well actually this is the so this is from our needle tone to plique oh yeah, yeah, yeah effectively yeah. the same design yeah, yeah. um but e easy to do and you can be able to cut your multiple layers of fabric because you're going to be using those um dies you'll cut six to eight layers of fabric in one go so it makes it really quick and easy for yeah. you to be able to make a quilt and this is oh crashing and this is the one that becky was talking about earlier when it will tell you that you need to cut this, that bit needs to be on straight grain, that bit needs to be on straight grain, but that needs to be on the bias. Oh, sorry, can you see that there? That bit there needs to be on the bias. £35.99. £35.99, that one. But if you're not just making one pattern, you can make all these yeah. different patterns using those dies. Gorgeous. Then we've got... This one here, which is Drunkard's Path. Drunkard's Path, which and is a really difficult one to do normally. And I think anything with a curve is really yep. hard, isn't it? Again, it's using those um, couple of different shapes that you've got in there, but you're creating all these different kinds of... Designs. Oh, and more. You and can more. do way yeah. more than that. I yeah. mean, something like that would look... You know, you'd think, I'd never be able to cut all no. those pieces to make it work. But you absolutely can do that with this. And you'll be able to go into different sizes as well. So you can do a 6-inch, 8-inch, 9-inch, and a 12-inch block mm -hmm. um, just the, when this one box and they like you say they look great on your, your desk oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. one part of a series um, you will if you're going to be doing one of those things when you do a block of a day for a, a year something yeah. like that yeah, it would be a big quilt could, well it would be a massive quilt wouldn't it or even <coughs> one, one a week or yeah. something like that you'd be able to easily be able to do something like that using this um, builder block system brilliant 35.99 and then last but not least we've got the uh, winding ways yeah, so this is a drunkard's path, or we call it, um, it looks a bit like the Star Trek yeah. symbol, doesn't it? But you can see here again, lots and lots of different patterns you could be making just by using the dies in a different way, different colour ways, um, using different sizes as well. Um, and again, all of the instructions to make all of those different designs are in the little booklet, and you'll be able to cut multiple layers of fabric with total accuracy every single time. And again, 6, 8, 9 and 12 inch blocks you can make with that one, 35.99. Right, let's go through all the things we've got for sale yep. before we do a demo. So, uh, where would you like to go next, Rach? What accessories have we got? What's that? Which one's that? What's in the, what's in the bundle? Is that it? The magnetic storage stand and the swirl and the twirly thing. Oh, that's back in stock. Oh, my God. I've, I was desperate for this. I've not had one of these. This is an absolute game changer, this magnetic storage Whoever got it last was very excited about opening the box, I think. <laughs> it, might have even been, it might have even been me. Um, it is so useful because what you're going to be able to do, you pop it up um, like so, um, and then you can... Um, 
okay, like that. And then you're going to be popping your dies on here. So if you're going to be using some small dies, like, you know, when we did those animal applique things, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dies, they get lost. I mean, I have to say I lost, I lost some of the dies that I was using earlier on this week. They all stick here. And so you don't have to worry about them. They're not going to disappear. I'm just going to find you a couple of dies. Um, is it going to make it nice and clear for you when you're working? Um, you've just got these. She says try to throw them out there. Uh -uh. There you go. Just sit here. So when you're working, you can see exactly what you've got. You're not going to lose them. They're not going to fall into the bin. Um, they're not going to get attached to the dog. Um, it makes it really, really easy, and they are absolutely a game changer for me. Hang on, this is a bundle of this and this. So you get this, which we know is about eight pounds, isn't it? The thing to, to put on the bottom of your of your Gemini two, plus the, the magnetic stand. Wow. That's that really a, good. That's a really, that really, really good, good price. <laughs> um, I don't think that can be right. Well, no, no, because this isn't this eight eight or eight ninety nine or something like that on its own. So it means you get this magnetic thing for a couple of packs, and that can't be right. Anyway, we'll keep quiet about it. Yeah, we'll keep quiet about it. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, to check out your basket. I missed out on this when it was in stock before, and I, I'm definitely going to be something that I need at least two of um, to have on my desk. Yeah. Really useful. Well, you could have this one because the box is completely <laughs> decimated. Anyway, eleven pounds and eighty eight pence for both of those. Yeah, this, uh, I don't know. Who, they've even tried to fix the box after we after they've <laughs> like, look, I'm going to blame Craig. It's bound to be Craig, isn't it? Uh, anyway, both of those. It was what? It was not me. It was not me, cat, you little. Cat's just gone, oh, it'll be, it'll be John. I'll remember that, cat. Thank you very much indeed. You know that laptop you wanted? Right, OK, so that's that. Then we've got the die, uh, die set here. I've got to get an elongate. There you go. So you get all four of the dies. Is that right? This would have been something Haley's just put in. Brilliant. So you get all of these, you get your apple core in different sizes, you get your, um, I don't know what that's called, that one. Jewel. Jewel. You get your clamshell and you get your elongated hexi. If you bought all four of those together, they would be 144.96. I will just check in the price for you. Hundred and forty-four ninety-six. Oh. She's building attention now, <laughs> isn't she? Better be a good reduction. Now we've got to hear. And the I think these ones, I, I love these. I love that design. The clam the clam shell. Shell. Um and really difficult to cut if you didn't have a Gemini. Yeah, no, no, yeah. totally. And this way as well to get them all absolutely yeah, perfectly, perfect. uh, exactly the same and precise. That's your apple core. That's apple core, that's jewel, that's clamshell, elongated hex. Wow, worth waiting for. Uh, hang on, how much were they? 144. 104, 144. So it's less than half price. Rachel. Was well, 144.96, gone to 64.98, but the, the split pay stayed there, look. The split pay stays. I know. 3249 two way split pay. But obviously, you need a Gemini machine to cut those with. You do need a die cutting machine to do those with. At 64.98, that's a really good price. I think it's panicked. I think that might be a panic price. I don't think. Because that makes them what? 14 and 14 is 20. Uh, for, uh, oh, I can't remember. 16. Go on then, work it out. 16 something, 16.24 each. Yeah, it's good that calculator, isn't it, you've got there? <laughs> Righto, that was that. Now, what else haven't we shown you? We haven't shown you this. You got your own fabric coat. I was going to call yeah. it odor coat then. Yeah. 
You've got your fabric coat, your fabric stabiliser and your st spray and protect. So that's all your good price at 29.97. And this fabric coat, you know, lasts such a long time. You, mm. know, you, you can get a lot of items um, covered in that <laughs> and that will make them waterproof. 14.98 for all three. For, now, you know, well, you have to tell me, I don't have to tell you how much they are normally. These are seven, this one's 7.99 on its own. This one's 8.99 or something on its own, isn't it? Anyway, uh, so you've got your, uh, your spray and protect, which is protect fabric from dirt and dust. You've got your fabric stabiliser, which means you can spray onto the fabric and it gives it a, um, uh, uh, like a starch, like a starch. And then you've got your fabric coat, which may, turns normal cotton into like a... Oil cloth. Oil cloth. Yeah. Oil cloth. £14.98. pence. That's a really, really good deal. Then I've got some clips here. Always useful. Yep. You think at home I'd have loads of these, but I've hardly got any of them because they just disappear, well, don't cause they? Because you, you've got so, you're so many of them, you just throw them willy nilly. <laughs> don't you? Uh, thread and squilter clips back of 20. Four ninety nine. dollars I think that might be buy one, get one free, isn't it? $4.99. Yeah, I think that's yep. right. Yep. Yeah, cheeky little price there. Make sure you check out your baskets on all of these. We will do we will do a demo in a second. Just want you to see all the bargains, that's all. Right, then I've got a 60 millimeter rotary cutter, which can be changed from left-handed to right-handed. Uh, does it come with it comes with spare blades as well? This was in the original. And they don't, I know we always you see things, they say they're ergonomically correct and that sort of thing. I use this, well, obviously all the time. And yeah. I've never had that kind of ache that I've had before when I've used other mm. um, rotary cutters. You know, it's, it's, you know, it can be quite exhausting cutting. Oh, she's things. crashing. 19.99. I thought that was the price. 19.99. Remember, it's a 60 millimetre. 60 millimetre. Stuart never used to have a 60 millimetre and then he was given one for a show and he suddenly realised how much more cutting you can mm. get done using a 60 millimetre one. And then we've also got it in 45 millimetre. Again, left-handed or right-handed. It's got a lock on it. And these replacement blades in here are the same replacement blades you would use in the fabric cutter that we've got. You know, oh yeah, oh, to talk, I've um, got the fabric we've got, um, So if you, if you have got the fabric cutter and you need the replacement um, blades, these ones will fit in that. Okay, talking of the fabric cutter, this is exactly what Becky was just talking about then. Uh, I call it a guillotine. It is a guillotine, yeah. really, isn't it? like being back at school, isn't it? So this is brilliant if you don't want to use a ruler and a rotary cutter because your hands are safe, it's stable, uh, you can cut strips, you can cut squares, you can cut triangles, you can cut hexes, you can cut all sorts of this. It comes with the bag. Let's just check. Carry all bag, cutting mat, and that, right? If you bought them all together now, it'd be 109.97. Look. Wow. You see, what it is, is you're getting this and this for, that's how much this costs. You're getting this and this for free. I know, a brilliant, brilliant canvas bag and your cutting mat and your guillotine, all for 59.97. And this cuts through fabric, no, for, for, I tend to use a bolt of fabric and I just fold it in half. Yeah. And then I just cut strips from that whole bolt. Um, really, really useful, particularly if you are struggling to use a rotary cutter. And also, with, you know, on a rotary cutter, you've got to do this all the time. This one you can just press and push up and down. You, and we always say with a rotary cutter, don't cut towards yourself. With this one, you can do. Yeah. Uh, because you press that down, that makes the blade go down, and then it cuts through the fabric perfectly. 59.97. What, what you mustn't do is pick it up by this. It's got a handle here. You pick it up by the handle. Okay, so that's that one. Then we had a mystery bundle, which isn't so myster mysterical <laughs> because it's all listed on the website. I don't know. If you look away and you don't check on the website, it could be a bit of a mystery. For oh, you. yeah, exactly. Exactly. 
8342. Now, how much was that supposed to be? 160 something, was it? 166.84. It's still on three way split pay for 83 pounds and 42 pence. We also have a uh, folding. Stop it. <laughs> folding ruler. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Whack you with the box. It's really handy um, for storage, being able to fold it in half. Yep. Um, really useful, so you can cut your triangles and you can cut your um, rectangles as well, really easy by using this folding ruler. It's not 83.42. I'd hope not. No, no, we finished the bundle. We've moved on, mate. <laughs> See? <laughs> Special price. Oh, hang on. It's all 20 Nine pounds off. That's your folding ruler. Uh, Rachel, I'm moving on to the next thing now. The, root of the scissor bundle. No, no, that was, we did that this morning at, um, at nine o'clock. So you've got your curved scissors, you've got your large um, scissors, and you've also got your little snips in there as well. Lovely, 24.99. It's got a lovely sheen to it, that. That's the one. Beautiful. I'm moving on, Rach. Yep. This is brilliant. This buy is fantastic. You buy two, you get two for free. Low-tack tape. So this is a, a what we use all the time with our Geminis, whether we're using paper or using fabric. Just holds everything together. <coughs> Lots of people were saying about using it for grid lines on quilt. Yeah, 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 definitely, oh, yeah. yeah. That's a really good idea. And I use it if I'm going to do my eyeliner. Don't be <laughs> putting on your face. No, it's all right because it's not really sticky. So that, yeah. that's a good thing. Imagine if you leave it there and you go out. Oh, you could use it. For, I worked with an actress once where we, we had to strap her up oh, yeah, and underneath yeah. her wig. £9.98. <laughs> she was at the Oscars this week. Uh -huh. Yeah. Who was it? I can't tell you on air. <laughs> but she must have been in pain because she actually had bulldog clips here. Oh to hold her skin up, then they put her wig over the top and she stayed like that all day. No wonder she was the crabbiest there, actress in the world. There was um, a very famous actress that I knew and I knew her hair, her makeup artist and she'd come and do her makeup while she was asleep um, because she was always, she was older. Yeah. Um, she'd have, no, she'd have a nice nap and wake up and she'd be like fully yeah. made up and everything pinned back. Uh, the Spice Girls used to get their uh, makeup done while they were they're working so hard on yeah. the tour bus, they'd have that. Right, the last thing before I get onto the actual Gemini machine, we've got this little bundle of the mini plates and the mini fabric plates. Now, can I use that on my Gemini too? Absolutely you can. Now, historically, with the original Gemini, if you were going to, you could use the, your Gemini Junior plates on it, but you would have to place it in through the machine, yeah. sort of like this this way, yeah. whereas now, because you've got that optical sensor that goes over the whole throat of the machine, you can put this through like that. So if you're doing something quite small, you're using sort of small dies, this makes it really well worth having. And having them anyway, because you will end up using them again and again. You can get one set up while you've got another one running. Get the bag the as well, get the bag as well. At 33.97, that's a really good buy. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, now let's get to the Gemini 2 bundle itself because, thank you, the machine, in this one, you get the machine. Now the machine comes with two white plates, a frosted plate, a metal shim, a f uh, two white plates, a frosted plate, metal shim, embosser, embossing mats, yeah. Uh, not that, not that, not that, not that. This is what comes with the machine itself. Before you even look at the bundle we put together, Plus a magnetic one. That's it. Well, you only right. use the embossing one for paper and the magnetic one for paper. Yeah. So you don't use those for fabric. But then, great Carlson's Companion have created this bundle for you with all of this in. So you've got your turning table, your elongated hexes, your owl, your uh, extra white plates. You get fabric plates and you get the big neoprene packet. All for £249. And how much should that be, Rachel? 338.92 is what it should be. Right, so now are we going to do 
some demos on the Gemini yeah. machine. What do you get? Oh, you got the sewing machine and everything out today. Well, I have. I don't know if I get around to doing much okay. of the sewing, but we'll definitely. So what are we going to make then? So we're going to use. I'm going to use the um, Winding Ways um, Builder Block here. Right. Um, so I'll show you how it looks when you get it out of the, the packaging. Um, so as we said with all of these, you get like this little road map at the very top, very front of it, um, which tells you the sizing of everything or, or what it's called. So these pieces over here are called the borders. You've then got the shield and then you've got the um, quarter circle and you've got different sizes. You've got small, medium and large in here and they will obviously make different size blocks. Um, in your little booklet that you also get in here, it shows you how to put everything together and it talks about the grain line. I can't remember which lady was asking about the grain line no, no, before, it was in the first hour. This was quite. This one's quite a useful one to show you the different types of things with the grain line because of how the shapes work. Now, if you're just using squares and triangles and that kind of thing, um, it, it, it's relatively easy. But it, it's a little bit more complicated when you are using larger shapes. So I'm taking the largest shape here. Um, with the shield, perhaps your desire would be to, on a piece of fabric is to put it like this that's not what we want to do we want to follow the grain line here so we want, actually want it pointing down um, so you almost want to think of that point being you know with a start on your grain line. yeah yeah here. yeah um, this one relatively easy because you've got that right angle triangle so you know that you want that um, to be facing like this so mm -hmm. it's going to be having that straight line and then with this one you want that long line to be your straight line along your grain line so you right. can see all of that information on here and you really do need to follow that because when you've got these curves you're going the fabric's going to stretch more along the curves um, and if it's not in the right way if it's not the right angle it's yeah. not going to work i would have got that one completely wrong yeah and i would i probably would have done it like that without thinking right. um, but the way to do it is down you're sort of thinking of that point being your um, straight line. Wow. Um, so as you go through the little booklet, it will show you the step-by-step -step instructions as to how to create these different designs. So for this one, not all of the, um, the shapes, all of the designs are gonna be available in all of the sizes. This one you could do um, six inches, eight inch and 12 inch. Um, but some of the others, like this one here, you can only do a 12 inch because of the way it's designed. Oh, okay. So that one looks a lot more complicated, but it's still those same shapes. It's just using the colors in that particular yeah. way and you can see how all of these others are created and we also give you the instructions as to how to put these pieces together so whilst this is a block you're effectively looking at it as four blocks four yeah. mini blocks within them um, so you can see throughout here all of these different designs I mean they get quite you know look at that looks quite quite intricate here um, this kind of one that we're doing um, over here but actually it's not that complicated once you've seen it all break down you're just using those smaller shapes and um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop them <coughs> off the fabric and cut them out and I'm going to show you how I put them together no oh. so I've got my fabric hidden yeah. in there handy um, now we want to use I'm going to use three different colors um, for th the three different pieces um, can't seem to get rid of that little bit of fluff. Um, let's go for the pink first, and we'll do the shield out of the pink. So my fabric is, um, we've got my grain line running this way. Yeah. So we know that's gonna work. I'm gonna pop those to one side. And then I'm going to fold my fabric. I'm just gonna make sure I get it in the right place. So I don't want my die to be sitting like that. I want it to be sitting, I want it to be sitting like this. So that is basically folding down. Yeah. That makes any sense. So I can get one, fold those over. So if I was um, doing this at home, I would have I I'll iron all my fabric first before I start running it through the machine, um, just to make sure it's nice and flat. And I'm using, um, it, no, I'm just sort of making the most of my fabric. Yeah. There. Let's fold that over. How many are you making? Well, I'm, I'm going to cut two, four, six. Might as well cut eight to show how we can cut eight here. So we're going to pop that. Make sure we get it around the right way. It fit. It does just oh, yeah, yeah. just right. So let's trim the rest of this fabric off. So again, at home, you know, you'd be being a little more frugal with your fabric, but I'm just doing this for this 
um, show here. Now, I'm going to need to use my low-tack tape, so I do want to make sure that everything stays in, in the right space. And I also want to use my fabric plates. Because I'm cutting with um, all of those, those layers of fabric, I don't want to do that using my ordinary plates that come with my machine. So, using the two white plates mm -hmm. and then the two fabric plates, that's what I need. I'm going to place that on here. Make sure I've got that in the right place. And plenty of tape. Like I say, there's no reason, you know, with, especially when we've got it in, on such a great deal, it's better to use more tape than less. Yeah. And I tape onto my plate. You'll find that all the other people from Crofters Companion don't. Oh, don't um, they? No, they don't. When they do paper, they just tape the um, card and the die together. They don't tape it onto the oh, plate. OK. I do, because I just think it moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I don't, I don't want it to move. Also, you reuse this, these bits of tape as well, I tend you? to, yeah. Um, that's why my, my machine's filthy, because it's just got little bits of tape stuck on it. So, as always, you think of the white plates as your bread, so they're going to be the outer part of your, di uh, your uh, sandwich. You've got Giant. Diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great diet, just eat bread. Then you've got your um, fabric plates with your fabric and your die facing down. You've got the other fabric plate over the top, and then you've got the white, that's that bread again around the outside. Are we on? Oh, yes, we are now. And then run that through the machine. And then while that's going, we can start looking at the next piece of fabric that we're going to be cutting. We're going to do these um, quarter square circles. Quarter square circles? Quarter circles. Quarter square circles. Jeez. She, look, she does look like a piece of cheese. Piece of brie. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a bit of a large piece of brie. <coughs> and the great thing about this is, you know, these are perhaps designs that you may have seen, but not actually done yourself, because yeah. actually cutting them out is quite a fiddly um, enterprise to do. Yeah. You, uh, if you're anything like me, I just look at things like this and thought, oh, I'm never doing that. There's no way I'll be that accurate to cut those pieces of fabric the way they're supposed to. But obviously, using the Gemini, you're going to be getting that accuracy every single time, and it's going to save you lots and lots of time and heartache. So we've got all of those pieces. So let's cut through eight layers yeah. um, of fabric. So we put those to one side. And we've still got other pieces of fabric we can use this for in the future for cutting out. And in fact... Could we, you could almost get some of these quarter um, yeah. circles out yeah. of those. And then we're just going to do the, the same with all the other fabric. And so you can see how they were cut out. But the great thing about this is that when we cut out all of these curves, they are going to all match. So they're going to fit together OK. And that's the fact, the, the fact that we use the Gemini, you use the dies that are going to cut. If I pop that there, it doesn't look like it's going to meet. But when mm -hmm. we actually put them together, it will work. So Mate. I've got enough time to cut a couple of more of those. Yeah, oh yeah, yep. got plenty of time. So again, want to make sure that our grey line is working with us. So we want to fold that over there. That fits nice down there. And we'll fold that. Again, I'm just doing this roughly, but you don't need to be too precious about... Um, uh, you know, when you, once you've sort of folded, uh, put it through the machine, it's going to be nice and flat anyway. So we'll just do four of these here, because you saw how many you cut you yeah. before. And then we'll reuse the tape. And you'll find that when you put your, machine, your die through your machine, you might get... So if I put my machine like that or my die like that, it will give a bit of a thud. In fact, I'll do that now so you can hear the thud. Yeah. And it'll make the thud because all of the rollers are going to be going over this die and then coming off it at the same time. Now, if you don't want that kind of big thudding noise, you just make sure that any sort of squares or any right angles are just slightly yeah. off kilter. Because you're still on the straight grain of the fabric. Yeah. You're keeping the whole thing. Yeah. So again, the same sandwich as before. Run it through the machine. And that's as loud as it gets. Yeah. So you hit that, that thud, that's going off those rollers at the end. So that's the difference, just to show you. We see with the other one, we don't have any sort of straight edges. Yeah. So you didn't get that roll. Okay. And those, those are cut out beautifully as well. So when we put them together, so we wanted, we need, also need to do this, this section as well, but we're not going to worry too much about that. I'll show you how you're going to put these together. Um, so... We know that they are going to fit. We just need to make sure that they are pinned together. Or, um, as I like to do, glue. I don't like pinning. 
if I can glue something together, I'd more, rather do that. So, oh, sorry, I thought you Yeah, no, I was yeah. looking for my pen. So um, I'm going to use some of the textile glue that we've had on the show in the past. It might be available on the website. And I'm going to take each piece and I'm going to fold them in half. And I'm going to make a little mark at that halfway point. Like that. And I'll do the same with this one. Make that mark there. Yeah, use a bright red pen on pink. I fabric. know it's not it's not ideal, but the I've I need to get new ones. I've used them so much those um, heat erasable pens. Not one of them. Well, one I have one blue one that's working at home, and that's it. Oh no! I don't have any others. Now um, you can do this in different ways. So you could do you could take those two points um, on these two pieces of fabric and mark them up here, and then you could use your pins and you could pin all, all the way around mm -hmm. here. But I find that quite fiddly. I find the better way to do this is to use a little bit of glue. So I'll just use some textile glue, and I only do half at a time. So I'm only going to put a very thin amount of textile glue all the way around here, like that, to that point. And this is going to hold everything together for me to sew it. So I'm going to put those two lines just together, like mm -hmm. that, and press. And then bit by bit, I'm just going to fold this around and I'm just going to squeeze these two curves together until we're in the right place. So just do a little bit at a time. You might want to start at this end here and work your way into the middle. It's a bit easier. But you can see how we're just pressing these two curves together. And this, this I find easier to do with fabric glue than sticking it with the pins before I stitch it together. Yeah, and that fabric glue is not going to mess with my uh, machine. No, then. especially being specially formulated, so it won't gum up your machine. Lovely. All I would say is make sure it's dry before you use it, because obviously if it is wet and it splurges out, you've got too much yeah. glue there, um, you will notice it on your machine. So we'll do the other side in exactly the same way. You need to get a pin down that nozzle. I do, don't I? You know what's going to happen? It's going to be a huge... Yeah, it's going to... Yeah, nasty noise, and it's going to go all over the place. But you just need a tiny, tiny yeah, bit. Yeah, tiniest bit. And it's just instead of using pins, and I think it makes a big difference. So we're going to attach those two points there, and then we're just going to slowly sort of ease those two um, curves together. Like that. I've got a, a finger just in the middle of the two, just to lift them apart a little bit. <coughs> So as you go round, there you go, and then that's ready for stitching. Brilliant. So, um, easier way than um, actually um, stitching was um, putting pins in there. So I'm going to quickly run that through the machine. Is it dry enough? Do, yeah, it should be fine. I have not used very much. Our machine or yours? It's yours. Be fine. Be fine. Don't worry. Cat. <laughs> ready to write a bill? It's going to be fine. Stop worrying. You just need to use your quarter of an inch seam allowance yeah. all the way through. It's going to be fine. I'm, I'm sure it is. Cat's watching with an eagle's eye now on the monitor over there. Oh dear, look at all that glue. Now I'm only shaking. We're just, just easing it around those curves. And then now, when I fold it out, I'm going to need to give it a bit of an iron, but you can see you've got that curve there. And that will um, automatically sort of lie flat underneath. So you just need to give it a press, and then you've got that little curve there. Yeah. You can see it fits. But if you'd cut that with your... Um, uh, you know, with a, with a rotary cutter, you might find that it doesn't quite cut, but being able to use the dies, it means everything's been cut absolutely perfectly and you've got a fantastic finish there. You'll be able to create all those different designs mm. using those different um, dies. And they all work in exactly the same way. So the way you're being able to tell that they are multimedia dies, these are the copper-coloured ones. So six to eight layers of cotton fabric, you're going to be able to cut with all of these builder blocks. Oh, okay, right. I didn't know this earlier. These are 
Uh, the bun uh, the, I'm going away from the box of the, of the build block. I'm going to the ones I showed you earlier. Remember I did the whole bundle, which was a fantastic price. I'd still buy the bundle, but they're all individual, individual as well. Which one do you want to do first, Rach? No, go on, you, you pick. Do you mean jewel or ju jewel? Thank you. Yeah, Rachel, like, that's where Rachel I first met, selling high-end jewellery at Rocks & Co. all those years ago. 19 Gorgeous. I, yeah, I one, think, two, three, four in there. Whenever I hear the word jewel, I think of gladiators now, when they have the jewel. Oh, jewel, yeah. like that. Yeah. No jewels we're talking about now. <laughs> Rachel bought a yellow, lovely yellow diamond. Ooh, Didn't nice. you, Rach? She did. Okay, elongated hexy now. Back in the day, eh? When we were in London, North London. Kentish Town we were in, yeah. 1999. Rocks and Co. In 1999? No, not in 1999. The price is 1999. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> I don't think Rachel was born in 1999. <laughs> what year did we start at Rocks then? No, it wasn't 21 years ago. Hang on. It was when I finished. No, hang on. It was when I finished it. No, hang on. Yeah, yeah, it was when I finished it at, um, this morning, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. There you go, 1999. Uh, then I've got clamshells. Uh, uh, what have you called them then? Yeah, clamshells. Yeah, clamshells. There's there, right? <coughs> yes, they do, look. Yeah, that because they overlay each other, so you're not wasting your fabric, yeah. 1999, and Rachel had a company in those days called Ring a Roast. Is it called Ring for Roast? Ring for Roast. And on a Sunday, you'd ring up and you'd order like a Sunday dinner for six, and she'd cook it and have it delivered round. Oh. <coughs> if she'd stuck at that. She'd be a multi. She'd be a multi-millionaire now. Yeah, you should have stuck with that. You got what? <coughs> oh, did you? I didn't realise you could say she got a little boy called Harley. Harley. Yeah, Harley, mm -hmm. isn't it? And um, he, she got pregnant with Harley, so she gave it up, but she'd have been a millionaire. Yeah. Done that. Yeah, everyone loves a race, and no one likes to cook it. Yeah. I could, yeah, you could have franchised it. I said that, didn't I, at the time? And the Haley was doing uh, Forever Living at the time, wasn't she? Pyramid selling. It's not pyramid selling! It's pyramid selling. It's more of a trapezium, isn't it? It's what? It's more of a trapezium. Yeah, more likely. Right, nine, nine, oh, hang on, hang on, that's not right. Nine ninety nine. How much were the others? The others were nineteen ninety nine. Wow, that's good. I think that's wrong because the others were nineteen ninety nine, weren't they? One, two, three, four. One. You get four in all of them. Uh, no, buy it, buy it. Nine ninety nine, nine ninety nine. Get that one. Almost, they, this would be really difficult to cut accurately. Yeah. With, with those, every single side is a curve. Um, really difficult. Nine ninety nine. These are. I don't know where the graphics have gone. They're nine ninety nine. She's not put the graphics. Buy these at nine. nine. It makes no effect. It's no, it makes no uh, impact on you, Rachel. There's been a mistake. There shouldn't be nine ninety nine. Anyway, you don't set the price, Rachel. It's not your fault. Right, what would you want to do now, then? As the producer of the show. What have, what have we done? There's something else we haven't done. Plate, triple pack and plate storage bag. We did the little one earlier. It's the big one, is it? The big one. So all this in here. So, the big neoprene bag... Uh, did they ask, did, they, did you ask about those? Okay, so I haven't got the cutting plates on their own this time. So you get, is this right, two cutting plates, triple, plate, triple pack and plate storage bag. Yeah, 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 that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. 
plus that. That's good. Buy that. Because these are 24 These here are 24 99 on their own. Aren't they? Yeah. And you'll you're use... You you'll end up eating these white cutting plates at some point yeah. anyway. Yeah, so yeah. you might as well have them Now, stock. if I've got an original... Yes. Um... Gemini, yeah. which I have. Yeah. Can I buy those plates and use them in mine? Absolutely. Because I really yeah. need all of these. And they, they last longer then, because yeah. they've been manufactured slightly differently, so they will last longer, but we do suggest, like you say, to flip and rotate every single time you use them. Um, and that clear frosted plate, um, again, lasts six mm. times longer than um, the original ones. Well, so we call these consumables because yeah. they're meant to be yeah. replaced eventually, yeah. aren't they? Uh, th that's a really good price because you get the bag... These and those as well for thirty nine ninety seven. Gorgeous. Have we got any more? Did we think we can we're going to do another demo? Oh, so an Shall I do the little um, reindeer? Yeah. Felt. Yeah. Give me two seconds. I'm just. Oh, blimey! It. it must be bad cats eating mm -hmm. fruit. She eats chocolate. All she has a chocolate muffin followed by a chocolate bar followed by chocolate. So those are some of the fabrics and, and items you can cut using the Gemini. Right, OK, uh, look at these, right? These are some of the fabrics you can cut with it. I'm going to guess them as we go round them. Mylar, craft card, glitter net, embossed thick aluminium, chalkboard, leather, faux leather, wood veneer, glitter, hessian backed, hessian unbacked, drinks can, a drinks can. A drinks can, yeah. It was a, it was a, a like a fizzy drinks. Fizzy can. drink can. Yeah. Uh, and then this one here. You've nicked these from Sarah, haven't you? I haven't stolen them from Sarah. They're in our our cupboard that we share. Multiple layers of felt, corrugated card, mount board, mirror card, glitter card, coated card, copper sheet, foiled acetate, balsa wood, upholstery fabric, heavy denim, funky foam. Funky oh, that's got oh, that's a real weird feel to it. Thick cork, <laughs> heavy duty sandpaper, and cardboard packaging. Just goes to show all the different types of things yeah. you can What's do. Yeah, that one. Ford Ford acetate. acetate. But the um, the if you've ever watched Sarah doing the shows before, she's done with a drinks can. She literally cuts out. Some she never did shape. that on my show. Oh, it's really clever. Um, I had no idea that it was such a, a clever thing to do. So I'm going to use this, which is your cut and stitch. Um, little, uh, which was over there in your box. Yeah, it's not there yeah. anymore because I've just taken it. Um, now this, uh, we we bought these out. These uh, little decorations that you can make. Um, the idea being, you cut them out of your fabric. You've got lots and lots. It's part, of, sorry, it's part of the mystery bundle. Part, yeah, part of the mystery. Part bundle. of the mystery bundle. Um, you have these dies to cut out the edges, but you also have these other dies which cut out perforations for you to stitch through. So you can create little um, little designs like that. Um, and it's quite diverse because you get lots and lots of different dies with them. Now, these are the ones that I said before. When I cut felts, I like to use the metal shim and then the frosted shim that you automatically get with your Gemini rather than the fabric plates. I just feel it cuts better. But because of these little perforations, I would recommend you put it through the machine twice. Okay. Because you so want to So don't take it up, put it through and then put it through immediately. You don't yeah. want to move anything. No, you don't yeah. want to move anything. Um, and I always cut two at a time because okay. I inevitably lo lose one or uh, I you know, drop it on the floor. Well, or you something. want to make two. Yeah, exactly, you want to make two. But I always think it cuts better with two anyway. Right, so okay. better to have um, too many than too little, I think. Uh -huh. That would be my recommendation. So we've got um, the little outer piece here. Um, so we're going to cut two of these anyway because I want one to cut the outside edge of the um, little, little, the back of the reindeer. So I'm going to cut those. Um, and then you can run it through the machine with this perforation on at the same time, or you can do that afterwards. So I'm going to do that afterwards. OK. And then I'm going to cut, um, I want his little antlers. And they, these antlers have an outside cutting um, blade around yeah. here. For want of a better so it's not a blade, it's not is blade. it? It's, it's not just, sharp. It's an outside cutting ridge, is yep. what I would call it. Um, <laughs> and it's as, I mean, I'm really pressing down on my fingers here. You can see I've got a few marks on my fingers, but there's nothing, it's not going to cut you, it's not going to hurt you. And th this is the beauty of the machine. That it's the pressure of the machine that causes um, it to cut the fabric, um, which makes it br brilliant for working with kids, because, um, you know, it's going to be nice and safe for them. They're not going to hurt themselves. And even if the children try to push their hands in, into the machine, um, it's not going to hurt them. They're not going it's to not going to set off, is no, it? If you no, put your hand in, inside the thing, it doesn't set off. No, it doesn't. 
So we've got those there and we'll do the face. So I'm going to do the face out of a different colour. And again, I'm going to fold that over so we can get two. Go. And we just put those all together. So you'll see when we cut these, um, how they come out and why I use, I use them in the way that I do. So I'll put my tape on here. Oh, it's tape. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, uh. Thanks. <laughs> I like to be... You like I like, I like to, I'm saying I like to be frugal with my tape. I like to reuse it, but I do like to be wasteful when I'm putting bits of, it, bits of tape on. <coughs> As you can see, I put those there. I don't want them moving around, and they might move around if I didn't tape them down. Yeah. So again, I'm going to cut these ones, and we're going to run everything through the machine twice just to make sure we cut everything nicely. So let's do that outer one. So those, one, those ones we know... That, that big large shape will just cut straight away. Yeah. Won't be any problems, but we want that little um, piece here like that. Let's do that. I think put that together first and then I'll put my tape over the top of that afterwards so it gets in exactly the right space. So there we go. That's like that. So uh Quick question, yeah. if I'm cutting four of one thing and yeah. two of another, can I still put them through at the same time? Yes, yeah, you can. It won't cause any problems at all. Um, I would just, you know, just... Uh, if you, you, ooh, if oh. you think what you've got is quite intricate, because these are little tiny perforations that you've got in here, these little holes, put it through a few times. You know, there's no point taking something off um, and uh, you know, realising you should have put it on for a little bit longer. Yeah. yeah, if you had something that's a bit thick on one side and you know, lighter on another, it wouldn't really make any difference. So I'll just grab my white plates. So I won't use my fabric plates for this. I'm just going to use those white plates, and we're going to run it through the machine twice. So we've still got the other little pieces of the... Um, reindeer that we haven't cut out yet um, but we could have easily fitted all of those pieces on that one um, plate. Oh yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah. No problem at all but for little dies like this um, particularly when you know I was saying before about these. Um, I can't see where I'm so I don't, um, having that magnetic um, stand these are really really useful and when you're not using them stick them onto the front of your um, container um, so you don't lose them and you don't get them covered in fluff which is oh, always yeah, what I so. do. Okay, let's see how they've come out. So I'm going to look at these ones first of all. I'm just going to flip them over and have a look. So you can see they have cut through those absolutely fine. And it's that second pass that's really going to make the difference with those. Now, um, put those there. So you've got those little tiny perforations, and that's what we want to make sure that we did um, get rid of. And I just give them a little bit of Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, just spray them everywhere. Thank you. Um, and that, that would get rid of all those little perforations. Yeah. And then we've got this one here. Rachel's not used to working. On, she doesn't do uh, craft or anything like that. Uh, not, I mean, as in work on the craft side. She's really impressed. <laughs> so you can see here, oh, it's got a bit of tape on it. Um, you must take out all of the little um, pieces of fabric that are stuck inside those perforations in that die before you use it again because they won't cut properly. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, these so you need to make sure. Here. Yeah, you need to make sure you, you clean it. You've got a little yeah, pokey tool, haven't you? Um, yeah, normally. You watch, if you watch on cardboard, they go like this, don't they? They do. And all the which bits fall out. Which we're not really No, no, not the show's not called cardboard. The actual, um, if you use it on cardboard. No, I don't do that anymore. I don't call them that anymore. You don't call them that anymore? No, because since Nigel, what's he called? Nigel May, can't yeah. to call him, it's that nylon. <laughs> no, <laughs> nylon May. Is that no, one? No, 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 not nylon. Oh, I hadn't thought of that one. <laughs> nylon May. And then we just, we obviously need to have the other bits and pieces. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to run you, And you're going to stitch way. those together. But you can see how that cuts out. <coughs> um, but that is my preference when you're cutting with felt. Use the die, the, use the plates that come with your machine. Yeah. Don't use your fabric plates. And do cut two at a time. Uh, and if you feel, you know, it needs to go in two, two or three times, do it. Don't, don't waste around and think, yeah. oh, I'll leave it. No those. point. Yep. That's okay, Rach, do, uh, uh, do you want me to recap on anything before I go?
Mystery box one last time. The mystery box, which isn't such a mystery because they're all listed on the website. I'll just turn it around to you that way. Should be twice that price. Should be 116... 166.84 it should be. 166.84. Uh, the machine accessories, which are these two here. Oh, there, these go to a brilliant price. So you've got the magnetic stand and the thing you put at the bottom of your Gemini 2 to make it swirly. It's swirly. It's called a turntable. 11.88. The what? Small one or the big one? Big one. Yep. There you go, your two white plates, your two fabric plates, plus your neoprene bag in the big plates. That's a really good price, that one. Then, and then the little one, did you say? Then the little one here. This one, you get your two metal plates, your two white plates, uh, your two fabric plates, sorry, your two white plates and your little neoprene bag. They're the smaller ones. But can we, you can use in the, the bigger machine. You can use them yep. in the big machine, yeah. Or you can use them in your... What's the, what's the one that's that Junior. size? Junior. Oh? Junior. Junior. Craig, Craig had a new machine on yesterday. What did he have? And it was, it was like one that you turned, I think, and it was pale green. Oh, yes. like a, Lovely. It's like a pistachio green. Pistachio, yeah. yeah. Right, which one's that? Uh, which one? Oh, we'll, we'll look out for it. That was the sewing machine we had last week from Ascana. There you go. It might have been. Those might have been called that as well. Forty-one ninety-nine. How much should it be? Sixty-nine ninety-nine. You get the alphabets, the numbers, and you get exclamation marks and all sorts of things like that. Uh, six inch, eight inch, nine inch, ten inch, and twelve inch. Winding ways, <coughs> which is that one. Thirty-five ninety-nine. Junkard's Path next. We've made a right old mess on this desk. Haven't we? <laughs> I have, particularly. Yeah. And then last but not least, Bayleaf. When are you in next, then? A couple of weeks. And what are you making? Uh, not sure yet. <laughs> Bags, I think. <laughs> I'll tell you later. <laughs> Anyway, thank you thank so much. Thank you, lovely to see you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> She'll be back in a couple of weeks' time with some handbags and some handbag hardware. I'll see you in four minutes when we've got Adam uh, making another top. We'll see you in four. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433.
Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Sewing Street is now available on Virgin Media, channel number 754. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one P&P with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Adam's back now. There was a lovely message to you, Adam, at the end of the last... Me uh, uh I always love to see Adam with John. Adam is such a lovely sewer and explains everything that you need to know. That's from Patricia. Oh, what a lovely compliment. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, everybody who's watching today. Thank you. Right. OK, another Grain Line studio uh, pattern. Pattern, yes. Pattern. Yeah, now, there are four options in here. Four options. You can have a uh, boat neck sewed up the side sleeveless, V-neck uh, uh, open at the side, uh, with uh, sleeves in it. You can have round neck with sleeves open at the side or V-neck open. No, V-neck sleeveless. Could show... You've done number four, haven't you? I've done number four, yes. Yeah. So again, this is size zero, uh, 0 to 18 USA sizes. B cup, beginner friendly. That's it. That, so that's option four there. Option four. Uh, we also have it in sizes. It's funny, they normally do them in different colours, don't they, in different sizes? It's a bit confused me, that has. Yeah. Uh, this is 14 to 30, so it's a size 18 to 34, UK. Uh, oh, and, and you can add pockets on, I didn't see that. They haven't got no pocket drawings on there. Where are the pockets? Is it on version 3? Yeah, where's, where are it? they? Oh, in, in there. The, there's the a seam. seam. Yeah, on the front. Oh, uh, yeah, and version one. And version yeah. one. Yeah. Now, I was asked to do version four, which doesn't have the pockets, but I mean, I can explain them and show you. It's you no hope so, too. Get our money's worth out of you. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's that one there. Now, that's a D cup, that one, a D cup. <coughs> Fabric I've got available today. Ooh, now, what did you make yours in? Paisley. Oh, is this the one that Kim said was a mistake on the website? 
Oh, what's the... It said, it, she said something like, it says blue paisley and it's red or something. We'll just double check. Right, okay. So this is what you're getting if you order this fabric when the graphics come in. No, no, put your graphics in, right? Yeah, no, blue paisley. So that's, this is what you will get if you order NZLJ26. This is what you'll get. Uh, the picture on the website is completely wrong. This is the fabric you'll get. Oh, it looks completely different. So ignore, it's still cotton poplin. It's still cotton poplin. Uh, but this is the one you'll get. Well, it's paisley, isn't it? This is the one you'll get, definitely. Okay, that's that one. Oh, and which one are you making it out of? The linen? Yeah, they've given me the linen. Oh, okay. I'll do all... I'll... Uh, oh, now, th this is by the half metre, of course. This is by the half metre. So we haven't done bundles this time. So we, you need to know. You can buy exactly what you want. Uh, so if you've got any questions, message Rachel and she'll ask me and I'll tell you off the back of the packet. No, you don't need your calculator because you, you need the back of the pattern. You got the so, it's, it's, so like Rachel, what size are you? A UK ten, so you're American fourteen, is that right? No, the other one. Uh, no, 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 no. Yes. You're American f six. Hang on. If you're a yeah. size zero America, you're four in in UK. So right. if you're ten in UK, you're size six America. Yeah. So uh, your you would they're your measurements there, and you will need depending on which option you use. Between two metres, oh no, between two and two and a half metres you need. So you just let us know which option you want to know the yardage for and we can tell you. Right, so that's half metre, that's good, £3.49 for half a metre. That's good. Right, okay, so that's that one there. Then I've got this beautiful navy blue one with bright coloured like dahlias and daisies on it. Oh. Cute. Oh, I haven't got the number. I can't tell you the number, I'm afraid. Oh, you got it. Only because the number I've got will be for a bundle. Navy, bright, large, floral, cotton poplin, 349, half a metre. Good morning, lovely John and gorgeous Adam. Looking forward to watching Adam's demo as he explains everything so well. Love Kimmy B in Salisbury. Oh, Kimmy B. He's Hello. getting a load of love. Oh, do you know her? Yeah. Fruit. Oh, well, I'm not reading out friends' messages. <laughs> well, we've never met. She, oh, OK. She knows Jenny more than she knows She's me. She's what? She knows Jenny more than she knows me. Oh, Jenny Jackson? Yes. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Right, Joe. Your hearing is so bad, Rachel. <laughs> Earlier, you, I said Jenny Jackson, you went Janet Jackson. <laughs> and then now I've just said Jenny Jackson, you've gone Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> this is gorgeous, this one. Look at this one. £3.49. <coughs> if you were what? £3.49. Well, I know Jennifer Anderson's old boyfriend, don't I? Brad Pitt. How are Yeah, yeah, I've worked with him. I went skinny dipping with him in New Orleans. That's another story. Is that in your book? I don't know if it's in my book. It's a more one-man show, though. Oh, I've been pulling and the pages of that book to find that bit and couldn't find it. <laughs> no, 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 book? I don't think it's in the book. I think it's in the book. Uh, anyway, look at the colour of this. Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. This isn't black. Hang on, let me read it. You got it? I haven't got any black ones. Teal. Teal, teal, floral, cotton, poplin. So, um, <laughs> £3.49, £3.49 for half a metre. Right, and then I've got red. It's red. <laughs> Do 
No, I was saying you're being slow. You just went, that's a lovely colour. I said, yeah, it's red. <coughs> £3.49. Nice, isn't it? Then we've got this one. Oh, two more, two more, two more, sorry. So I've got like a... Yeah, two more in the, in the cotton pot plins. This is grey floral cotton pot plin. It's got a very um, Regency feel to it, that one, isn't it? Like, yeah, lovely. £3.49. And then this is like now, if you didn't know, you'd think this would be Liberty, wouldn't you? If you looked at that, you'd go, that's Maybe Liberty, that. Let me have a look. Oh, yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? Three pound forty. You wouldn't get liberty for three pound forty nine for half a meter, would you? Three pound forty nine. Three pound forty nine for half a meter. Then we've got two linens. Have you got the grey one? The grey one. Yeah. Grey linen now. Now one's navy blue. Yeah. Well, what was the black one that you brought in then? You, you brought in a, a graphic that said black earlier. What was that? No, you, it said black, didn't it? Because I said, that's not black. Okay. 6 99 this for half a metre. This is pewter enzyme wash linen, this one. Beautiful. And then navy blue. <coughs> Lovely, really rich, that one. That's gorgeous. Enzyme wash linen in navy. You see, to get a linen at 6 99 that's brilliant for half a metre. Beautiful. And then the only other thing I can introduce you to this hour is an overlocker. You know, I've got this one, I've, my favourite overlocker. Right, I think... Uh, now, Rachel, we haven't discussed this. Five-way split pay. Uh, have a look at the history of the sales. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I don't care if he doesn't sell your sheet, I'm doing it. It won't sell your sheet. Yep. So John's got a special price this that we do on this on this overlocker. Of course it is. One oh five nine. I know it's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. It's the air thread overlocker, so easy to thread, £1,059. Look at the split pay. Five way split pay. It's about 211 something, isn't it? It'll come up now. Oh, in a minute. No, no interest charge whatsoever. £211.80. Such, such an easy, easy thread. I'll show you about it later. But first of all, let's get on with some sewing, shall we? Adam, that's you. That's me. Yeah. Fabulous. I'm not going to lie, I've had a cheeky whiz on that in the break. Oh, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? The one thing that everybody says about an overlocker is it's, it's threading them, it's threading them. And uh, threading? This threads it for you. I know. It's an air threader, this one. I know. You don't have to thread the upper looper and the lower looper, look. Look. Uh, it does it itself. Anyway, we'll go on with the that. Right, I'm sewing some darts. Let's sew some darts. This is very similar to the other top we did um, at 10 o'clock. Um, but just to explain again, I'll do these quickly because we sew a lot of darts into everything. Um, I'm coming off at the edge there, just lifting my needle and my foot, and then I'm going to tie them off so we don't get any bulk at the edge. Yeah. So here we go, tie them off, and I'll do the same with the other one. A nice French dart, this one. A what? A French dart. Is it's, that what it's called? It speaks French. 
<coughs> Good morning, boys. Fabulous demos. I'm learning a lot today. Will either of you be going to Stitch at the London Design Centre? It will be my first show. Oh, Sue, oh. I'm not going. Are you? I've not got any plans to, although who was trying to get me to go along? Jenny Jackson. Probably was Jenny Jackson. Yeah. I've never been. It's lovely. The one in Islington's absolutely lovely. I can't go this year because I'm away filming something else and I only get back on the Saturday. Saturday, and I think I'm here on the Sunday, so I can't actually physically go. But I am going to be in uh, the NEC tomorrow on our stand. Oh, I forgot, to I forgot to go and look, didn't I, about what, where our stand was. And they won't be here. They'll be setting it up, won't they, at the moment? You just sew away. I'm just checking on my overlocker. <laughs> I love this. I'm going to get you overlocking. All right, then. Right, so I've sewn the darts and we'll give them a press. Lovely stuff. But I'll stop now. I was just checking it was all okay because I knew he was going to ask me to overlook something. With your new iron. Oh, yeah, new iron. So much going on today. Now, let me get this right then. So there's a little... This, it's steam controlled. You can have it at the front. No, do you want me to show you? Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Who needs me? You can we... <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> right. Come on then, show me which button so to press. So you press this button. Are you ready for this? I don't think you do, but go on. Go on then. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's not switched on, that's why. I wondered why. It's not switched on, we'll have to wait for it to get warm. It's not hot. But well, you're thinking, this is a rubbish iron. But I'm going out thinking, gosh, there's been something here. Right, look, so when you, sw you switch it on here, oh. you switch on there, right? When this is uh, throbbing like that, it means it's still warm. What's the word I'm looking for? Pulsating. Pulsating. <laughs> it means it's still warming up. Has it stopped? It's stopped now. Right. OK, so you want steam. You see these buttons on the side here, right? So if you want steam to just come out the top, you press that button. Oh, hang on, it's going to take a while now. Or is it pulsed? Oh, oh. Oh. oh, hang on, there's... Yeah, there is... Well, I don't know how much... Can you sit... Hang on, why wouldn't it... They are. That's the bottom, but... Oh, there you go, there's the top one, there's the top one. And then if you want both... Press both. That's going to spit now because I've pressed it too many times. And the light comes on when you when you're not knitting. What's it? <laughs> there you go. Do you know for a little thing, it, it it's got some umph about yeah, it's it. It's got a lot of umph about it. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm never going to remember which way round. Oh, there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Lovely. Yeah. Ham underneath. Oh, I like that because it you can control that. Yeah, totally. You know when you're sewing, I don't know if it'd be any good or not, you know when you're making bias strips or, you, or you're folding something over, like I find with my iron at home, sometimes because the steam's just on automatic, I can burn my fingers sometimes. Yeah, But you yeah. can really control that. Oh, my word. Hello, boy. Look, I've got a long message here from Max, right? Hello, boys. Thank you for motivating me to tackle my un finish sewing objects to get rid of my jet lag. Oh, where have you been? Oh. Uh, you are a class act. Love all your tips. You really contribute to our sewing community with your wealth of knowledge, skill and experience. I don't know if you're talking to me or you. <laughs> I think that's you. <laughs> you. Will you be at Stitch Festival? No, we won't. I'll bring chocolates. We're not going to be there. We're not going to be there. Hope your throat gets better. Oh, it's, it's only um, hay fever. Uh, Sue says, don't think I could cope with a throbbing iron. <laughs> <laughs> and Emma says, uh, hello both, watching over lunch. Emma will be in on Saturday, Emma Brassfield, she'll be in on Saturday. She's going to use the iron as well on Saturday. She doesn't normally iron many things on her bag, though, does she? So, I don't know what she's going to be ironing. We should have to find an excuse to yes. now. <laughs> so, unlike the top we did this morning, this is all cut on the fold. Uh, no what's openings. the question? Hi, John and Adam. Please, could you put on the graphics with the fact? No, they won't do that. It's too much work. It, for, they're, all, <laughs> they're always 44 inches, unless we tell you otherwise. But I'll double check. I don't know. We've asked them for... How many years have we asked them? How many years have we asked them to do that? It's, I, I think they say because it's on extra details. Oh, actually, I've just said it's 44 inches wide. 
That's definitely wider than 44 inches. Right? <laughs> Message. Hi, John. I'll see you tomorrow. It's Sarah in Greater Manchester. Oh, we'll see you tomorrow. <coughs> Make sure you come and say hello. I've got a lovely message from Tina saying, um, can I come and have my picture taken with you? Of course you can. Of course you can. Oh, he means both of us, Adam, not just me. Oh, well, I'm not there tomorrow. No, no, this is Max about how good we are. Oh, oh, bless him. Oh, I thought you were still on the photo. Sorry, am I? No, keep up. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> oh, here you go. Emma says, can't wait to see you all on Saturday. I'll definitely have to prep something to iron. Yeah, you will. <laughs> well, is this going to be on the Sewing Street stand? Pardon? Is somebody taking the iron with them? No, no, oh, it's no. on the show here. <laughs> oh, sorry, oh, I'm not. <laughs> Emma Brassfield is on the show on Saturday. Emma's on the... She's... Right, I'm with you now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I and Spice, I'll be, make, uh, I'll be making... I've been in making loads of noise. Oh, you're talking too late because you didn't want them in yet. Yeah. Is it Jimmy? Yeah. Oh, it could be even noisier if it's not Jimmy. That Lauren, she's really noisy, isn't she? Now, John, you'll appreciate this. Oh, I, yeah. I like this pattern for the dart because it's been trued so that once the dart's sewn, it sits in line with the seam. Oh, lovely. That makes sense. Yeah. You see how it's poking out there, but obviously it needs to be pressed <coughs> towards downwards. Which yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, it's been trued, so that's, that's nice. <laughs> Question. Oh, shouting. How much yardage do I need for the uniform pattern UK size 16? UK 16, so that's American 12. American 12, you need two and a half metres. Two and a half metres, you need. Five units, that one is. Uh, I've got another question here. Is Adam planning to come back to our corner of Cornwall? Oh. I'll buy the next round. Oh, do you know what? It was the most bizarre thing. I'm really sorry now. I can't Sue. remember the lady's name. Sue. Sue. Yes. We, me and Jason had gone down to celebrate Jason's dad's 70th because they live in Devon, but we'd gone to Cornwall. Oh, yeah. It was really lovely. It was, it was September last year. And we sat in the bar and Sue comes up and I'm like, Adam and I went yeah and forgive me Sue but whenever anybody says that I always think which one of my mum's friends is this oh. <laughs> like you know I'm trying to think and then she said I know you from Sewing Street and I was like how fabulous you've been sp sp spotted Sp spotted in Cornwall ah, in Cornwall yeah it was a very nice um little getaway that was oh yeah so hello Sue I don't know when we'll next be down in Cornwall our next holiday is actually uh, New York Oh, really forward to. when are you going there? End of April. Oh, lovely time to go. Yeah. Um, and where are you going? Um, I'm not sure of the full itinerary, but the biggest achievement is that I'm getting Jason to see a Broadway show. And, oh, and he fantastic. Hates, he hates musicals. Oh, does he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which, do you know which one you're going yeah, to Yeah, we're going to see the Book of Mormon, so I oh, think right. he'll like that. You know you can see that in London. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's Broadway, isn't it? Yeah. I still, I used to work on Broadway. Did you? Yeah. Is there anything I've you? Broadway. Really? I used to live in Greenwich Village and I'd walk through to work every morning. Oh, my word. You've lived the best life so well, far. Well, I've lived a life, that's for sure. Yeah, what happened? Mate, well, I went up here. Everyone says that. <laughs> Such a life. What happened? <laughs> no, you're not. I know you're not. <laughs> So when are we going to hear the Brad Pitt story then in your one-man show? I finished. I finished. It. Well, that was the story. I worked on Interview with the Vampire with him. Oh. So didn't you say something? And they were all night shoots and we used to go back to his house afterwards for breakfast. And then this one morning we all decided it was so hot we got in the swimming pool. Oh. Did you not say skinny dipping or did I imagine that? You imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> I swear that's what you said. Right, so I've sewn the darts. Oh, hang on. Uh, hi, both. Loving the show. Look forward <laughs> to seeing you tomorrow, John. Oh, Leslie's here tomorrow. Go on. So, yeah, I've sewn the darts. And then really simple, this. Um, the shoulder seams and the side seams, half an inch seam allowance. Right. Um, we've got there. Um, <coughs> obviously, you've got the options. You can put sleeves in if you want to. But this was the sleeveless version. 
they were showing you. I did a demo on in um, doing setting sleeves yeah. in the early ones, so you could watch that. Yeah. Um, and then the instructions say to finish off the seam allowances together and press them towards the back. So right. we'll go by the instructions. OK, then. Um, uh, Emma, I employed him. She said, oh, you must know Day Merch if you were on interview. I was a supervisor on interview and I, inter I employed him. Day Merch used to be a costume, su uh, costume assistant. Right, come on then. Are you overlocking them? Over oh, you can do it if you like. No, come on, let's right. get you on the machine. You know you love being on a machine. All right, so you, um, you, uh, yeah. Should I carry, I can carry on. You can carry on if you like while I do this. Yeah, watch this. Honestly, that machine's good. I shouldn't say that, Mr. Juki, should I? Right, I'll prep the neck face in then whilst you're doing that. I'm going really slowly because it's Adam's project, not mine. Oh, don't be damned. <laughs> oh. So for the neck facing, um, there's the short edges. I'm just putting a pin in. <coughs> and we're going to sew those together again. Now, again, it's one of those I need to check because it flits and flirts between half an inch and a quarter of an inch. Oh, OK. It's weird, that. Yeah. Where's the facing bit? I'll find it now. And I'll tell us. There's the sleeves. Here's the face. Got muttering. Oh, hang on. I can't read. And Hi, guys. Loving the show as usual. Is there any chance you could bring the craft show to Northern Ireland in the future? The craft show? Oh, well, they're not... They're, we don't organise them. But you know there's going to be Yvonne McAtamney's quilt show in Belfast in September. Right, it's half an inch on the shoulder seams. It's just as well you've already done the shoulders. Sorry, on oh, the... Oh, um, on your facing, you mean? Yeah, I'm sure that there was one where... It, do, it does make it really clear in the instructions. Oh, look at him. He don't mess about, does he? No. Fabulous, thank you. So I'm just sewing them now. And there's a knitting and stitching show in Belfast next year. When we to... move back to Cornwall, you'll be able to come and stay with me. That's you, that's Alice and Marion saying you can go and stay with her. Oh, yeah, oh, gosh. So, yeah, she told me that she was thinking about moving, moving back. I didn't realise she was moving. Oh, I love Alison. We all love uh, Alison. I love her little doggos as well. You are? I love her dogs. Mind you, my dogs love you, don't they? <laughs> oh, yeah, dog, your dogs wouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> Oh, and how. <laughs> They're lovely dogs. What make are they? What make are they? Um, a Welsh Terrier and a Wire Fox Terrier. Welsh Terrier and a Wire Fox Terrier. And it was the Welshie, the pup that liked you. Oh, and I can go and stay as well, she says. And I can stay. Of course. Uh, Max is really upset that none of us are going to be in Islington. So, now, some, uh, Janet Clare's going to be in Islington, but we haven't got a stand there or anything. Uh, last time we did this, I did this, it was just before Covid, and I did a talk in the theatre at lunchtime. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that people like pockets. Yeah. So, obviously, you can do it with or without. Um, if you're going to add pockets, because there's these skirt pieces, you see, that go onto it. And there's some notches at the top of the pattern piece that mark where your pocket bags would go. Right. Basically, the best way to describe the pockets, if you're going to add them, it's an inseam pocket. Right, OK. Like you do in a, a trouser, maybe. It's just turned on its edge. So it's the same as if you're doing in the side, in the side yeah. of the skirt? Yeah. But the pockets will be square rather than round. Yeah, they're rectangular, yeah. Um, so at this stage, to explain, if you were... Uh, where's the pocket bags? Oh, I've actually got it in the contrasting fabric from... Oh. Cut them out, so this will be easier to see. So you make the <coughs> notches at the top there, and what you would do is go right sides together. Yeah. Sew them at the seam allowance that's specified in the instructions. Yeah. Understitch it. Right. Um, and then there's two on the front, so there's the other side as well. And then you do the same with the on the bodice as well 
Oh, so when you're saying the the side the, the waist seam, you go along, yes. down, along, up. That's like that. it. Oh, I That's see. it. Now I don't know how people feel about having pockets in no, the front you? there. Um, you wouldn't be able to put anything in them. No, I don't know. If you're an artist, you could put your paintbrush in there. Yeah, you could do. You could. For me, and this is only my personal opinion. Oh, and not the not the opinion of the channel. Not the opinion of the channel. It felt a bit apriony with the oh, pockets okay. there. Well, Alice and Marion would love that. But uh, yeah, that's what I mean. So it's each to their own. So yeah, I think that again. It's like the other pattern. We haven't, we, haven't got, we haven't made it. We haven't made That's what we're saying. We haven't actually made it. So we can't show it because it, it's not on ours. It's at one of your alternatives and they didn't ask him to make the one with pockets. I quite like the streamlined finish of not having the pockets yeah, in this case. There you go. Show it. It's on the mannequin. There you go. It's so really let me hard just show to you. see the The pockets the would be here. The pockets would be here and here, basically. Oh. Hello. Cat. Cat! She's gone. <laughs> Which one do I need to move? I'll do it. Oh, there you are. Here you go. The pockets are here in the seam there. Well, there's no pockets on the back. It's exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. So that is how you would do the pockets. Yeah. All right, and then there's also a variation on the skirt part as well. Now, on this version that I was asked to do, it's sewn at the side seams. However, if you want a little bit more ease there around the hip area, there's a lapped, what they call a lapped skirt version yep. as well. So <coughs> it, if you think of a vent at the side almost, yeah. but it, it crosses over at the side. That seams. makes it even more dinner ladyish, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, I didn't say that, but you did. <laughs> That's what I said to you earlier, wasn't it? Well, it's like a dinner lady tampon when it's open up the side. Yeah. But I very think... versatile. It can be very stylish, yeah. but it, I wouldn't put pockets in it. But... No, I don't think I'm with you on that. <coughs> now, do you know what would be nice, just thinking about it? Because you don't see the seam there at all in this busy no, fabric, no. do you? But you could make a statement with it if you wanted to use... I won't do it with any of the prints that we've got here, but if you're getting the pattern, I don't know... Maybe different tones of what? chambre or something. Or you mean make the bottom half a completely different colour? Yeah, or, yeah, or, yeah, or, yeah, or yeah. a tone of yeah. something. If you wanted to, I don't know, be experimental that yeah. way. Yeah, geometric. Yeah. But I'll carry on as this one is. And this is probably the more simpler, simple version, which is good, again, if you're a beginner. Yeah. Um, so we just sew the side seams of this skirt bit together. I do like that. It's <coughs> giving you options and it's almost um, suiting a, a, a range of skills, really, isn't it? If you're a bit more advanced, you could go for the lapped version if you've never done that before and challenge yourself there. Or you how could do they finish? I can look myself. I was going to say, how do they finish off the lapped skirt bit? I think it's just based simply turned over and hemmed before. Okay. I might be wrong. Right, so I'll say this at half an inch. There we are. Lovely. I went to see what? Uh, Jess and Haley upstairs and they got me really hungry. They were talking about their favourite toppings for a jacket potato. No. <laughs> yeah. Has to be cheese and beans, yeah. That's what I said. Everyone's nodding, yeah. <laughs> what were they saying? Uh, hey, so who was it? It went for a right mixture of everything. Tuna, beans, Oh, that'd cheese. be Kerry. It was Kerry, yeah. <laughs> were, they all drink were they all drink baked potatoes up there then? No. Oh. I don't know what... Me and Ian were talking about the difference between knitting and crochet. He doesn't know, does he? <laughs> well, he does now. And, um, and then somehow we went from that to jacket potatoes. Of course you do. <laughs> um, the lap skirt construction is you just turn it up and hem it. Yeah. Yeah. Which is simple <coughs> enough, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, uh, overlock thing is oh more overlocking more overlocking it do it yourself <laughs> never lift that up you know 
No. No. Always just lift the front of that bit there. Oh, okay, not with that. Have you got an overlocker? Yeah. Have you not found your tension? But mine's. Does it go funny if you yeah, do that? Yeah, lift that too often, it goes. Oh, I'm not a fine line. Just, just literally go and pop yeah, it so like that. Oh, really? Every day is a school day. Yeah. Well, you said you like learning. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll keep learning. So what are you doing now then? Which bit are you overlooking there? Uh, this is the skirt. See, it's the side seam basically of the skirt. Oh, okay. There we go. Watch your fingers. All right, watching them. All right, we'll do the same on the other side. Rachel's a bit worried that you carried on going there. Yeah, you've gone too long and then you go back round and take it under the blade. I suppose the good way about doing it afterwards is you're not fiddling with your seam allowance. If you overlock it before, you need to make sure you're not trimming any off because you're allowed to your seam allowance otherwise. Yeah. Right, so that's the skirt bit done then. Great. Come on then, hurry up. <laughs> Tell me to hurry up for. <laughs> Got a busy afternoon. <laughs> How long have I got? <laughs> right, -o. so then we're going to go right sides to right sides. Now, at this stage, if you're anything like me, you'll go, oh, shoot, I've now removed it from the pattern piece and I don't know which the front is and which the back is of that skirt section, right? Right. So this is why I say if you put in the pockets in or not, mark all your notches because the notches will be on the front piece of where the course. pockets would be. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah. And for some reason... Oh, you didn't put your notches on. No, I did. No, I did. The front's bigger than the back. Do you oh, see? OK. Which is... Was it can you see it's cut? Yeah. yeah, and it was when I made... <coughs> Unless it's just that I've cut it, Dodger. Let's have a look at I can imagine the vented one being bigger, because they have to, that's, have to overlap. Yeah. Maybe, but... Straight skirt front, straight skirt back. Oh, no, it is, I can see. Yeah, it is slightly... It's oh, about yeah. half inch Ooh. each side. Yeah. But, yeah, it's probably... But that, it, it does say the straight skirt on it. Anyway, it's fine. So then what we're going to do is match these together, right sides together, and just sew them at half an inch. Where's my notches gone now? There. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doubting myself now. Okay, and you would have pressed your seam allowances towards the back, so make sure they're sitting that way. Yeah. And I'd match up your um, side seams first. And then you've got, your, obviously, your pockets. If you've sewn the pockets in, that'll be easy point of reference to yeah totally as well. should match it well you know you've gone wrong if they don't match up wouldn't well you? yeah that's it i'm trying to think what other projects i've put pockets in before i think i did some pajamas not that long ago and they'd got some inseam pockets in oh you need that wayliner machine that george had yesterday if you do pajamas oh yeah what for the um for the waistband the waistband I'm intrigued to see this in person. I need to catch up on the show and have a look. Yeah. Because so you can use it with a cover stitch as well, then? Yeah, yeah. cover stitch, sewing machine, or uh, overlocker. Uh, your machine wouldn't fit on them, though. Well, that's what Hayley said. She oh, says your... Was Hayley, <laughs> Hayley listening? <laughs> well, I've seen her in the break. And, she, and we were talking about it. I mean, she, she, she must have watched it, then. Which yeah. is very unusual for her. <laughs> No, no, uh, your throat space can't be anything bigger than eight and a half inches. Your throat space is much bigger than eight and a half inches. Well, she says your big one might not fit. No, it doesn't. So... Your overlocker would. Yeah. And you, if you've got a cover stitch, that would. But your, that dukey that you've got there wouldn't. Yeah. But to be honest, it seems like the type of gadget that you'd use mainly with an overlocker, is it? Uh, yeah. Well, no, because if you're doing... So if you're doing pyjama trousers... Yeah. You go on your overlocker first to attach the elastic to the fabric. Right. Then you take it to your sewing machine oh, and you okay. fold it over and you, it, you're still using the way liner. You fold it right. over and then you do your line of top stitching an inch With and a bit further down. Ah. Uh, okay. So I need a smaller machine then, is what That's you're saying? only for your way, but then you could keep it on your way liner all the time. Yeah, that would be all right. And as you know, I've got a few machines. So. You haven't got enough room in your, in your no, I know. sewing room. 
I never got round to showing you my knitting machine, did I? Was there a knitting machine up there as well? Yeah, I've got all sorts of... Was it hidden then? Yeah. It was underneath my cutting table, not set up at that point. Oh, OK. So again, half an inch here, and then we're going to top stitch it. Well, we need to overlock it as well. Oh, no, more overlocking. Yeah. And again, you could finish it off with a zigzag over cast stitch, but... No, buy an overlocker. <laughs> right, around we go. And again, I'm just making sure as I come up to these um, side seams that they're pressed towards the back and sit in the right way. Even though you've pressed them, sometimes it might just uh, niggle itself out. Yeah. Okay. This top is quite quick to make, to be fair. Yeah. The arms are finished off with a binding. Right. Like, like a bias binding? Yeah. Um, which there's a pattern piece for, you can just cut it yourself, but actually the pattern piece I found was bang on the right length. So when, oh, wow. When then I you can just cut your own bias and just finish it off whenever you want to. Yeah. Like, it's not a facing, is it? It's a bias binding. But it is binding as a facing. As <coughs> yeah. Oh, excuse me. So you actually sew it together and just fit it on. It's not yeah. like a bias binding that you take round. No, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you sew it circular okay. and then, yeah, fit it on. Um, and as I say, it was exactly the right length that I needed for the garment, which was good. Right, a bit more over my lockings. So no foot lever, just underneath we go. So what do, I, yeah, like that. Yeah. Oh, I never knew that. You, can, you can lift it up because it's there, but everyone I know just always lifts up the front. In fact, George, when he was on it yesterday, didn't use his back lever at all. No. Well, they're always in different places on different overlockers. Yeah. See, mine's... The machines are all on different places. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly that. There we go. Oh, Emma Bradfield's got a stand at Islington. We're not going to Islington, Emma. She said, bring me chocolates. We're not there. Is that Emma's? Uh, is Emma Bradfield's yeah. stand. Right, have you got any tips for finishing us in a circle? Just run off it, run it. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've seen things where if, if, if you have the needles done and stop and then... Uh, but then you're saying not to do that. No, uh, no, go on, what are you saying? But then to pull it no, off... It has like, to be up. Oh, I see. Like that. And then it just sometimes looks like it's joint neater, but I don't know. I, don't I know. just run off. Yeah, just run off. I'm over overcomplicating opening an envelope. Yeah. Right, so that's done there, that. and then you're going to make sure that that's pressed towards the hem with your iron, and not any old iron. No. <laughs> <laughs> any old, any old iron. <coughs> <coughs> the hem on this um, is um, turn it up a quarter inch and then a quarter inch again, so a double turned hem basically. I suppose if you wanted to, you could just overlock it and turn it up half an inch. Mm -hmm. But make it look nice. Do, do yeah. the double turn. I just always find that it's more appealing. It looks more attractive. I know nobody's coming up to you and looking inside, but you'll know what it's like. Oh, no, exactly. Although some people do. Who what? It? Go and look inside your clothes? Uh, somebody, I think, oh, when I was go. at one of the Story shows, on. what? said... Uh, have you made what you've got on? And I rarely make for myself at all. Yeah. And uh, I had got something on. And they, they, they got hold of my shirt and looked inside and went... Mm. Oh. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I can't remember who it was. <laughs> I don't think I know who it was. Right, so that's that. That's pressed down to the Yeah, just come up to me. <laughs> right, and then... Um, we're just going to top stitch this now. Right. About an eighth of an inch, only close to that seam. Um, that's just going to keep it down and in place. So it's, it's a little bit similar to an understitch in terms of I'm going through the seam allowance. Yeah. Um, I'll up the stitch because it's a top. Christine, stitch. it was called a wayliner. It wasn't a machine. It's something you attach to your machine. You'll have to watch yesterday. I'm not explaining what it's all about. Take too long. Going home I'm definitely, no, in all seriousness, I'm going to go home and catch up on it. Yeah. 
Right, so we're all the way around here. And these fabrics for a beginner are perfect to sew. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Nice and stable. Right, okay. Over the bump. And all the way around. Will we have time to get onto the neck face into it? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. With a sleeve or neck? Neck. Yeah. And I can show you the sleeve if you We've want. Got ten minutes. We've got ten minutes. You're right. Just, oh, no, just less than ten minutes. We have to go off to a fabric maker. But just. Less oh yeah. Minutes. Wonderful. Now is it the? I'll have a look in a minute. While you're stitching that, actually, let me yeah. just recap everything while you're doing straight stitching there. So the pattern, we've got sizes uh, 0 to 18, UK, uh, USA sizes. <coughs> Excuse me. At uh, £19.99. And pence. We also have it in sizes 14 to 30, which is uh, 18 to 34. Fabric-wise, we've got the navy linen by the half metre. And we've got the grey linen by the half metre. Then we've got the mauve um, floral poplin. But a half a metre. Beautiful. Then I've got a grey, uh, like the Rococo Renaissance one. This is Ollie's favourite. Mari says, you hoo boys. Hello, Mari. Yoo-hoo. Have you got that one? Yeah. Then I've got the red one. Oh, that's a nice colour, says Rachel. What room would that go in in your house? No, yours is all a bit beige, your house, isn't it? My house? No, no, sorry, oh. Rachel's, Rachel's. Oh. Rachel. Hey, so have, you, have you still in the same house that I came to? Oh. That's his teal, it's beautiful. Now, Ollie would put those two together. Then we've got, this is my favourite, this big pink floral one. Oh, this is black. Oh, that's where you were getting confused earlier. Beautiful. Then we've got the navy. <coughs> navy bright. And then we've got the uh, paisley. Ignore the picture on the website of the paisley. Uh, they've got the picture wrong. Totally wrong. Who should we blame on that one then? No, it's not Haley's fault. No, it's not Jesse's fault. Is it Kerry? I thought it was Eloise. Is it not Eloise? <laughs> Eloise or Barry it is, I think. Barry or Eloise it'll be. Yeah, Barry Bald. Well, Barry Bald the replen. Yeah, he's, we know, he's called Barry the Bald, Beautiful, Bashful Book Buyer. That's what his name is. And then we had this little felting <laughs> uh, chicken the other day. And Hannah kept saying, oh, looks like Barry, looks like Barry. So she went to tell him and he, went, he was like, I don't find that funny. <laughs> He's all right. He is bald. I'm not being rude. He is bald. Why not we call you Rachel from Dudley? I think I'd rather be bald than live in Dudley. <laughs> <laughs> what? My middle name, Rach. What are you doing? Who, me? You. Yeah, I've decided I'm going to show you the binding on the arm. Oh, OK. Because they've done loads of necklines in the past. Right, so don't let this catch you out. Um, when you sew the binding together at the shortest ends, edges, it's a yeah. quarter of an inch. Right. It does tell you in the pattern. Perfect. But if you're going to get caught out, it'll be there. Cause How it's... weird. That they, they, it's half an inch on the actual yeah. garment, but only a quarter of an inch on the facing. Yeah, and then it's a quarter of an inch 
all for this next step, putting the binding in How and whatnot. Strange. It does tell you on the pattern. Yeah, but so it's... read the pattern first. Yeah. So I'm literally now, I've just pinned it to the armhole. Yeah. Then I'm stitching around at a quarter of an inch. Lovely. I'm being a good boy and doing what the pattern says. <laughs> Right, here we go. Now, obviously, it's important when you cut that out. I know this might sound obvious to most, but that you do cut it on the bias. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does, it say, does it say on the pattern piece? Yeah, the, the grain line um, is in the right direction. Have I got the piece? Question. Hi, John, love the programme. Just wondered if there will ever... Hang on. It just wondered <coughs> if there will ever be a move to show more men's patterns and tailoring. It's mainly all for women. Peter, uh, we do do men's occasionally, but as like 99% of our customers are ladies, uh, I think that's why we always do. But we've done men's fashion. You are men's Yeah, shows. yeah. I've done the waistcoats and yeah, things in the past. For sure. Oh, I'm not going to lie. It definitely does lean more towards women's stuff that I yeah. do demonstrate on here. Um, we need to get more men sewing and more men shopping at Sewing Street. Yeah. And then we can do more men's stuff. <laughs> How do we do that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Where do we recruit? Right. So then once you've got the first... Hi, boys. Wouldn't it be lovely if you mixed up the plain and the floral fabrics, putting the floral on the bottom half? Yes, Tracy, yes. that's what you were saying earlier. Yeah. Would be nice, that. Yeah. You just want to give this a press because we are going to understitch this. They like their understitching in these patterns. They do. You've got about three minutes, Adam. All right, OK. Oh, um, yeah, Max said agree. More men's stuff, please. Right. We, we had a book. We had a book. Uh, quite, I might have been when we were saying quarter. We had a book that was a lovely men's book, but it, it, the sizing, it was, I couldn't even, it, it went, didn't even go as big as me. Really? It's, like, it's a lovely book, but what but point just, is this? Yeah. That, you know, it doesn't go to my size. Just to explain this bias to finish off yeah. then, once you've got that sewn on, um, understitch it, and then you're going to fold it over like bias binding, but then you're going to fold it all to the inside. Yeah. Once it's all to the inside, then you're just going to stitch <coughs> it down all the way around, and that will finish off your armhole. Brilliant. So it's not just bound, it's binding as a facing. Yeah. And what about the neck then? And the neckline, um, somewhere... You have to sew it, just tell us about it. Yeah, so it's literally just um, a joined neck facing. Um, you could overlock to finish the edge off if you wanted to, uh -huh. or what the pattern says is to fold it under and then stitch it down. Oh, OK, like top stitch it down. Yeah, that would be the one. And um, there is that little V on this detail, so when you do sew that facing in, just snip into that V on the facing, just so you don't get any puckering at that point. Lovely. Uh, yeah. When you're next? Wednesday the 17th of April. Oh, that was very precise. No, yeah. Like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I made sure I double-checked. I know <laughs> you'd ask me and I always forget. Wednesday the 17th <laughs> of April. Brilliant. Right. Uh, let's have a look at... Um, I've, I've got to, I haven't got to do anything, have I? What's the matter? What's that, Only? Yeah, tomorrow's menu. <laughs> OK, we'll do one quickly. Uh, while, while we're doing that, we'll put the overlocker graphics in, because the overlocker is uh, a, a must-have. Air threader, it's so easy to thread, you wouldn't believe it. £1,059. Adam's pattern for John's birthday shirt was amazing, says oh, Kim. thank you. Lynn says, I have two sons, five grandsons, eight grandsons, and men's patterns and boys' patterns would be invaluable. I do have Adam's shirt pattern, says Lynn. Fab. That's nice, thank you. Are you going to show something different? OK, we're just going to show you the TV guide, because they didn't do a menu, make chalk. So, oh, it's in Vix. I thought, I thought oh. it was, um, uh, OK, Vix is in tomorrow. I, I can't tell you what she's doing the first day because it doesn't tell you. Then we've got down lots of people asking about Cara. Cara's in tomorrow, uh, Sashko Cushion Design. Then Sarah Brang wins in, bringing back the previous sellout crazy fun sampler block. Then Cara's doing the borrow block, borrow bag. 
And then uh, Sarah Brangwyn is doing the strips bag. She will be keeping her clothes on for that. <laughs> anyway, uh, don't forget if you're coming to the NEC tomorrow, I'm there on the stand tomorrow. Uh, and then I'll be back in here on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Thank you, Adam. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Well done, Rachel. And I'll see you on Thursday. <laughs>Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days.